the country is not working, my dear. And I don't want to be one of those like Gone with the Wind. Frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a damn. I do give a damn. Sa kanyang limang taong panunungkulan bilang mambabatas, pinatunayan niyang walang imposible basta't may kusang loob, malasakit at kapwa-tao. I will work hard. Whatever position is given to me, we will work hard. This is the people's Senate. Ipinagkatiwala sa kanyang pamumuno ng tatlong malalaki at mahalagang komite sa Senado na nagdidinig ng mga panukalang batas na siyang mag-aangat sa buhay ng ating mga kababayan. Sa ilalim ng pamumuno ni Senator Dick Cordon sa Committee on Accountability of Public Officers and Investigations o mas kilala bilang Blue Ribbon Committee, walang takot niyang inibestigahan ang malalaking anomalya tulad ng mga sumusunod. Nawawalang 15 bilyong piso sa PhilHealth sa kasagsaga ng pandemya. Dahil sa sinimulang investigasyon ni Senator Gordon, walong matataas sa pwesto ng ahensya ang sinuspindi ng ombudsman. Ninja Cops Naging kontrobersyal naman ang investigasyon ng Blue Ribbon Committee sa tinuguri ang Ninja Cops, kung saan labing tatlong opisyal ng PNP ang pinangalan ng sangkot sa drug recycling scheme. Nagresulta ito sa pagbibitiw sa pwesto ni dating PNP Chief Oscar Almayalde. GCTA Nabuking naman ang umano'y pinagkakakita ang Good Conduct Time Allowance o GCTA sa mga high-profile inmates of big time na preso kung saan sangkot si dating Bureau of Corrections Director General Nicanor Faeldon. Sa naturang investigasyon, lumitaw ang iba pang irregularidad sa Bucor tulad ng pagtatayo ng kubol para sa high-profile inmates, hospital passes for sale, malayang paggamit ng preso ng cellphones para maisagawa ang drug trade, at iba pa. Talamak ba talaga yung laga yan dyan? Kung gusto mo magkura ng telepono, huwag lalagay ka? Opo, sir. Huwag lalagay. Depende, sir, sa klase ng telepono. Tara System Bago pa man madawit ang pangalan ni Faeldon sa GCTA scandal, nauna na siyang nasangkot sa pagkakapasok ng smuggled shabu mula sa China na nagkakahalagang 6.4 billion pesos noong siya ay commissioner ng Bureau of Customs. Ang broker na si Mark Ruben Taguba ang nagsiwalat sa pagkakaugnay ni Faeldon at ng iba pang customs officials sa smuggling. August 2017, nagbitiw si Faeldon sa pwesto. Immigration Bribery Scandal Makalipas ang mahigit tatlong taon mula nung pangunahan ni Senator Gordon ang investigasyon sa bribery scandal sa Bureau of Immigration, sinintensyahan ng Sandigan Bayan noong June 25 ng reklusyon perpetua o panghabang buhay na pagkakakulong si na dating Immigration Associate Commissioners Al Argosino at Michael Robles, maging si retired police colonel Wenceslao Sumbero sa kasong plunder at graft dahil sa pangingikil ng 50 milyong piso mula sa Chinese gaming tycoon na si Jack Lam. Limang taon na ang nakalilipas. Kami po dito nag-iimbestiga. Pinibigay ang mga records available sa ombudsman, sa DOJ at lahat para mag-file siya ng kaso at hindi po kami nagpapahil ng kaso. May nangyayari po sa investigasyon dito. Ilan na huyan. Mahirap mag-iimbestiga pero hinaharap natin ang kahirapan para mapuksa itong uh, salot ng bayan na ito. Nang magsimula ang pandemya, dugo, pawis at buhay ang inalay ng ating mga frontliners, mailigtas lamang ang ating mga kababayan. Upang masiguro ang kanilang kaligtasan at masukulian ang kanilang kabayanihan, isinulong ni Senator Gordon sa Bayanihan 1 at Bayanihan 2 ang libreng COVID testing sa mga medical professionals. Yes. Leadership is action. It is not position. I want to see our country have the respect that it should have. Para naman sa ating mga overseas Filipino workers, isinulong ni Senator Gordon na may sabatas ang Social Security Act of 2018. Dahil dito, kabilang na sa SSS ang mga land-based at sea-based OFWs upang masiguro ang komportable nilang retirement. Sa agrikultura naman, mahigit dalawa at kalahating milyong magsasaka ang makikinabang sa Agricultural Free Patent Reform Act. Sa pamamagitan ng batas na ito, mas malayang makakagalaw ang credit ng magsasaka at agrikultural na mga ngalakal dahil luluwagan na ang restriksyon sa mga patent. Lalong lalago ang mga micro, small and medium enterprises sa bansa.
Isinulong din ni Senator Gordon na maisabatas ang free irrigation uh, Friday and uh, I would like to ask first the Director General uh, to recognize our colleagues who are present here. Uh, Director General. Director General. The Senators present here, I can see so far, uh, pending formal, for formalization by our Director General Rudy Kimbo, I see uh, certainly the Senate President, I just spoke with him. And certainly I see the Minority Floor Leader, Frank Lulon. I also see uh, the Honorable Kiko Pangilinan. Uh, I believe Senator Lakson is uh, there as well. Uh, would everybody mind uh, turning your TV set? And certainly uh, the very tenacious and certainly efficient Senator uh, Risa Ontiveros. Morning, uh, Chair. Thank you. And uh, well, who else are there? Uh, well, we, we will recognize everybody as they come, all right? Uh, and I'd like to welcome all our guests once again. And uh, if this uh, Director General is already there, may we ask uh, him to uh, recognize our guests and show in our new resource persons if there are any who haven't heard had their oaths administered. Before he does that, I want to make it a record that we only invited the Secretary of Health according to our Director General, but uh, we're being accused that we're taking time uh, from the business at hand and we're being blamed for the sudden increase of uh, of the CC government that tumaas raw dahil sa pag-iimbita namin sa mga tao rito, hindi na raw makagalaw ang gobyerno. Mr. Medial Dea, kilala ko po kayo, magkaibigan po tayo. Pero alam naman na po ninyo na talagang matindi itong tama at ito. At huwag niyo naman sa aming isisi. Uh, I believe Secretary Duque is entitled to bring whoever he wants to bring because every time we ask him, nagtatanong siya sa kanyang mga kasama sa DOH. Hindi naman namin nimbita yung mga yun, pero kung gusto niyang magtanong, pinapayagan namin siya magtanong. And that is why uh, nandun sila. Pero karamihan ho, uh, hindi namin inimbita at na... Uh, uh, inimbita namin sa free health ay yun lang uh, uh, si, si Mr. Green ah, si Mr. Giran, Giran no? at uh, the Director General can uh, uh, say his piece now. Director General Kimbo uh, will you please uh, inform the committee uh, sino na andito at uh, sino pa yung mga naka, hindi pa nag oath uh, Please proceed. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, proceed. Yeah, proceed. Uh... Go ahead. Currently present are from the Department of Health, Dr. Francisco T. Duque, Secretary, Under Secretaries Leopoldo Vega, Carolina Vidal Taino, Mirna Cabotaje, Dr. Maria Rosario S. Vergere, Roger Tongan, Abdullah Dumama, Enrique Domingo, Dr. Romeo Ong, no, sorry, Dr. Nestor Santiago, Ms. Maylene Beltran, Dr. Maria Soledad Q. Antonio, Mr. Ariel Valencia, Dr. Enrique Tayag, Dr. Angeline Del Mundo, Director Ronald Law, Director Leonita Gorgolon, Attorney Paul Gimbarda, Dr. Rizel Nika Howe, Dr. Valeriano Lopez, Dr. Rio Magpantay, Drs. Corazon Flores, Eduardo Hanayro, Mario Bakilod, Ernie Vera, Adriano Subaan, Jaime Bernadas, Exuperia Sabalberino, Dr. Joshua Brillantes, Jose Liapuna, Annabel Yumang, Ruby Constantino. From the IATF. Under hold it, hold, hold, hold it, hold it, please, hold it. Uh, did we invite all those people from the Department of Health? Normally, sir, we invite only the head of office, and the head of office does bring with him or her a coterie that he will lead for a particular hearing, Your Honor. 
So we only invited the head of office being Secretary Duque and he's entitled, as I said earlier, to bring whoever he may bring. We did not invite them. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So that is clear, Mr. Secretary Majaldea, that is very clear because, uh, I mean, we're liberal when it comes to making sure that the, the Secretary of Health wants to bring his people so that he can adequately make the answers. Uh, please proceed from the IATF. Under Secretary Mark Dennis Hoven. Uh, I, I don't see him. Uh, can, you, can you please raise your hand when your name is called? Dennis? Did you invite him? Yes, sir. In fact, he's marked yellow, meaning that he's already here. I don't see him. Uh, Mark Dennis Hoven, are you there? Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Please answer. So, because you know, we have a very short hearing today, because we have sessions at two thirty, at uh, three o'clock, and we have to adjourn by two thirty. Can you turn on your video, please? So I can see you. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, my video is turned on now. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. From the DOH technical team, Doctor Ariel Valencia, Doctor Napoleon Arevalo. Mr. Justin Valeriano and Mr. Jericho Vicencio. Present, sir. Uh, can you raise your hand as your name is called, please? Present, Mr. Chairman. I keep asking, Sino Yan, did we invite all of these people, uh, Mr. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor, because they were part of the committee that inspected, yes, Your Honor. Okay, all right. And did we invite the other undersecretaries, Bernardo Florence and Manika Intic from DICT? From DILG, Bernardo Florence, are you there? I'm, I'm, I'm checking the list, Your Honor. I, I, yes, sir. yes, Your Honor, we invited them. All right, okay. So just say so, I don't have to ask you anymore. Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead. From the Department of Budget and Management, Tina Rose Marie Kanda, OIC. With her are under Secretary Kim. Uh, is uh, the Secretary of Budget, is there, uh, the OIC is there? Yes, Your Honor, I'm here. Please help us by, by uh, sounding off. Uh, I would appreciate that very Present, much. Your Honor. Thank you. Yes. Uh, together with her, Your Honor, are Yusek Kim Robert De Leon. Present, Your Honor. Thank you, Robert. Executive Director Jason Merwayan of PSDBM. Mr. Wayan? Present, Your Honor. Where are you? Here, you're Mr. Okay. Chairman. All right, go ahead. Director Gina Brillantes and Director Ryan Lita. Mr. Bri uh, Gina, are you there? Director Gina Brillantes, are you there? Dr. Director Ryan Lita, Ms. Brillantes has an answer, so she's not, she's not there, okay? Yes, uh, marker absent, did not uh, respond to the call. Ryan Lita? Yes, sir. Here, Mr. Chair. Okay, all right, thank you. Who's raising her hand? Koa, Maria Carmelita, and uh, who's that? Oh, the chair was just testing. What is your name, ma'am? I have not called you from COA. Have you called COA? Not yet, sir. Oh, sige. Go ahead. Bilisan mo lang, Rudy, dahil marami tayong tatalakayan eh. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Engineer Augusto Ilagan, Inspection Division, PSDBM. Present, Your Honors. Uh, okay, I see you now. Okay, thank you. Nixon Panti, Chairperson, Bids and Awards Committee 1. One. Present, Mr. Chairman. Nixon Panti. Nixon All right. Panti. All right. Mr. Mervin, Ian Tankintik, PSDBM. Oh. Present, Your Honor. Oh, where are you? Can you raise your hand? Here. Where? Your Honor, here. Can you hear me? I see the seal. I don't see the person. Oh, there you are. Oh, yes, sir. Who's got that yes, seal there? Okay. Marvin, Tankintik. Yes, sir. Yes, are you Honor. related to the famous basketball player from Tankintik when I was in grade school? <laughs> They're my grandfather's. 
Oh, yeah, he's a very good ball player. Thank you. Go ahead. Hi, Chair. Mr. George Mendoza, PSDBN. Present, Your Honor. Yes, George, thank you very much. From BPI, Undersecretary Ruth B. Castello, Consumer Protection Group. Ruth, are you there? Hello, Ruth. Okay, you're there. I can see you. Thank you. From the Office of the Ombudsman, Honorable Warren Rex Leon, Overall Deputy Ombudsman. Present, Mr. Chairman. I'm here. I'm trying to. Okay, there you go. Okay. Thank you. From the from the Commission on Audit, Michael G. Aguinaldo, Chair Chairman. Uh, present, Your Honor. Good morning. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Uh, sorry for being informal. Uh, Administrator, or rather, uh, Chairperson Michael Aguinaldo. Go ahead. With him are Miss Rodora Ugay, Maria Carmelita. Present. Present, Your Honor. Okay, I can see Rodora now. Okay, go ahead. Maria Carmelita Enriquez. Present, okay. Mr. Chairman. Edgardo Rivera. Present, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd like to look for Mr. Rivera. Okay, there you are. Thank you. Cheryl yeah. Tabangura. Present, Mr. Chairman. Where, where are you? Present, okay. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Good morning. Hello, thank you. And Mr. Jeffrey Rui Sardegna. Jeffrey Ruiz. Ruby Sardegna. Sardegna. Present, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. From the pre presidential management staff under Secretary Anderson Law. Honorable Chairman, sir, good morning. I am present. Thank you. Am, thank you, sir. From the Bureau of Customs, Lieutenant General Ray Leonardo Guerrero. Yes. Good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner Guerrero is just attending the Department of Finance Executive Committee meeting. Uh, yes. While he's not joining us uh, today, uh, we, I will be representing the Bureau, Your, on, uh, Your Honor. I am uh, Assistant Commissioner Jet Maronilla. Joining me also is Deputy Commissioner for Assessment. Uh, yes, Edward, yes, Jet Maronilla. Show your face, uh, please. Uh, Can you show your face? And uh, what is the name? Yes, Maravilla is your name? Jet Maronilla, Your Honor. Ah, Maronilla, yes, okay. And then Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, most of the people that have been invited are in their offices. They don't have to come here. Uh, if they're like the Blue Ribbon Committee, we can do two things at the same time and still do our job well. So there's no there's no stopping the pace of work. Okay. So, Mr. Maranilla, I will call you. And uh, if the two other gentlemen would like to, I'm sure we have not given you your oath yet. Uh, uh, the two gentlemen, uh, can you please uh, uh, identify yourself very quickly? Uh, okay. Deputy Commissioner Edward Dibuco, Your Honor. Come again? Daniel Ramiro, sir. Edward Dibuco, Your Honor. Uh, Deputy Commissioner and uh, Deputy Commissioner uh, Raniel Ramiro. Okay, I caught the last part, but I didn't get your name. What is your name? Louder, please. Uh, Edward Dibuco, Your Honor. Edward Dibuncio? Dibuco, Your Honor. Dibuco, as in coconut? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, Dibuco. Nyugna, hindi na buko. Ano ba yan? Next. From the Government Procurement Policy Board, Ms. Rowena Candinte Ruiz. Ms. Rowena Ruiz. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. I'm here. Uh, Good here? morning, Mr. Chairman. I'm raising my hand. Okay, so yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. From Phil Jeffs, Ms. Rosa Maria Clemente, Director Good morning, Board. Mr. Chairperson. Yes, Rose. Thank you very much. From Food and Drug Administration, Rolando Enrique Domingo, Director General. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. It's good to see you, Eric. Good morning. From Philippine Health Insurance Corporation, Attorney Dante Giran. All right. President and CEO. All right. Dante Giran, are you there? Dante Giran, are you there? 
There is no reply. Um, Marking absent. Attorney Jose, Jose Marie Tolentino, Senior Vice President. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Present. All right, Mr. Tolentino. All right. Attorney Rogelio Pocalan, Senior Manager. Mr. Pocalan. Mr. Pocalan, are you there? Pocalan or Pocalan? Morning, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm present, Po. Where are you? Turn on your video. Uh, here na po, uh, Mr. Chair. I don't see you in the video. Were these people actually invited, Rudy? Yes, sir. No, uh, they, they came together with the... So they're brought by uh, Mr. Giren. Okay, go ahead. From the Philippine Medical Association, Dr. Noemi Sarabia. Present, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Sarabia? Okay, name, name, Noemi. Noemi, okay. From St. Luke's Medical Center Employees Association, Mr. Hau Plumia. Uh, Mr. Chair, good morning. I, okay, okay. How Krumia? All right, thank you. From Creotech Philippines, EMS Component Assembly, EMS Land Services, EMS Resource Technology, EMS Service International, EMS Services Philippines and Alliance Monsoles Inc. The brothers, Mr. Ferdinand Ferrer and Mr. Fernando Ferrero. Present, uh, Mr. Chairman. Ferdinand Thank Ferrer here. Thank you, Mr. Ferrer. Present, Mr. Chairman, Fernando Ferrer here. Yeah. Again, I ask who's older? <laughs> he is, uh, Ferdi. Ferdi yes. is older. Ferdi is uh, older. Okay, thank you. All right. From New Life Pharmaceutical, Mr. Girish Sitaldas. Present, Mr. Chairman. All right, thank you. From Girish. Farmally Pharmaceutical Corporation, Mr. Chair Huang Tzu Yen, Chairman and President. President, Mr. Chairman. Okay, good morning, Wang. Good morning. Morning. Mr. Mohit Dargani. Present, Mr. Chairman. Uh, where is Mohit? Are you still in LA? It's Mr. Chairman, still in LA. In LA right? You're in LA? Yes. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Ms. Twinkle, Twinkle Dargani. Are you there? Twinkle? Yes, present, Mr. Chairman. Okay, Twinkle is declared present. Uh, Justin Garardo. Garardo? Present, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Good morning. Mr. Lincoln Ong, are you there? Present, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Okay. Chris, Chris o, Grace Mago, are you there? Present, Paul, Mr. Chairman. All right. Uh, Ms. Iwinada Sebial, are you there? A certified public accountant, right? Are you there, Ms. Uh, Sibiel? Margaret? From you have to answer that question the other day. You have to answer the question. So I was look, I'm looking for you. Go ahead. From Philippine Pharma Wealth, Lizon Baldeswet. Present, Your Honor. All right, I can see you. All right. Jonas De Pala. Present, Your Honor. All right. Maylene Villanueva. Yeah, so Present, Your Honor. Yes, okay, thank you. Go ahead. From Philippine Blue Cross Biotech, Mr. Benito Techico and Mr. Wilson Techico. Present, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Wilson, all right, thank you. Attorney Wendell Avisado, former Secretary DPM, is also here, Mr. Chairman. Present, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Next. Samuel Dagpin, Chairman, Governance Commission for DOTD. Present, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Raymond, Abre Raymond Abrea, CPA, MBA. Present, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Thank you for coming again. Thank you. Dr. Anthony Liachon. Present, Mr. Chair Chairman. Thank you. Good morning. Lloyd, Attorney Lloyd Christopher Lau. Morning, Mr. Chairman. Present. Here. Attorney Here. Paolo Teston. Good okay. morning, Mr. Chairman. Present. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Attorney Teston. Okay. Who else? Those are those are the persons present right now, Mr. Chairman. Okay, please administer the oath to those who were not here before. 
Yes, Your Honor. For those who are here for the first time, can you raise your right hand? And please turn on your identify camera. Yourself. So that... Identify yourself. There, I see Mr. Uh, I cannot, I cannot, uh, please speak up, uh, Mr. Uh, Maronilla. Your Honor, uh, we're here, Your Honor, raising our hands. Okay, you're there, all right? Dalawa kayo, no? O tatlo pala kayo dyan. Say your name. Edward Tugupo, Your Honor. Attorney Vincent Maranila, Your Honor. Deputy Commissioner Raniel Ramiro, Your Honor. All right, make sure you have their names, all right? Yes, Your Honor. Are there anybody else? Dr. Napoleon Arevalo. From the UH Technical Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? Yes, I do. Uh, a picture will be taken. Please hold on. Uh, Can you please put on your video, Mr. Arevalo, Dr. Arevalo? By the way, you may address me as Mr. Chairman, not Mr. Chair. Obviously, Mr. Chair. yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Pictures will be taken. Uh, picture uh, slide one. Can you turn on your video, please, with Dr. Arevalo? Dr. Arevalo, you're directed to turn on your video. You cannot be in the picture without that. Mr. Chairman, I'm having a little difficulty in that in starting my video. Are you in the DOH building? Uh, no, sir. I am at home. I am already retired. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. My apologies. All Thank right. you, Paul. All right. Later I'm on, having difficulty, you... Mr. Chairman, in turning on my video. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. All right. Uh, when we, we, call, we call you, you have to raise your hand later on, and we will administer the oath when we can see you. All right? So in the meantime, have somebody fix your video. Yes, yes, you Mr. Chairman. Reboot. Maybe you should reboot. Patay mo muna. Pull it from the plug and then reboot. All right? Okay. Come Mr. Chair, a, a picture has been taken of BOC personnel, Your Honor. All right. Direct, direct the record that you have administered the oath to the uh, folks involved, including the people from Customs. The names are with you already. And Dr. Arevalo, when he appears, we will have to take his oath of office. Anybody else? Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, Mr. Thank Senator Risa, yes, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. There are two persons, Mr. Chairman, that I made of record last Friday night that uh, when my turn comes, I hope to pose questions to Mr. Chairman. So may I please inquire if Mr. Michael Young is again present in this hearing? And uh, second and lastly, Mr. Chairman, may I also... Please inquire if Ms. Rose Nono Lim was uh, served, was given an invitation or served a subpoena and is present to answer questions, Mr. Chairman. Salamat po, Mr. Chairman. Director General, is Mr. Young present? I didn't hear you call him. He, his name is not in color yet, which means, sir, that he is not yet here. What is the answer, Mr. yes or no? Is he present or not? Our, our records show that he is not yet present. Mr. Chairman, good morning. Who is that? Uh, Attorney Fortune, Your Honor. Raymond, go ahead. Where's your client? Good morning. I presume you're the uh, Good morning, Mr. Chairman, and to all the senators. Yes. Uh, I would like to, I, I regret that Mr. Michael Young would not be able to attend today's hearing. Uh, may I be allowed to explain? Go ahead, take it quick. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, we are supposed to be meeting here at uh, a place in Insular Village 1 uh, before 9.30 today. On the way, he had texted me and then subsequently called and said that he, his blood pressure had suddenly shot up. And for that reason, he, had to, uh, he was advised by his doctor to just stay at home. Uh, apparently, because of the proceedings, uh, his health has been affected, Your Honors. And he looks healthy enough. He's still under contempt and under 
an arrest uh, for contempt and uh, he would have to appear. I think blood pressures go up and down. Yes, Your Honors. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I will certainly undertake that to provide the necessary medical certificate uh, to support uh, my statement today, Your uh, Mr. No, Chairman. No, no, we're not going to give him a free pass. Uh, he can appear. He's not under pressure there. He's in Dabao where he's comfortable. He can bring his doctor if he wills, and we want to see him. Uh, they, uh, we, we cannot wait for people who would always say, you know, that always occurs. When somebody's under investigation, they come in in a wheelchair, show their picture, and they cannot appear. Or they're in a hospital bed. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Young, is uh, healthy enough. As, as far as I'm concerned, I don't, I'm not, I think he can, he can face the music. Uh, so, please tell your client that we would expect him to appear in the course of the hearing, especially when we start having questions against him. And we have questions, a lot of certainly, questions. Certainly. Yeah. I, I, I will do the advice. Simon. Okay. Yes, 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 yes Mr. Chair. Chair. You, you can know, trust me. enough to know that we're men of our word, correct? Yes, certainly, Mr. Chairman. Thank and you. You can, uh, you can also Mr. trust me that. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Mr. Chairman. Yes. 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 Senator Tarantino is present. Go ahead. Yes, just, just an inquiry, Mr. Chairman. Uh, do I understand that we are now uh, revising the order of questioning based on a day-to-day -day attendance so, so that the previous attendance and line of questioning will not be carried over, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, we still have that. We'll follow who the, the ones who were not called. We'll have first crack at it. And I'm, and, uh, I'm getting the list here right now. Uh, and I'll be with you shortly. In the meantime, I would like to Mr. make Chairman. sure that uh, 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 we have uh, uh, an answer to uh, Mr. Alan Lee, alias, alias, uh, what's his name? Lin Wei Xiong. Uh, alias Lin Wei Xiong. And his wife, Rose Nono Lin. Have we issued an invitation? Nono a subpoena was issued by the community. The OSA in their report said that the subpoena to both were not served because according to Mr. Ronald Madulid, guard on duty at the administrative administrative office of La Fuerza, the tenant of the warehouse of warehouse eight is Idea Stream, owned by a certain Mr. John Delicio. He also said that since he started working in La Fuerza eight years ago. Idea Stream has always been the tenant of Warehouse 8. According, according to security guard Mr. Madolid, Idea Stream took their operation since the start of the pandemic in March 2020. We got that address from their incorporation papers, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman. Let me just uh, respond uh, yes, Mr. Uh, with, with your permission. You're saying that you have not been able to serve him summons. Is that correct? Or subpoena? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Not yet, Your Honor. And you're saying that uh, the place, what is the address again? It's uh, yes, Warehouse sir. 8 in La Puerta. Where, warehouse 8 in Makati, in, Your Honor. In Makati? Makati yes, Your Honor. La, La Puerta. La Fuerza, the force. Yes, sir. Okay. I Two think four. Is, it Avenue, okay. is it a warehouse or an office? The the address is called the, the address is called Warehouse Eight. We have not oh. seen the physical layout, so we don't know if it's just a name or if it's really a warehouse, Your Honor. We will endeavor, Your Honor, to. I understand. Uh, the order last time, uh, Director General, is that we issue an invitation to Rose Nono Lim. Upon motion of uh, Senator Hontiveros, she wanted a subpoena issued. Have we done that? Yes, sir. A subpoena was issued and a subpoena was served on the address provided in the incorporation papers. It was not, however, successfully served because there, the persons named in the subpoena, Mr. Rose Nono Lin and Mr. Alan Lin or Lin Wei Xiong did not hold office there, Your Honor. Now, I have a letter here coming from uh, 
the law offices of uh, Sigyan Reina in Montecillo in Oshaco. And uh, it says, uh, we write on behalf of our client and the, it says, it says the residence address, re residence address of Miss Rose Nono Lim. We write on behalf of our client, Miss Rose Nono Lim, in relation to the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee's investigation of the 2020 COA report and other issues related to the budget utilization of the Department of Health. We understand from various news reports that Senator Risa Ontiveros had moved to for the issuance of a subpoena to our client last Friday, 10 September. However, as of the time of this writing, no subpoena has been served on our client. To ensure a tiny receipt, the Sabina may be served at her residence at 747 Quirino Highway, Barangay, San Bartolome, Novalisas, Quezon City. Signed, Siguiente Reina Montesillo and Onxiaco Law Offices by Alma Fernandez Malionga and Augusto Leon A. Makatangay. Uh, please, sir, if you have, if we have issued a subpoena already, uh, yeah, yeah. Then issue it right now, send the USA there so that we can know what her disposition is. And I'm sure she's watching on television right now. Yes, yes Your Honor. We will inform the Office of the Services at Arms immediately. And please proceed with it very quickly because we need her. She's vital. All right? And I don't know why she wouldn't come in. If you had nothing to hide, she should have said, all right, don't have the lawyer. Don't, you don't need the lawyer to come in. And if she's got... She's very open about her affairs. Then she can say, I, I, although I did not get a subpoena, uh, I can appear here. That would have been a better thing to do. Uh, that would be helpful. Just a suggestion. All right. All right, Your Honor. All right, thank you. So who's next uh, after this? Uh, the order will be, the order of will be, I think, Mr. Pacquiao. No, Mr. Pangilina will continue. I'm sorry, she's not finished yet. And then Mr. Pacquiao, Mr. Mar uh, Ms. Marcos, Ms. Poe, Ms. Hantiveros, Mr. Go, Ms. Cayetano, Mr. Pimentel, Mr. Angara, and Ms. Villar. I refer to them by their names because even in the Congress or in the, uh, uh, we, we refer to them as Mr. or a Senator because we know who we are. All right, anyway. That is the list, and uh, Senator Tolenti, you're so uh, informed. In the meantime, let me just proceed because we've wasted enough time already. I wish you could do this faster, but we have to follow the strictures of presence and uh, uh, administration of oath. All right, on that note, the hearing is now called to order formally. Uh, and uh, you may take the previous statement. I already called it earlier. Uh, I already banged the gavel earlier, and I banged the gavel again just to formalize, uh, to be sure there's no question. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, to all our fellow senators and all uh, uh, our guests. Uh, in the past few hearings, we discovered the neglect on the welfare of our frontline soldiers in our fight, not and our frontline people, folks in our fight against COVID-19. The nurses, the doctors, and other healthcare workers who are our sentinels in the fight against COVID-19. Their task is very important and certainly very perilous. Lately, we have heard of the resignation of 10 volunteer doctors from PGH who were doctors from the DOH who were earning 50,000 pesos a month. We quote the statement of Dr. Jonas Del Rosario of the PGH. Wala naman po kami masabi dahil ang trabaho sila sa BJH and their decision to leave ay personal na po yun. We honor that. Nung nag-resign, malaking kawalan po sa amin yun. We have nothing to say because they worked at PJH and their decision to leave was personal. We honor that. When they resigned, it was a big loss for us. He added. And it continues on, maybe I can just hypothesize, maybe napagod na rin. Maaring yung iba nagkakasakit. They probably look. Uh, the PGH, masyadong maraming trabaho. Maybe they got tired. Maybe others got sick. I think that's a very, not a very uh, fair statement. Hindi na papago dyan. They probably look at the PGH and thought too much work. I, I, I hope that that is not really the case. Uh, kung ang bilyong-bilyong pondo na nasasayang sa katiwalian sa ating procurement ng mga PPE, face mask, at iba pang gamit laban sa COVID ay nagamit para mabigyan ng ating mga nurses, doctors, at iba pang mga 
health workers, uh, siguro baka mas maganda ang mga beneficio nila at hindi na sila kailangan uh, mag- uh, Uh, mag-resign uh, dahil talagang dapat talaga kinumpit namin kung yung pera ang nawawala ay ginamit na sinuwalduhan mo ang 20,000 people times 50,000 each uh, makukuha talaga na aabot ng mga uh, maka makakayanan natin bayaran yan at uh, hindi tayo dapat nagkaroon ng mga katiwalian dito kung hindi tayo nagkaroon ng mga katiwalian dito Our health workers feel that they are fully supported, and they are because of the uh, the law that uh, was crafted by the Senate and the lower house, and approved by the president in our fight against COVID. Siguro buo ang moral ng ating mga frontliners. And uh, I'm just speculating here na siguro na na nangihina rin ang loob ang kanila ang ang ating mga healthcare workers. Kaya uh, hindi ko kahaba nito. Dalampasan ko na yung mga prepare ng staff dito na sa sabi natin. Uh, ang gusto ko lang sabihin ay eh, talagang uh, nahihirapan tayo dahil lumalakas ang pandemic at, uh, at ang nangyayari ngayon ay talagang kailangan natin magtulong-tulong. Pero siguro kung gagawin natin ang dapat gawin at uh, uh, sasagutin natin na mabilis to at malalaman natin kung ano dapat ma-avoid sa mga pagnanasa ng mga ganid at mga ibang tao at matitigilan yung mga sinasabi pa ng ating Pangulo Uh, na imbes na pagpayagan kami maka, makapag-investiga uh, at galangin ang institution sabi nga ng ating Senate President there are institutions in our country sinabi ko na rin yan yung uh, Commission on Audit uh, yan ay tigabanta uh, mga ginagawa ng bawat gobyerno ng bawat sanay ng gobyerno o ang Senado at ang Kongreso na talaga nagbabantay rin at uh, imbis na sinasabi sa mga tao na huwag na kayo makinig dyan, ay siguro mas maluwag at mas mabilis tayo. At uh, nagsimula ako rito at ulitin ko lang dahil lumapit ang mga nurses kasama ko Senator Antivero, Senator Pangilinan uh, in that meeting na uh, talagang hindi nababayaran yung kanilang mga uh, allowances, yung kanilang SRA. Kaya nung unang meeting, yan ang sinabi ko, tanulaki namin kaagad at yan ay uh, nangako si Secretary Duque na gagawa niya ng paraan at magkakaroon pa siya ng opisina na mag-receive ng complaint at uh, maghahanap siya ng pera at uh, balita ako nakakuha na naman raw ng pera I, I have not confirmed that na 800 plus million ang nakuha pero kulang pa rin, hindi parayo pa rin umaangal, hindi na nabayaran Now, that is something that we also try to do in this afternoon upon the assurances of our fellow senators and our COCU senators who really said they will take up the bill that will add uh, create an appropriation Uh, that we filed with Senator Angara for the healthcare workers. So I just hope to uh, make sure if we have time, we will call the nurses as well as the healthcare workers later on, just to be sure that you don't feel forlorn na hindi namin inaasika. So maaari namin kayong tawagin later on kung may oras pa tayo. At wag ko kayong bibitaw sapagkat talagang uh, gagawin natin ang lahat para matulungan lahat ang ating mga kailangan. Matulungan. Ang konteksto po natin ngayon, maraming namamatay, maraming nagkakasakit, maraming nagugutom at walang trabaho, walang ayuda at kulang na kulang pa rin sa mga paralan uh, na makapasok yung mga bata. Uh, ngayon sa puntong ito, we can now contemplate na mukhang luwabas na, na talagang halimbawa, uh, talagang uh, walang, walang uh, pangdakan na talagang ni walang tinatawag na due diligence ang ginawa uh, nitong mga tiga PSDBM nito nila lahat specifically narinig natin naka, uh, na naging negligent si chairman uh, si Mr. Lau at gano'n na rin yung mga kasama dyan kaya tatalingin natin ba may si Mr. Leong uh, at uh, ito ay gusto namin sabihin kay Secretary Major Lea hindi po kami nang bubulo dito ginagawa po namin namin ito po at dahil dyan napalabas na po natin na si Mr. Young, and I can only speculate, ay talagang damang mga content because sabi niya nung umpisa, wala siyang kinalaman sa farmali uh, bukod lamang doon sa pagdala niya sa pagulo ng Pilipinas. Uh, at uh, uh, sinabi niya rito na 22 years na siya rito at uh, sabi niya, it is only through the news that he found out about the existence of farmali pharmaceutical, quote-unquote. Yan ang sinabi ni Mr. Yang to his interpreter. 
Pero napatunayan natin kay Mr. Lincoln Ong sa pagsusuri ng mga senador at na talagang nabibigay ng pera si Mr. Yang. Siya nagpapakilala sa mga Chinese sa China at uh, yan ay napatunayan natin. At uh, hanggang si Mr. Wang ay nagsabi na talagang tumanggap siya ng pera, ang kakalang korporasyon ng pera. Hindi ko napapalawigin uh, yan, magtatanong pa tayo mamaya dyan. So anong nangyari dyan ay talagang uh, uh, lumabas na nagsisinungaling sila. And uh, for the benefit of Mr. Wang who is listening here, uh, there were lies perpetrated by Mr. Yang and Mr. Uh, lumabas na Mr. Ong also was evasive and that's why a contempt uh, orders were uh, a contempt uh, uh, arrest was given to him. And uh, it, uh, Mr. Wang intervened and said uh, 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 he has COVID and that he will speak. And he spoke and he said finally that Mr. Young has really been dealing with him and the, co and the corporation. And sabi niya, Mr. Young, Michael Young, and I quote, sabi ni Mr. Ong, guarantees for us. Uh, and also, uh, sa pagtatanong rin natin, ay tinatanong natin, uh, at sabi niya, meron siya mga records at ipapakita niya sa, uh, sa darating na panahon. So ngayon, uh, nandito tayo sa sitwasyon na ito at uh, gusto natin pagpatuloy ang hearing, lalong madaling panahon. At uh, uh, let me just say na uh, itong ating uh, committee ng Blue Ribbon ay we will remain steadfast just as Invictus. Sabi nga doon sa Invictus na nilinisite namin ng bata kami. It matters now how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll, punishments the scroll. We are the masters, actually plural ito, I am the master of my fate. We are using the plural, we are the masters of our fates. We are the captains of our soul. Tutuloyan namin itong investigation na ito sa kabila ng pagbabanta at mga pananakot na ginagawa ngayon. Mismo ng ating Pangulo, nakakalungkot, pero yan ang ginagawa niya at tinaharap pa ang ibang mga ahensya ng mga volunteer organizations. So, hindi na ako magpapakahaba. I would like to call now uh, uh, the Senate President uh, for his preliminary remarks. Uh, uh, Senate President? So, thank, you, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Chairman, the Chairman of the Committee on Public Accountability and investigations. I'm just uh, trying to rub that in to remind uh, um, some people that there are three branches of government, the executive, the judiciary, and the legislative, the legislature. Uh, it just so happens that the Constitution says the, the, the legislature has the power of the purse. So we are doing our committee work. We are looking how the, um, the people's money is being spent. Um, we will, we're looking at the possibility of the PSDBM being, uh, uh, say, upgraded, updated, dissolved, or what have you. Depends on the outcome or the output of the committee. We may amend its uh, creation. But uh, big or small, the public have the right to know on how their um, uh, money is being spent. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I would not like to ask many questions today, except for one, one question, if you don't mind, and uh, so that uh, we are not accused or suspected of bullying, may I ask that Mr. Huang, you know, Mr. Huang, who is in Singapore, be, um, if he is here, to, um, to give me uh, an answer to a, a simple question. Uh, Mr. Wang, are you here? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I'm present. All right, Mr. Wang. Uh, Mr. President, uh, just a moment. Just for the record, Mr. Lincoln Wong, when he was uh, being uh, cross-examined, he said, can Mr. Wang make a presentation? I said, in due time, we will call him. And now the Senate President himself uh, is calling Mr. Wang. Mr. Wang, please proceed. Yes, and Mr. Wang, uh, please go ahead. Go ahead. Um, give me your, uh, give uh, the chairman uh, your statement so that we are not accused of anything else. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senate President, Honorable Senator. On behalf of um, Family Pharmaceutical Corporation, we really would like to cooperate with the hearings and the understandings of the inquiries. 
during the past few um, hearings and the past few weeks, there's been multiple concerns that were raised. And I'd really like to address several of the topics raised today. And number one, there is the concern of high price. We would like to point out that in these transactions, the capacity of our companies is only really in the role of a bidder or seller in a layman's term. You know? um, the company is a business entity. You know, what we really attempt to do as a business is to offer the best price available within the constraints of our abilities so that we can attract customers. And in this case, the customer was um, the, the government procurement entity. And what really, I, I would say, what really determined the price that we offer is, um, in a broad term, is the supply and demand. You know? When the demand for something is really high and the supply is low, then the price goes up. And when we bring this into uh, context, during this time, during the period of these transactions, there was really a worldwide pandemic. Now, everyone around the world, you know, regardless of any, any social standing, we are all faced with COVID-19. And sadly, during that time, the only protection that we have for anyone is masks and PPEs. So this global demand, drastic demand, really bring up the price. You know? So of course, you know, if we look back at, at, on those prices now, you know, they seem exorbitant. I would agree, they seem exorbitant. But when we, we acknowledge that it was during the circumstances and the time frame when the, the transactions happened, I know many have questioned about the mass we sold, 27.72 pesos per piece. But we need to really say that those masks are sold and delivered all in the month of April 2020. That was really the height of the pandemic. And it was, you know, the acquiring cost for us was relatively high. And we, and so it was very difficult to address that. I, I, of course, I, well, I really welcome the, the decision you know, to only acquire from local manufacturers, you know, to support the people there. But as to our concerns, we really, just offered our best price at that moment. And number two is how, how come a small company like us, we, we were able to receive billions in deals. Uh, what I want to say is we started somewhere. You no, know? we never deny we are small. And this is really reflected in all the documents that were submitted to us to the procuring entity. It, it, I, I want to highlight that um, we have been compliant with any of the requirements submitted to us. If not, we will never been, have been awarded or even to allow to collect payments after. Uh, the, 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 the whole thing is that when we, what happened really was when there was a bid, we bid it with the best of our abilities. And when we were awarded, if and when we were awarded, we will successfully deliver diligently and only after will we be compensated. You know, there, there was really never an instant where we, we got a single peso or centavo to, to do our business from the government. And it was not one contract that got us to you know, billion dollar deals. We, we just kept trying, you know, I, I, as I said mentioned before, I guess the, the we treat these we three young men were a bit too ambitious, you know. We thought we can, you know, if we can manage the supply side, we were able to complete these deals. So um, we just kept trying, and then after one, two, three, four, five, we, we just kept trying so that we will prevent ourselves from back getting blacklisted. And what I guess the company always wanted to do is just make good of our obligation to deliver. I think that is really the the, the ultimate goal and what really drives us is we realize that if we don't deliver, there will be very serious consequences. And then there are also talks that we are favored by the procurement entity. You know, as I said before, we are a business. Um, sometimes we win the business and sometimes really, you know, we don't, then they go elsewhere. We don't always win in these, in these government bids. You know? There's been more than 12 instances where you know, we bid it and we didn't win, we were not awarded a bid. 
these are all um, really public records. You know, we don't have that hundred percent success story. And if you really consider the amount of bids that we lost, the contract value is close to approximately fourteen point four eight billions. Because um, what we really want to say is, we 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 don't always win, and what we do is just keep trying, keep trying, and keep trying. And when we do win a bid, or we do our award a bid, we just want to make good of the obligation because we realize this, this it's not also not just about winning, it's about getting this you know, life-saving equipment critically that needed as fast as possible. So from our perspective, that is what we do. And also there are also some questions about my personal history. I I'm I'm really am open to discuss this. I mean uh, about about things about my uh, personal history of my previous employer or even about my father in, in question. But I want to also state that um, the question today is about the company. The company and is different from the same from the from that company in 2017. The shareholders are different. We are not a dummy. You know, it's really me finding my good friends, people I met in the Philippines with Mohit and Lincoln to, together to start a business because that previous one by my father and his, his partners are not going to push through. So I just didn't want to waste my effort. And many people can question why I use this very similar name. You know, it was, I guess it was a very stupid choice because at the time I just wanted to rub off on the fact that that company was still a listed company. You know? You want to rub off on the fact that you know, even the VP in that sense. So I really regret that. But the family pharmaceutical corporation and family biological is really completely different company. I need to say it on record. And regarding the statement I made previously about um, our relationship with Mr. Michael Young, I, I'm not here to defend Mr. Michael Young. He, the, he really does not know about me, my involvement with Family Pharmaceutical Corporation, because I was scared to go to him because, you know, when your father made a promise to do something and he left you in charge to do it and then somehow that doesn't happen, it's just very embarrassing to go up to someone and, and try to ask, to ask for help. But when we were awarded the contract, we really want to make good and deliver. So uh, after even despite my like, um, my reluctance, I I think we asked Lincoln to approach Mr. Michael Young in his personal capacity. So I don't know, maybe that's why he said he doesn't know about company, but he definitely knows about that he is going he is helping Mr. Lincoln on for the for the contract in question. You know, so I, I I I don't want to defend him, but. The truth is he doesn't know about my personal involvement in this or whether he knows about it. it's a company that is all. So I want to say is that what we want to say is that um, the company is a small startup. We are not affiliated with any government agencies or other private agencies. The shareholders and the corporate officers of the company are true and honest. And you know, I believe, I don't know, I believe um, what we want I hope that we won the contracts by way of merit, by the price we offer, by the time or delivery schedule that we can offer. No, I don't think really we want it through any form of connections. So um, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to this committee. Um, <clears throat> all right, so is that all, um, Mr. Wong? If that, in that case, um, I leave it to you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I was uh, hoping that they would cooperate as uh, uh, obviously they're still sticking to their story in spite of the fact that uh, there have been perjurious statements that have been made there in open uh, a false testimony. Uh, with the permission of everyone, so just uh, we know where we left off this uh, Mr. Lincoln Ong under cross-examination by uh, Senator Rakson, Senator Delon, and myself, as well as Senator Antiveros, uh, and Senator Pangilinan. Uh, uh, 
would you like I, I would like to ask a question of uh, Lincoln Ong uh, right now. Uh, kung papayagan nyo. Mr. Ong? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Good morning po. How are you today? Magaling ka na? Uh, I think I'm okay naman po. Mild lang po. Medyo Mild mahirapan na. lang huminga. Ah, oh, sige. Uh, nasa 95 ka naman, no? 97. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Hindi ko po ba na-check eh. Kasi second COVID ko na po ito. I think I can get through this. <laughs> oh, sanay ka na. At saka may bakuna ka na, di ba? Opo. Salamat po sa ating gobyerno na nakapag-vaccine po kami. Mm -hmm. Tama. Okay. Now, nung nag-negotiate, negotiated bin ito, di ba? Sino ang kausap mo? Sino ang nakipag-usap kay Mr. Lau? Uh, Mr. Chair, nung panahon ng PPE na to, uh, tumatanggap na lang kami ng RFQ and then sumasagot na lang kami. Hindi na kami pupunta doon kasi delikado na rin doon eh. Ano? Tumatanggap lang kayo ng sulat? Uh, R kasi uh, everything will be uh, on uh, RFQ. Nag Nagsisend po sila ng RFQ. Request for quotation. Ay, RFQ. Request yes, for? Po, RFQ. For quotation po, yes po. Quotation. Oh. Do you have opo, that letter? Opo, opo. Ah, yes po. Uh, yes po. Can you submit it to the committee? Yung unang-unang letter, uh, at ang letter na pinadala sa iyo? Ah, sige po, isubmit po namin ng RFQ Ay, agad. Tumatanggap? Ah, yung sa admin po namin sa office. Bakit? Ba't alam na alam mo? Ikaw ba may question? Hindi po, uh, once na nakatanggap po kami ng RFQ, edi as a team, we have to act on it, discuss on it, and then decide on it po. So, ano una, ano, una natanggap niya? Ano sinabi? Uh, sir, I have, uh, it's, it's, it's really an RFQ. It's a, it's a, may, may, meron po siyang format eh. Andun pa yung text specs. Ano, ano ang offer sa inyo? Ano request sa inyo? Alin, uh, request po sa ano? Request po sa R, ano? Uh, every R project is particular to, uh, to a project. You're still evasive, ha? Huh? Ano po? You're still very evasive. Ano request sa inyo? Mag-supply kayo. So, sorry po. Yes po, yes po, yes po. Mag-offer mag po kami. Magsagot po kami sa RFQ. Yes po. Sinagot mo. Ikaw sumagot. Yes po, yes po. Sinagot po ng kumpanya. Hindi, konti na nung ko eh. Sinagot mo. Opo, opo. Ikaw ang sumagot? Hindi, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a company action po. Sir. Hindi na naman ako mismo. Ikaw ba ang sumagot? Hindi kita binubuli ha? Uh, sabihin mo, binubuli ko opo, kayo. Opo, opo, opo. Sagutin mo lang yung tanong. Huwag niyong bina, binapaandaran kami. Uh, hindi po, hindi po ako po yung sumagot. Sino ang sumagot ko hindi ikaw? ikaw Sinasabi mo hindi ikaw ang sumagot? Yung admin email po namin. Sino yun? Uh, si, actually, si Crizel Mago yata eh. Siya, siya po kasi nag-handle nun. Andiyan si Miss Mago, di ba? Yes po, yes po. Miss Mago, ikaw ba sumagot? Ang sulat? Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning Good po. RFQ po ng PSDBM, I was the one who answered po the email. Email? Yes po, Your Honor. Uh, ano sinabi sa email? Magbigay kayo ng offer? So, yung pinakaunang um, email ng PSDBM, it says here, request for proposal. We kindly request for a price proposal for supply and delivery of surgical masks for the procurement service. Details are in the RFQ attached to this email po. And then uh, let me also read the um, the, date? Uh, the date of the email po, Your Honor, is on March 25, 2020. March? 25, 2020 po. March 5, 2020. March 25. 25. Yes po. Uh, tapos, ano siya Um, Dito po sa RFQ ng PSD. Okay, excuse me, excuse me lang. Ano? Yes Mabilis po. Mabilis lang tayo, mabilis lang ha. Sino ang sumula? Sino ang nakapirma? Um, ang nakapirma po is Attorney Michelle Ann Recto. Ano? Attorney Michelle Ann D. Recto. Michelle Ann D. Recto. Recto. 
All right. O, tapos, sinagot mo. Yes po, Your Honor. Dito po sa RFQ, there are five lots na ibibid po. These are all surgical masks. And we only joined lot five po for 500,000 pieces of surgical mask. 500,000? Yes po, Your Honor. Magkano yun? Um, the yeah. unit price is 28 pesos and then approved budget for the contract is 8 million pesos po, Your Honor. Again? Um, for the lot 5, yeah. we joined po. Uh, quantity is 500,000 pieces. Unit price is 28 pesos. And then the approved budget for the contract is 8 million pesos po, Mr. Chairman. Director General, can you get a copy of that email, please? We are at the disadvantage. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. We'll ask right now. Can you send it right yes, now, please? Yes, okay. Your Honor. Thank you. Oh, now, may computer ka dyan, di ba? Yes, Delete Your Honor. Delete Your Honor. Yes, Paul, Mr. Chairman. Oh, padala mo kagad sa Blue Ribbon. Okay, Your Honor. Ito po. Susend ko na po. Alam mo address namin? Um, I have the email address po. Okay, sige. So, 8 million muna. Yan ang unang-una, 8 million. Yes po, Your Honor. 8 million pesos worth? Um, yun po yung approved budget for the contract. That's the ceiling um, budget po for the contract, Your Honor. Paano mo nalaman yun ang sinabi sa inyo? Yes po, ito po yung laman ng RFQ mismo, Mr. Chairman. 8 million pesos, alright? Yes. Oh. So, pagkatapos yun, Nag-supply na kagad kayo? Pinayagan kayo? Um, Nag-respond po kami with the... Uh, Sino kami? Sino nag-respond? Ako po. Through email po, Mr. Chair. Oh, email. Oh, padala mo rin yan. Yung email na yan. Yes po. Oh, sige, ano respond nyo? Um, after namin na... Um, Nag-respond ako March 26, Your Honor. Walang And, usapan niya na panay-email lang ha? Yes po. Puro email po, Your Honor. Puro And, email? Wow. Uh, uh, one, huh? Sige, go ahead. And then on um, April 6, 2020, I received an email po for the notice of award for the Lot 5 surgical mask. Excuse me, Sandra. Sino ang kausap po muna yan? Pinadala mo yung email. Kanino mo pinadala? Um, let me check po. Uh, pinadala ko po yung email sa PD8 at ps-philjeps.gov.ph Attention who? Um, attention to Mr. Uh, Patrick Dave Magpantay. Patrick who? Patrick Dave Magpantay po, Mr. Chairman. Patrick Magpantay. Yes po. Okay. Oh, anong pinadala mo? You're going to uh, abide by the order. You will fill in the order. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. 500,000? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. All right. And you said, okay, we'll supply it at that price. Yes po. Anong unit cost? Ang um, unit cost namin at that time is uh, 27.72 pesos po. 27.72 pesos. 27.72? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. 27.72 pesos, all right? Okay, so pinadala niyo na yan, agad? Opo, Mr. Chairman. Sumagot po na sila, sumagot po na sila, di ba? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Ano uh, yung sumagot? Oh, sige, padala niyo na, ganun ba? Um, dito po kasi sa RFQ, uh, Mr. Chairman, meron po dito ang deadline kung kailan isasubmit po yung... Um, Uh, RFQ, the deadline is on March 26, 2020. And then I replied on the same day po, March 26, 2020. Anong, anong deadline? March? 26 po. Uh, ganun lang? Ganun lang kasimple? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I believe this is the procedure of the PSDBM for negotiated or emergency procurement. But please allow someone from the PSDBM to um, verify my statement. You can do that. Don't tell me what to do right now because I'm asking you a question. Ganun lang kasimple. Yes po, I'm, I'm, I'm only... Padala na kayo kagad. Paano kayo binayaran? Hmm. Um, 
um i'm only explaining based on the um timeline or the timetable of all our um uh, projects or contracts with the PSDBM po, Mr. Chairman. Oh, ito ay explaining. Paano kayo binayaran? Um, Usa ko na palang order na yan. Opo, so um, we delivered on time kasi on our... Uh, on time? Kailan on time? We delivered po um, on March 25, 2020 based on my records. Po. March 25, sabay? Nag-deliver yes. nyo na kagad? Yes po, Your Honor. Meron kayo sa bodega nyo ng ganun karami? Um, yes po, Your Honor. Saan nyo din deliver? Uh, we delivered to the warehouse of PSDBM at Paco, Manila po. Okay. And then? And then after that, uh, nagkaroon po ng inspection um, with the inspectors of the PSDBM. So, um, Satisfactorily, nakapasa naman po yung mga items na pinasa namin. Uh, Dineliver namin. Nandung ka ba ng inspection? Um, nagkaroon po ng visual inspection po. Visual? Yes po, Your Honor. Based on the technical specification. Sino nag-inspection? Um, our inspector at that time is Ma'am Nora. Ma'am Nora po. Pakibukas mo lang ang bibig mo para nagsasalita ka. Then, uh, kinakain mo yung salita mo. Anong pangalan ng inspector? Uh, our inspector at that time po is Ma'am Nora. Ma'am? Nora. Nora. Nora Salvador. Salvador? Yes po, Your Honor. O pumasa. So, binaya na kayo? Um, after the inspection po, Your Honor, the procedure po is we submit the um, import What's document. The procedure? I said, binayaran kayo. Kailan kayo binayaran? Uh, let me check po kung kailan kami binayaran, Your Honor. How long have you been in this company? Um, I've been Sorry. with them since the start, since the incorporation date, po, Your Honor. Yeah. Ano? Since the incorporation date, po, September 2, 2019. September 2, 2019. Diyan ka na? Yes, po, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, so just, just a quick clarification. Just a very quick clarification. With the permission of the chair. They received the... March 25? Is that correct? Yes, that's what she said. Uh, so, so, same day, walang negotiation, walang pag-uusap, email. On the same day? On the same day. I hope you know what you're doing, young lady. So, yun ang sinabi mo, ha? Para yes, sandwich. Oh, Bidyan mo ako. Sige, padalaan kita ng kwan. Oh, babayaran kita. Ito, uh, 500,000. Pinadala mo ka agad, right? Di ba? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Sino siya nabihan mo magpadala sa inyo? I was only heeding to the instructions of our management po. Sino ang instructor mo sa management? Mr. Ong seems to want to add something. Mr. Chairman. Just a moment. I'm, 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 I'm on uh, one here. Ang instructor mo, si Lincoln Ong. Yan ang sinasabi mo. Yes po, and Mr. Mohit Nargani. Mohit Nargani. Alright? Sila ang nagsabi sa iyo, i-deliver mo kagad. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Alright? I'll get to them. Parang grab delivery lang, ano? Napakasimple. Yes? Hindi ka ba gugulat? O, sige, tuloy natin. Tapos nag-order na naman. Um... Going back to your question earlier, Mr. Chairman, um, oh, yeah. our collection was on April 15 for this project. Po. April? 15, 2020. Po. Ano yun? Ano yung April 15? That was the collection po. Uh, Doon po kami binayaran ng procurement service. Yung 500,000 na dinilever nyo, nakakalaga magkano? Uh, 27... Eight billion pesos, binayaran na kayo on April 15. Ganun ba? Uh, Mr. Chairman, just to correct po, ang total contract amount for the 500,000 pieces is 13,860,000 pesos po. Ang oh, naging million na? Yes po. Naging 13 million na? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Can you uh, share your screen with us? You know, lamang na lamang kayo dito eh. Nagbabasa ka nung 
script niyo eh. Um, hindi po ako makapag-share ng screen okay. ng chairman. Um, like uh, Director General, nakuha mo na ba yung kanyang pinadala? Okay, try pa po namin. Wala pa pong pumapasok as of right now. Wait lang. Sige po, email ko na po. Hindi mo pa ini-email. Ano ba? Nila... Okay, while you're doing that, sabi mo, April 16 ka binayaran. Ano ba? April 15? April 15 po, Your Honor. Ang binayad sa'yo, 13 million, right? Ano uh, mo? Ang binayad po sa amin exactly is 12 million, 978,000. O, kanina 13 million, ngayon 12 million. Yes, uh, Your Honor, because ito na po yung nadedact po yung mga... Um, deductions ng PSDBM like the um with uh EWT FLAT and then the 1% warranty po. Ano din dinedak? Randa ka lang. Sige. Apo, ang dinedak po dito, your honor, is 1% um EWT, 5% FVAT and 1% warranty retention. Ah, may bat kayo. Yes po, your honor. <laughs> may bat. Di ba walang bat yan? Uh, Mr. Chairman, for the 500,000 pieces po na surgical mask, this was locally um, purchased po. Not imported. Yes, Senator Dira? Just one question with your permission, Mr. Chair. The resource person said that they received an answer the email on March 25, 2020, to my recollection. March same day, same day. Huh? Same day. Sorry. Yes. Um, they delivered the merchandise when? Also on March 25. Same day. Same day. Parang grab na eh. Parang grab at saka sandwich. Sa, sa, same day. Question. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, um, 500,000 pieces of surgical mask. Tama po ba yun? Yes po, Your Honor. Question, nasa inventory nyo ba ito? May inventory ba kayo? Nang, hindi maliit ito ha? 500,000 surgical mask. Nasa inventory nyo ba ito? Na deliver nyo on the same day? Um, Sabi na meron. Nasa inventory ba ng kumpanya nyo? Mr. Was in, in inventory? Oh. Um, ito po yung sa isa sa mga na-explain ni Mr. Lincoln Ong before regarding the um, statement that we have access to uh, supplies po. No, pa paki pakisagot lang po ng tanong ko. Sabi mo, natanggap niyo yung, uh, yung request for quotation on March 25, 2020. On the same day, you answered the uh, request for quotation and on the same day you supplied 500 pieces of surgical masks which cost uh, or 20 pesos per piece question did you have this in your inventory that you were able to deliver uh, uh, 50 500,000 on the same day um, Mr. Chairman, uh, at that day, we don't have the stocks on our inventory, but uh, we, Mr. Lincoln Ong was able to negotiate with the supplier. Po. Just a moment. Uh, then you were lying, kanina. Sabi mo, pinadeliver mo kagad, right? Yes, po, Mr. Chairman, with the instructions of Mr. Lincoln Ong, because he... Uh, I didn't ask you whose instruction. Sabi mo, pinadala ka ng email, uh, sinagot mo, at pinadeliver mo kagad. Tinanong kita, nando ba sa inventaryo? Meron. Ngayon, binabago mo ang sagot mo under the instructions of Lincoln Ong. Alam ko na sasabihin mo. Then narinig ko yung sinabi ni Lincoln Ong. Meron kayong mga kaibigan na nag-supply sa inyo. Yung ba sasabihin mo? Um, Mr. Chairman, um, supply chain manager... Oo, oh, yung mga tao dyan. Yung mga naiipin. Can you please, uh, Mr. Justin Vincent... Turn your off your phone. Go ahead. Sagutin mo. 
Apo. Uh, Mr. Chairman, our supply chain manager is Mr. Lincoln Ong. And then when he, when he instructed me to deliver the stocks that day, I only heeded to his instructions po. I know. The, sabi mo, may inventory kayo. Oh, sige, pinadala mo kagad. Oh. Tapos ngayon, binabago mo kanina yung sagot mo na merong ginawa si Lincoln Ong na, na nakakuha siya sa ibang supplier niya. Tama? Yun po talaga yun, Mr. Chairman. Ano, ano, sa akin yung tanong ko. Kaya nga sinabi mo, si Lincoln Ong, meron siyang contact na makukuha niyo kagad yung 500,000 kaya na i-deliver niyo kagad. Yun ang sinabi mo. Yes po, tama po yun, Mr. Chairman. Tama. Alright? Sino yung contact na yun? Mahirap um, yung money ha, malilisat-lisat ka dyan. Yes po, Mr. Chairman, with regards dun sa supplier ni Mr. Lincoln Ong, I have no access po. Wow, ang bilis yung talaga. Super bilis kayo, hindi mo alam. Bigla na lang, oh. Sinabi mo ba kay Lincoln Ong? Kailangan mo sinabi kay Lincoln Ong na may nag uh, mayroon kailang request for quotation? That same day din po, Mr. Chairman. Ha? Huh? That same day din po, Mr. Chairman. Kasi we work as a team po for the, ano, for the um, meetings po. So you're telling us uh, na that same day na deliver nyo, dumaan ka pa kay Mr. Ong, sinabi mo ba kay Mr. Ong, may order dito. Sabi mo kanina, meron kayo sa inventory. Nung tinanong ka na, dumakas na ngayon kay Ong. Ang sasabihin ngayon ni Ong, ay maghahanap ako. Yun ang pinalalabas mo, di ba? Um, it's like ah, yung lady, it doesn't suit you. About, it's like this, Mr. Chairman. So when I received the RFQ from the PSDBM, I already informed the whole team po. So kami po lahat yung nag-discuss regarding dun sa... Um, response namin dun sa RFQ. That's why lahat po kami aware of the RFQ. And then uh, Mr. Lincoln Ong confirmed kayo? na meron po kami uh, supplier na makukuhanan. Lahat kayo? Ikaw ang tumagap ng email? Lahat kayo? Alam na kagad ang order? Uh, yes po, Mr. Chairman, because we have a group chat po and dun po kami nagsisend ng mga... Ah, group chat naman ngayon. Ina... Sige, tuloy mo. Go ahead, Dr. Price. Uh, Pakiulit lang po, mayroon pa kang inventaryo na libang daang fibong face uh, surgical mask. No? Thank you, Senator Lapsang. Go ahead. Go ahead, yes, Dr. Lapsang. Very, very quickly for clarification lang. Ano? Ang sabi kasi ni nung resource person ngayon, April 15, nakakolekta sila. Sa presentation niyo po, Mr. Chairman, ang PO na lumabas, April 16. So, paano nakakulekta ng April 15 kung ang PO for 500,000 pieces between 27-72? April 16, as per COA report. Nauna yung collection kesa sa PO. I just want to be clarified just sa testimony ni Ms. Nora. Kung April 15, sinabi niya, yun pagkarinig ng mga namin dito, no? April 15, nakakulekta na sila. Nauna pa yung collection sa PO. Not even delivery ha. PO lang ito, Mr. Chairman. I just want to be clarified on that. Thank you. Uh, what is your answer? Uh, Mr. Chairman, based on our records po, the purchase order is dated April 6, 2020 po. Ano? <laughs> Ang purchase order is April 6, pero nakakulekta kayo kagad. Nag-order ng March 25, sir. Dineliver mo kagad. Tapos biglang lumabas ang April 6, ang purchase order. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. At binayara kayo ng April 15. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Ah, talaga super efficient, ano? <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yes. Mr. Chairman, I, I'm relying on your presentation, quoting the COA report that the PO for the 500,000 pieces, you know, this is a Sperkova, uh, amounting to 27 or 27.72 per piece, you know, April 16. So I'm wondering how they were able to collect Sorry. the day before the PO for the piece. Oh, Will you please tell us the truth, young Thank lady? 
Yes, Mr. Chairman, let me email you a copy of the purchase order, which was dated April 6, 2020. Yes, po, nakapag email ako initially ng um, documents regarding the RFQ for your order. While you're doing that, let me ask you a question again. When was your next order? And the next order, po, let me check lang po. Um, for the 2,400,000 pieces of surgical mask, po, um, the request for offer was emailed on April 13, 2020. Po. April 13? Yes, po. Hmm. And then uh, we responded. Two point four million quantity. Yes, for well, uh, your honor. Uh, and then on April 14, twenty twenty, Mister Dargani responded to the request for offer call. So from here on onwards, it was Mister Dargani who was designated as our authorized representative for the um uh, contracts with the PSTBN. These are members of the board, right? Lincoln is a member of the board. Yes, so, Mr. Chairman. Bergani is a member of the board. Yes, so, Mr. Chairman. Is it the practice of this corporation? Hindi ba ang board gumagawa lang ng policy yan tapos kayo nakikialam na yung board member doon sa mga pagbadang ng order? Is that what you want to have us believe? Hmm. Ano? Ganun ba talaga ang policy nyo, ha? I hope you realize pagka nag-perjew ka o kaya nagsinungaling ka rito, malaking kasalanan niya, ha? Hindi kita tinatakot. Hindi kita binubuli. I'm just trying to find out. Hindi ka panipaniwala yung sinasabi mo na nag-order ng March 25, dineliver niyo on March 25, tapos on April 6, sabi mo, ngayon, bigla mong babawi. Sabi mo, wala pala kami sa kwan. Sabi mo, nasa bodega. Yung pala, wala pala sa bodega. Ah! Super Lincoln comes in. Abraham Lincoln comes in and says, Oh, bibigyan ka namin ng kaibigan ko. Meron. Di ba yun? Nasa mo? Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, just to clarify po. No, no, uh, no. It's very clear to me. Anong ka-clarify mo pa dyan? Yan ang sinabi mo. Opo. Wala po kaming inventory sa aming warehouse. Ay, wala na kayong inventory. Kanina sinabi mo may inventory kayo. Ang supplies po ay nanggaling sa supplier ni Mr. Lincoln Ong, Mr. Chairman. Alam din nila yung supplier ng Mr. Ong. Lalabas at lalabas yan eh. Hindi kayo makakapagsinungaling dito. Oh. Ang sabi mo kanina, meron kayong inventory. Ganun ka namin ni Mr. Ong. Oh. Kaya mo biglang to the rescue. Mr. Ong, mayroon tayo rito. O ngayon, wala talaga kayong inventory, correct? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Yung sinasabi mo, may tama yan, ha? Opo. So, para, Mr. Mara, para mamalaya mo na, bago bumili dapat ang PSDBM, dapat aalamin nila kung kayo ay may kakayahan mag-supply. Kung kayo ay may kakayahan sa pera na mag-supply. Kayo ay may technical capability na mag-supply. Oh, ngayon na sinasabi mo, wala kayong kakayahan dahil binigyan lang kayo ng request for quotation, bigla na lang, sabi mo kanina, meron kayong inventory. Ngayon, sabi mo, uh, wala kayong inventory. Sa pagitan niya, sinabi mo, sabi kasi ni Mr. Ong, katulad ng sinabi niya ng isang araw, na nanghiram siya sa ibang supplier. Sa mga tuwid, hindi kayo chinect ng PSDBM kung kayo ay may supply. Tama? Tama po ba, ma'am? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Hindi kayo tinanong. Katulad ng pagtanong ko, meron kayo inventory. Sabi mo, meron. Tinanong ka rin ni Senator Lenon, meron kayo inventory. Tapos kayo, wala na. Wala na biglang inventory. Sabi mo kagad, ang tabang mo pa kanina, dineliver namin on the same day. Wow! Paano yung madideliver yun kung wala kayo inventory? Oh, you better think about what you're doing, young lady. Palalim ka ng palalim, ha? Dalawa na ang nahuli natin ang nagsisinungaling dito. Ikaw ba ikatlo? No, Mr. Chairman. I'm only, um, really, uh, I'm only... You're actually telling us what your people told you to say today. May nagsuro ba sa'yo kung ano sasabihin mo ngayon? 
Wala po, Mr. Chairman. Wala. Oh, so, mali-mali na yung sinasabi mo kung gano'n. Sige, panindigan mo. Now, again, okay. the next order was April 13. Oh, kanina kita. State explicitly the PO number of the 8 million contract. Ano number ng PO number na yun? Uh, PO number for the 500,000 uh, surgical mask, Your Honor, is PO 20-00176-CSE. Zero zero one eight one, ganun ba? Um, let me uh, repeat, Your Honor. It's PO20-00176-CSE. Mm. Zero zero seven six oh. CSE. CSP? E. E po. CSP. E, as in echo. E. Oh. Sigurado kaya? Yes po, Mr. Chair, but I have the record with me po. Alright. Magkano binahid sa'yo sa purchase order? Ang sabi mo, 8 million. Ngayon, ang sabi mo, ang binahid sa'yo ay magkano? Um, the total contract amount, Your Honor, is 13 million 860,000 pesos. So, nagbago from 8 million naging 13 million? Um, yes po, Your Honor, because... Um, the quantity is 500,000 pieces and then the unit price is 27.72 pesos. Wow! 27.72! So, yung 8 million, naging 13 million, hindi umangal yung PSDB. Ba't yung tinaas ang presyo nyo? Tinanong namin kayo, meron ba kayong 500,000 at ang presyo na sinibigay sa inyo ay uh, Lumalabas na 27, uh, 27, uh, 22, 15. Di ba totoo yan? Ano, 27, 72? Opo, Mr. Chairman. 27, 72? Yes po. So, nabago yun. Ibig sa 8 million, naging, yung 500,000, naging 13.86 million. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Can I just help out? Ito yung uh, PO date, April 16, 2020, referring to PO number PO zero, or PO20-00176 for yes. 2772. Ito Correct. yung 500,000 pieces. Right. Right. Um, right. So, yun ang gusto natin clarify. Dito ba sila nakakolekta ng April 15, ang PO April 16? This is the COA report, Mr. Chairman. Yes. We live set in... This from the COA report itself. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as earlier stated, the PO date based on our records is April 6, 2020, and it is correct that we collected on April 15 with the amount of 12,978,000 pesos. And okay. this is in reference to the 500,000 pieces, non cost 27,72. Correct. Yes, correct, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, ang COA report, ito official ito, COA report. Uh, I don't know, baka nagkamali ang COA. April 16 yung date eh. May, may PO number nga dito eh. Hmm. Yeah, nak nakikita mo, di ba? Uh, we're showing it. That's another delong. Ayan, COA report. 2772, 500,000. Pero ang sabi mo, nung umpisa, meron kayong stock, tapos biglang nawala na stock, tapos nagbago ang presyo. Na dati, ang presyo ay malabas ay 27.72, naging 8 million, naging 13 million, at ang total na binahid sa inyo ay 12 million plus, 936,000. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Oh, okay. Oh. Based on our records, Mr. Chairman. Dito ang tuwa kayo dahil uh, binayaran pa kayo mas malaki. Ang unang request for quotation ay 8 million, naging 13 million. Tama? Yes, po, Mr. Chairman. I also find fault in the RFQ, uh, which was earlier sent, because the quantity is 500,000 pieces, 
the unit price is 28 pesos. However, the ABC is only 8 million pesos. So if we compute, it's already incorrect, Your Honor. 500,000 times 28 pesos po. Madalian. Okay, sige. I'll go to the next question. Kailan kayo uli nag-order? Oh, yes, Senator Dillon. Yes, just, this is really confusing, uh, Mr. Chairman. If I may just summarize for the record, para po maintindihan ng taong bayan kung bakit tayo nag-iinvestiga. Sang-ayon po sa ating uh, resource person, natanggap nila yung request for quotation or RFQ noong Marso 25, 2020. Ngayon, ang sabi nila, agad dineliver nila on the same day. Ha? At uh, dineliver nila ang 500,000 surgical mask, hindi ko maintindihan kung may inventory o hindi. Papalit-palit po yung sagot. Ngunit ang sinasabi na naman ngayon na binayaran yung purchase order nila ay eh, April 16, 2020. Ang ibig sabihin, nag-deliver sila, wala mo ng purchase order, which is so unusual. Hindi po ba? Purchase order, uh, April 16, 2020. At binayaran na lang sila, I don't know when, Oh, when, kung kaya sila binayaran. Ngunit wala silang inventaryo noong no, dineliver nila. Eh, talaga pong <laughs> mahirap talaga pag <laughs> na may tinatakpan po kayo, ma'am, nagkakabuhol-buhol yung inyong uh, testimony. Kaya it is not usual. Kalaki ng mga perang ito, dalawa, labing dalawa, labing, labing tatlong milyon. Ha? Dinidil, wala kayong inventaryo. Ha? nakakuha kayo ng mga edit ko alam kung saan yung kinuha yung inyong dineliver. Ngunit wala kayong purchase order nung dineliver nyo ito. At uh, noong purchase order nyo April 16, April 16 or three weeks after the delivery of the merchandise. Tama po ba yun? Just, just, just very quickly. Uh, yes, April, can, you just, can you just let her answer first? Uh, yes, uh, it's just the delivery date is April 6, not April 16. Uh, I'm looking at the purchase order here. Yes. Purchase order. Huh? Oh, well, I have another one. <laughs> purchase order and when is the delivery? Pakiliwanag mo nga, ma'am. Kasi... Kaya mo namin pilipilit ito. This could be indicative of the way you, your company was favored by PSDBM on the, on, on the delivery of this. Now we are even having as to whether this was delivered. Oh, ah, pakisagot niyo muna ng tanong namin. Ano ba talaga ang totoo rito? Okay. Um, uh, your Honor, let me just state the facts that I have based on my records po. So we received the RFQ on March 25, 2020, and it is correct that we delivered the 500,000 pieces surgical masks on um, the same day, po, March 25, 2020. Okay. These, these actions were executed um, based on the instructions of our management, po, your honor. Okay, so my inventory kayo nung March 25. 2020. Um, Mr. Chairman, let me clarify po. Um, at that day, we don't have the stocks at our warehouse, but Mr. Lincoln Ong has already negotiated with the supplier who can deliver at the same day po. Uh, okay. So, walang delivery nung araw na yun? Nag-deliver po kami on March 25, 2020, Your Honor. <laughs> I, I'm almost giving up, uh, Mr. Chairman. We're <laughs> on the same boat. But I'd like to go... Tapos, tapos, sir, if I may. Senator Dillon, ah. Pakinggan natin ang mga sagot na dito, ah. Sir, minsan na lang. Oh, pagkatapos, kailan po ang purchase order lumabas? Mr. Chairman, based on our records po, the purchase order is dated April 6, 2020. April? 6 po. 2020. April 6. Isang ayon po sa COA, April 16. Mali ba yung COA? 
I'm only stating facts based on our records, Mr. Chairman. Okay, where did you get your inventory? Um, with regards to the inventory, Mr. Chairman, our supply chain manager, Mr. Lincoln Ong, is uh, in charge of the supplies. Po. Again, again? Our supply chain, Mr. Lincoln Ong, is in charge of the supplies, po, Mr. Chairman. And as earlier stated, po, uh, he was already he has already negotiated with a supplier, po, with a local supplier. May bodega ba kayo? May warehouse ba kayo? Yun. Mr. Chairman, um, we have a contracted third-party warehouse, po. Sa ano ito? Uh, this is located in Paranaque, Mr. Chairman. May warehouse kayo doon. Doon ko na galing yung inyong inventory na 500,000 surgical mask. For the 500,000 surgical mask, Your Honor, um, it was from the local supplier na kausap po ni Mr. Lincoln Ong. But uh, this supplier, I have no information po. Oh, yeah. No information. Uh, Senator Gordon, I give up. Ikaw na lang. Hindi ko na. Hindi ko maintindihan. <laughs> Ano ba tinitingnan mo? Laptop, iha? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. I'm referring to Taas our... Taas mo nga mo sa amin. Um, hindi ko po. Wait lang. Let me check how, how to... Ano po. <laughs> hindi ko alam kung may nagdidikta sa'yo kaya nalilito ka. Kami tuloy nalilito. Di ba nauna po na yung purchase order bago ka bumili? Ito, re request for quotation lang. Nag-deliver na kayo kagad. Di ba sabi sa'yo, oh, anong quotation nyo? Sumagot ka on the same day. Oh, Sabi mo, 8 million ang babayaran niyo sa amin. O, oh, di ba? Yun ang request for quotation, di ba? Yes. Tapos mo din yung purchase order, yun namin malaban ngayon kung April 6 or April 16. Sabi ni Mr. Sabi ng COA, April 16. Sabi ni, sabi mo, April 6. Tapos binayaran ka, naging 13 million na. Ano yan? Tapos bigla kayo nagkaroon ng bodega. Sabi mo kanina, ang sinungali mo, wala kaming... May meron kaming stock sa bodega namin. Tapos bigla naman, wala kaming stock. Tapos to the rescue, Lincoln Ong. So, I don't think I should carry with this witness. Let me move to another witness, if I may. Mr. Chair. I would Mr. like Chairman. to entertain a motion to declare this woman in contempt. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Before we, uh, before we act on the motion of the chairman, may I ask one last question? Uh, to Mr. Chairman, to this oh, witness, is. just to complete uh, <laughs> the story about the delivery. If I may, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Mago, uh, kompleto naman ba yung documentation ninyo sa sinasabi yung deliveries? Apat po yung basic na dokumento na kailangan kung may delivery talaga nangyari. May delivery order po ba kayo? Yes or no lang po. We have a delivery receipt po, Your Honor. No, do you have ang 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 dokumento kailangan ay delivery order. May delivery order po ba kayo? Based or wala. On the that I have, wala po, Your Honor. Wala. Okay, pangalawa, may delivery receipt kayo, sabi nyo. Meron po, Your Honor. Okay, so pero may delivery receipt, pero wala yung dapat na unang delivery order. So butas na. Pangatlo po, meron ba kayong inspection and acceptance report para sa delivery? Meron po, Your Honor. Meron. Huli, meron ba kayong statement of account na nandyan yung delivery na iyan? Meron po, Your Honor. Meron. Pero just for the record, Mr. Chairman, meron yung second, third, and fourth documents. Pero yung unang-una, which, which should have started and properly documented, this whole chain of supposed delivery, yung delivery order, ay wala po, Mr. Chairman. Salamat po, Mr. Chairman. One more chance, ha? Uh, ang sabi mo, March 25 ka nakakuha ng email. Tama? Yes po, Your Honor. Uh, pagkatapos, sinagot mo kagad. Tama? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. At dineliver niyo on the same day. Tama? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. At ang sabi mo, meron kayong stock sa bodega. Tama? Wala po kami stocks sa bodega, Mr. Chairman. Papasayan ko sa iyo yung sinabi mo. Tapos bigla, doon tinanong ka na ni Senator Dino, wala kayong stock. Pagkat kinagaling sa ibang tao yan. Alright? Alright? Galing po sa ibang supplier yung stock. Ibang supplier na hindi mo alam kung sino. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. 
So, biglang nagkaroon ng supplier na hindi mo alam kung sino. Like, alam mo yung kanta, sino ka ba? Di ba? <laughs> Tatanungin kita ngayon. Nakuha mo yung email lang anong oras? Let me check lang po, Mr. Kim. I will tell you. Ito yung email mo. Nakalagay dyan, 2.24 p.m. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. 2.24 p.m. 2.24 p.m. Tapos, anong, anong oras mo pinag-deliver? Um, let me check lang po, Mr. Chairman. Anong oras mo pinag-deliver? Uh, I'm checking po, Mr. Chairman. Ano yung pay factor? Ano yan? Mahirap kasi pag sunod kayo na sunod doon sa mga sinungaling, pati kayo mahahawahan. So, um, I'm checking the photos, Mr. Chairman, delivery photos that I took that day, March 25, 2020. Uh, we opened the first twin van at around 5.19 p.m. po. Ang totoo niyan, padala mo nga sa akin yung sinasayo mo, ang totoo niyan, Bibi, papakita ko siya itong pinadala mo sa akin, ha? Lugin-lugin kami, ha? pinapadala niyo sa amin ito lang. Ito nakalagay, ha? Supply and delivery of surgical mask for the procurement service. Ayan, ha? Good day. In response to the request for quotation attached here with are the following documents. Ha? Annex A, price proposal form, schedule of requirements. Kindly acknowledge receipt of this email. Ito ang sagot mo. Alam mo kung anong aros mo siya nagot? March 26, 1.19 p.m. Aray. Aray, aray, aray. Tingnan mo yung pinagdala mo. Ayan mo. Yes po, Mr. Chairman. O, oh, sa nagsisinungaling ka, nung sinabi mo, siya nagot po on the same day, at nagsisinungaling ka rin nung dineliver mo on March 25. No, Mr. Chairman. I already... Oh, ano ngayon? Um, binasa ko po kanina, Mr. Chairman, that I received the email on March 25, 2020, and then that I um, responded to the RFQ at March 26, 2020. Ano na, ang sinabi mo, you responded, wala kasi nasabing date, ako lang nagsabi ng date. Ang sinabi mo, sumagot kayo kagad at dineliver nyo on March 25. Sino ba naman ang sira ulo na tatanggap ng request for quotation na magde-deliver kagad? Di ba? Yeah. Magaling ka naman. Mukhang magaling ka eh. Pero yung bago gusto mong paniwalaan namin ha, ang lalaki na itong amount na ito, walang, walang milyon to, tapos biglang nag-magic, naging 13 milyon na. At tapos ang nakalagay ito, ang sagot mo, March 26. Pero diniliver nyo on the same day, March 25. Tapos pumayag kayo, nabayaran kayo, on what date na? Nagbayad kayo, April 15. Imbis na 8 milyon, naging 13 milyon. Oh. Kokong boss mo, you're fired. Okay. I think we have already said uh, our point here. Yes, uh, uh, Senator Dillon. Ilang boxes ba itong 500,000 <laughs> face masks? Ilang boxes? Um, it doesn't say on our delivery receipt po, Mr. Chairman, kasi naka-pieces po yung nakalagay dito sa aming delivery receipt. Pero siguro marami ito kasi 500,000 eh. Ang lucky nito, il ilang, uh, hindi mo alam kung ilang boxes ang ang, uh, ang laman ng isang box o oh, ng, ng, ng order. Um, Mr. Chairman, I was only um, okay. on our delivery receipt po. Saan ba dineliver ito? Sa warehouse po ng procurement service sa uh, Paco, Manila. Yeah. Ano, ano, ano? Sa warehouse po ng PSDBM, Your Honor, sa Cristobal Street, Paco, Manila. Okay. Mayroon ko yung siguro, mayroon sigurong na delivery receipt na pinilumahan? Meron po, Your Honor. Nasaan yan? Um, I have a copy of the DR din po, Your Honor. Kailan natanggap yan? Kailan ang pinilumahan? Um, this was received March 25 din po, Your Honor. Senator Gordon, I give, give it back to you. March 25, ang purchase order ay ang ano pala, ang uh, dili, ang dili, ang uh, tech ay, ay ang email, yung mga two something. 
2021 ba yun? It's all confusing, uh, Mr. Chairman. Ang suspetsa ko rito, sir, ito yung ghost delivery. Possible. That's what I'm heading. That's where we're heading. Mr. Because, Chairman. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, yes, Mr. Can you Chairman. give us a copy of the contract on that mysterious bodega ninyo sa Paranaque? Um, Mr. Chairman, our um, warehouse po na nabanggit ko kanina sa Paranaque is only for the uh, testing kits po, Mr. Chairman. Oh, panibago na naman ito. <laughs> testing kits lang yun. Yes po, Mr. Ito Chairman. Ito na doon dineliver nung mysterious na nag-deliver na nag-deliver na rin kay Lincoln. Ong, naku Lincoln, pinaligiran ka na ng uh, lubid ng kasalanan dito ang kasinungalingan dito. Ang ibig sabihin, doon din deliver pero sinasabi mo na naman ngayon, ayun ay para sa testing correct? Uh, hindi ko po nabanggit Mr. Chairman na doon din deliver yung stocks from the supplier ni Mr. Chair, ni Mr. Uh, Lincoln Ong. What I just mentioned, doon tinanong niyo po ako kung meron kaming warehouse, I mentioned na meron po kaming third party warehouse, but that is for our testing kits po. No, no, wala kang sinabing ganoon. Ano tanong sa iyo hindi ako. Ano tanong sa si Senator Dilon? Sinabi sa iyo, may bodega kayo, sinabi mo, ito yung bodega namin. Ang tinatanong ko, nasa yung kontrata? Padala niyo sa amin yung kontrata para talagang uh, one, uh, Pala ko talaga wala kayong dineliver doon. Napakabilis naman. Pinaninilingan mo, dineliver me on the same day. Sino ba ang sira ulo na wala kang purchaser request? Ano kaya mangyayari? Kung halimbawa, nag-deliver ka tapos, o oh, ba't kayo nag-deliver? Wala pa kayong PR? Yes. Ano kaya ba yung sinasabi ko? Ina? Yes, I understand. Ano kaya ba yara? Wala naman purchase request pa. Wala naman pang purchase order ah. Yes, I'll go ahead. Uh, so, I'll go So, yung inventaryo nasa Paranaque ba kamo? Saan saan ang inventaryo niya? No po Mr. Chairman. At that time wala pa po kami ng warehouse dito sa contract na ito po. And then um yung supplier po ni Mr. Lincoln ang delivered from their warehouse to PSDBM po. Or saan saan yung warehouse ng supplier ni Mr. Ong? Um Hindi ko po kasi nakausap yung supplier ni Mr. Ong. I was only uh, stationed sa procurement service po during okay. uh, uh, delivery. Uh, mayroon ba kayong binayaran na transport cost of the 500,000 surgical mask? Uh, Mr. Chairman, at that time po, ang um, responsibility lang po na ibinigay sa akin is to make sure that we deliver the items um on time so, but uh, with regards po sa um, negotiations si Mr. Lincoln Ong and his supplier I have no idea po So hindi mo alam ko mayroong transport may truck kayong hinair para maglipat itong itong inventory ito kasi hindi maliit ito eh di bang daang libong surgical mask hindi mo alam kung ilang karton ito hindi mo rin alam kung sinong tra uh, yung truck na nagdala doon, may binayaran ka ba sa truck? Mukhang hindi mo rin alam lahat. Ano? Hindi mo alam. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as I said earlier po, si Mr. Lincoln Ong po ang nakipag-negotiate with his supplier. I was only asked to go to the PSDBM to ensure na ma-deliver po yung items on time. Okay, well, well ensure na ma-deliver items on time. And therefore, in order to deliver on time, you had to have transport facilities for 500,000 surgical masks. Hindi po ba? Yes pa, Mr. Chairman. O anong transport services na hinahir niyo? Um, I believe kasama na din po ito doon sa um, usapan ni Mr. Lincoln Ong and the supplier po. <laughs> okay. Hindi <laughs> mo nakita yung supplier pero you believe kasama na sa usapan niyon. Sino nagsabi sa'yo kasama na sa usapan niyon? Panibago na naman sagot yan. Um, Mr. Chairman, that is what I believe lang po. Kasi as... Why would you believe that? Nagyari na ba ito dati? First time lang kayo magde-deliver eh. Wala kayong bodega. Kaya sasabihin mo yung bodega para doon sa test kits. Tapos ngayon, hindi ko po alam. Dito sa Lincoln, no, anong sabi noon? Tapos eh, meron silang... I know, talagang, obviously, talaga, you have been uh, taking us for a ride. Now, let me go now to Lincoln Ong. Yeah. Finally, let's go to Lincoln Ong. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Alright. Uh, anong, anong sasabihin mo ngayon dito? 
Ah, uh, na po, Mr. Chairman. Si supplier na 'yon. Opo, ah, na po, Mr. Chairman. si Grizel may COVID din. Pasensya. Go ahead, tell me. Mr. Chairman, marami po talaga akong mga kakilala na nag import ng mga kung ano-ano, especially like mask nung panahon ngayon. So, tama, tama, tama po si... Supplier mo. Sino yung supplier mo? Biglang may dumating na uh, supplier. Nakakuha kayo ng ko pong... professional quotation. Sabi ng tao mo, meron kami sa bodega, ina-deliver nyo kagad on the same day. Magikero, 2.30. Anong, anong oras yan? 2... Uh, to nakuha nyo 2.24 p.m. Ah, sige. Ipaliwanag ka. Ikaw sige, uh, Mr. Opo, Mr. Chairman, uh, allow me to explain. Mr. Chairman, nung March ng 24, nag-LOI po ako sa PSDBM together with the sample na mag-offer po ako ng, ng mask. Nung time na yan, uh, na-meet ko na yan si, si Mr. Lau nung, nung day na yan, si Mr. Lau. Tapos, si Mr. Lau asking me if I can, uh, I can deliver the item as ASAP kasi kailangan na kailangan po nila. Pero, kailangan ko pa rin daw dumaan ang proseso. And nung time niyan, wala din po naman talaga ako masyadong alam sa mga proseso niyan. And then I think the government will not cheat on me. So, nag-contact nag na ako sa supplier ko na, na, na baka pwedeng akin yung stocks, iset aside mo na sa akin yung stocks. Tapos, uh, i-deliver ko niyan the next day sa PSDBM. So, nung time niyan, Nagpa-facilitate na po ako ng delivery. Si, si, uh, si Ms. Crisel Mago, siya na po yung nag, uh, nag-comply sa mga uh, procedural ng PSDBM. Yun po yung po ang nangyari. So hindi tama na deliver on the same day. Kano ba sinasabi mo ngayon? Sinasambot ng mga yan. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, yung statement po ni Ms. Mago is uh, nagkatanggap po kami ng RFQ at deliver namin on the day of R- RFQ. <laughs> Alam mo, Lincoln, your record doesn't speak well for you already. Uh, kaya ka na contempt the other day. Ngayon, ini-interpret mo naman yung sinabi ng ni Crisel Mago. Alright? Oh. Sabi niya, dineliver mo on the same day. Ngayon, sinasabi mo, ano naman sinasabi mo naman ngayon? Ikaw ako kumuha ng supplier eh. Sino yung supplier na yun? Yun ang tanong ko. Ba't di mo masagot? Opo, si Tiger Phil. Tiger Phil. Di ko nabibuli ha? Oh, uh, so Mr. Chairman, uh, ang pangalan po ng ng Please supplier, supplier. Tiger Field Marketing. Chairman? Uh, Tiger Field Marketing po ang pangalan ng supplier. Tiger Field Marketing po. Ano yung second word? Tiger. Tanggalin mo ayan. Yung yung mask mo. Mr. Oh, Chair, Tiger, ano? Tiger Field Marketing. Spell Tiger ano? Uh, T-I-G-E-R-P-H-I-L Marketing. Anong address? Anong address ng Tiger Field Marketing? Uh, uh, Tiger Field. Opo, opo. Uh, sir, uh, Mr. Chairman, kunin ko po yung address. I- i-send ko po sa, sa email address ng Blue Ribbon ngayon. So, Chair, very quickly, yung, with the permission of the Chair, just one quick question kay Lincoln Ong. Yung Tiger Field, na apat na nabanggit na pinakilala ni Mr. Yang sa inyo? Ito si Mr. Michael Yang. Uh, ah, so, siyang, hindi dito. Wala pa siyang... Oh, well, anyway, hindi po, hindi apat na, na supplier na nabanggit na yun, no? Okay po, okay po. Sige pinakilala po. sa inyo. Thank you. All right, tinawag mo sila. Anong araw mo sila tinawagan? Hey, uh, Senator, ano po ulit ang tanong nyo? Mr. Ano Chairman? Ano sila tinawagan? Tinawagan si supplier po? Anong araw mo tinawagan si Tiger Field para mag-deliver ng 500,000? Hmm. Hindi maliit na halaga. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, matagal ko na po kaibigan niya si yung may-ari po. Hindi natin kung matagal na kayo magkaibigan. Ba't ba pinapasyal mo kami palagi? Tapos buti mo lang natin. <laughs> hindi, ko, hindi ko pa rin ma-recall kung ano po yung eksaktong oras ng araw niya kasi last year pa po yun. 
Pero yun ang unang order nyo, masaya kayo. Uy, nakakuha tayo ng order, naka-8 million tayo. In fact, nakakuha ka, 13 million, magsaya tayo, may order na tayo. Ang, ang puhunan natin ay 625,000 lamang, nakakuha tayo ng order. Hindi ba dapat magsaya ka? Dapat matanda mo? Dapat mag-blow ka? Tama? <laughs> Ridiculous, <laughs> you're pathetic, all right? So, ano ang last deliver? Sabi mo, oh, Tiger Phil, ano ang pangalan ng tao may ari ng kausap mo? Kaibigan mo na matagal na. Pwede ko po isabit agad yung contact details at yung... Uh... Bakit ba lumilihis ka? Sige po, ah... Uh... Ano sige po? Hindi mo pa sinasagot ang pangalan. Yan ang mahirap eh. Pag nagsisinungaling, nagkakalubak-lubak ka eh. Uh, hindi po ako nagsisinungaling, Mr. Chair. Ang tawag hindi, po namin sa... Ito niyo. Sinasabi ko lang yun dahil yun ang impression ko. Ilang araw muna kami pinapasyal. O ito, ano ano pangalan? Ang tawag po, ang tawag ko po dun sa uh, pangalan ng supplier ay uh, si Brother Tiger. <laughs> Meron po siyang Chinese name. I have to confirm it. Ano? Meron po siya Chinese name, pero hindi ko... Okay, hindi, sige. Hindi. Masyal mo kami. Sasagot ako sila. Sige. Magkano ang binahid mo sa kanya? Sabi sa'yo, uh, Mr. Chair, ano? Bakay dyan eh. Mr. Chairman, uh, ano yun? Uh, trade secret po yun. Baka po pwede... Ano, 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 wala yeah. secret ito. Corruption investigation ito. Cost, costing na po kasi namin yun, Mr. Chairman. Ano, ano? Costing Ay, po namin yun. Magkano ang binahid mo sa kanya? Alam namin kung... Magkano sinabi niyo yung quotation? O magkano ang binayad mo kay Tiger Phil? Kay Tiger? Uh, Mr. Tiger. Chairman, pa, 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 uh, public hearing po kasi ito. Uh, pwede ko po naman i- no, 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 just answer the question. Mr. Chairman, ano siya eh? Sec trade secret na siya eh. It's between two pri uh, private transactions eh. You're talking to the Senate of the Republic of the Philippines. Anong trade secret? Anong trade secret? Magkano binayad mo? Bakit? Nagmamadali kayo eh. Yay! Nakakuha ko ng order. O oh, ito. Oh, sige, magkano binayad mo? Pare, meron ka rito. Paring brother Tiger, meron ka rito. Deliver mo na katag ngayon. You know? At saka, sir. Ibayad natin ang financial statement. Meron silang 7 billion na cost of sales. Eh. So hindi talaga secret ito dahil dinideclare nila sa financial statement nila. Cost of sales, 7 billion. Kasama dyan yung binayad siguro doon sa 500,000. So kalokohan yung sinasabi ni, 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 ni Mr. Rowe na trade secret. Magkano ba ang halaga ng babae mo dapat? I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Ang loko sa aking bayan, ha? Tandaan mo, kaya medyo natataas ako ng boses sa'yo. Alam mo, <laughs> palatay ako ng mga magulang ko, ang sinungaling kapatid na magnanakaw. Are you familiar with that phrase? Are you po, Mr. Chairman. You are, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Alam mo, hindi ka pwede magsinungaling. Papakita ko sa iyo yung nagpunta kayo doon sa Davao. Kasama ka ba doon? Yung nag-meeting sa Davao? Yes po, Mr. Chair. So, yes po, hindi Mr. ko papakita sa iyo. ka, correct? Opo, Mr. Chairman. Ano role mo doon? Translator po, Mr. Chairman. Ah, translator. Yan ang sinasabi sa akin ng Senator Soto na alam niya, translator ka niya. Alright? O yan, o. Oh. Nasa ka dyan. Ayun, ayun si Lincoln. Sa likod, ang kanyang boss na si Michael Chan. Yang, natanong ko na kung natatandaan niya, baka nakalimutan niya na yung pangalan niya. Di ba ikaw yun? Sir? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Oh, yes po, so, Mr. 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 Chairman. Ayaw mo sabihin. Binigyan mo siya ng commission, si Brother Tiger. Siya po yung supplier namin. Kailangan ko pong bayaran yung cost of goods. Kaya nga. Ayaw mo sabihin. Ano pa ang trade secret mo? Ang trade secret mo, nakabukalat-lat na sa buong bansa, 
na ang kinita nyo dyan, 8.8 billion ang total sale ninyo. Tama? As of June 2020. Sagutin mo, ano ba trade secret nyo? Nakabuhagag na lahat eh. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Kala, pwede ba ako sumingit? Oo, oh, pwede. Sinagot ka yan. Mr. Lincoln Ong lang, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yung, yung, yes, Mr. Chair. Ba, bakit ka bakit uh, takot kang sabihin kung yung ano yung tinatanong ni Senator Gordon na bakit mahiya kang uh, malaman ng taong bahay kung magkano ang uh, kinita mo? Eh, hindi naman illegal yung kumita ka eh, dahil negosyante eh. Bakit hindi ayaw mong sabihin kung magkano binayad mo kay yung sabi mong brother Tiger? Para hindi para hindi magduda ang taong bayan sa hearing na ito na mayroong katinatago sa sabihin mo. Kung magkano na uh, binayad mo at magkano kinita mo, bakit illegal ba yung kumita? You, you're a businessman. Kikita ka diyan basta hindi ka lang uh, hindi lang uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, uh, ghost delivery. Sa tanong kita tungkol do ghost delivery, ghost delivery ba ito o hindi? Hindi po, Mr. Chairman. Kasi alam mo, Mr. Chairman, kung kung totoong ghost delivery ito, wala, wala akong pakialam bitayin natin yung mga tao na ito na nanluluko sa gobyerno kung gusto libre ito. Pero <laughs> uh, kailangan lumabas ang katotohanan. Uh, magsalita ka kung uh, ano yung tanong ng uh, chairman natin. Sabihin mo kung magkano kinita mo, wala mo problema dyan, din negosyo ito eh. Pero kung hindi, hindi ka talaga mapili, I respect your decision. Kung hindi ka mapili, pero ako lang, I am sharing you my sentiment. And then kanina pa ako nagbabantay dito sa hearing, para hindi magduda ang tao na may tinatakaw ka, sabihin mo kung, kung kaya mo lang sabihin, pero kung hindi mo kaya sabihin, then huwag. Pero kung kaya mo sabihin na magkano binayad kay yung sabi mong brother Tiger, at magkano kinita mo, hindi naman illegal yan, dahil negosyante ka, kaya nga nandyan ka para magdigusyo, para kumita, bakit ka mahiya? Yun lang sa akin, yes. uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank Kasi you. kung Thank tayo you. Tayo, Thank kung you. Mag- ito, Mr. Chairman, I am one with you, na kailangan bitayin natin itong mga tao na nang loko sa gobyerno, kung Mr. Chairman. Pero kung wala, din uh, uh, sagutin mo para wala magdududa. Kung uh, sabi mo na deliver, eh, pwede naman i-confirm namin doon sa PSDBM kasi mayroon man yung uh, acceptance, mayroon inspection. So alam ng uh, PSDBM yan. Pwede ko matapang yung PSDBM, Mr. Chairman, kung talaga na-deliver ito. Mr. Ong. Chairman. Yes po. Hmm. Tataas ang kamay si Lloyd Lau. Pero Mr. Hindi Lau. Mo, again, ayaw mo muna magsalita ito kaibigan mo. Di ba nag-usap kayo kamo? Di ko napapawalan na kita doon. Di ba nag-usap kayo kamo ni Lloyd Lau the, the following day? March 24 pala. March 24. Di March 25. March 24. Saan yung kanilang order? Yung unang request. Nag-usap kayo kamo, di ba? Sabi mo kanina, nag-usap kayo, di ba? Pumunt, yes po, yes po. Oh, March 24 po. Oo. No. So, ano pinag-usapan nyo? Actually, first time ko po yun sa PSDBM. So, nag-hand in po ako ng let, uh, LOI at uh, sample ng mask. Anong LOI? At ino-offeran ko si gobyerno ng, ano, ng mask na, na may access ako. Letter of intent po. Letter of intent na pinadala sa inyo yung sulat ng May 25. Bago yun, nag-letter of intent ka na. Abo, nag, nag-LOI na po ako sa sa PSDBM ng 24. May 24, one day before you got the request for quotation. Yes po, yes po. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, just very briefly, just to put in additional context. Yes, yeah, Senator Rector. Thank you very much. Uh, material yung tanong ng ating Chairman kung magkano binayaran mo sa supplier because in the same month, may local na kumpanya na nag-supply at 13 pesos eh. Okay? Ito ang supply ninyo, ang presyo 27. Ang local supplier, 13.50. Okay? Kaya palagay ko, kung meron kayo, sabi nga, negosyo naman to, sabi nga ni Senator Bato, pwede mo bang sagutin kung magkano nga naman ang binayaran nyo doon sa Tiger? For the Opo, Opo, Mr. Chairman. Opo, Mr. Chairman. Ang naalala ko po, nung nasa 23 pesos po. The comment of uh, 
Senator uh, to recognize you at the proper time. I think if you are not recognized, we are listening and we're pursuing a point here. Yes, I'm answering your honor to for clarification. No, 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 no. I will ask you. I will give you the time. If I gave time, if we all gave time to Mr. Wang, at the request of Mr. Lincoln Ong, na magsalita siya, we will give you time. Do not worry. Ina nervous ka ba? No, Mr. Chairman. Because okay. 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 The issues are being muddled. No, 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 no. Let's finish with this first. We will finish with this one. Please. Oh, sagutin mo, Mr. Ong. Yes, po, Mr. Chairman. Ang ni Mr. ng Senator De La Rosa. Ayaw mo sabihin. Opo, sasabihin ko po. Mamaya, mga 23 po yung mga 23 po yung cost namin. Kasama kasama na po yung delivery. Hindi ko tinatanong sa'yo kung anong cost niyo. Ang tinanong ko, uh, magkano ka tinuringan ni Tiger? Yan po ang, ang, yan po ang buying price namin kay Mr. Tiger. Siya po ang nag-import nun eh. Siya po ang may-ari ng stocks. Tiger Phil. Opo, right. opo. Uh, opo. The Director General is uh, directed to get a subpoena duce secum from this Tiger Phil. What is his name now? Tell me. Ang kausap mo. Um, Tell me. Uh, give me, give me a few seconds. So this to the ends of the earth. So wag ka na mag-isip na titigil kami dito. Opo, opo. Uh, kukunin ko po yung contact number. Hindi, hindi ko tinatanong contact number. Ang pangalan. Nakakapagod ka na. Tawagan kasi namin puro nickname po. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. Ang sa tawagan mo, dapat kilala mo. Hindi ka magbibigay ng pera sa tawang. Hindi mo kilala. Dad, o, tinignan mo yung mga... Mukha ng mga tao dito, nagagalit na sa iyo eh. Look, hindi ka mo, di mo alam ang pangalan, Ty Brother Tiger lang. Yan po talagang tawagan namin eh. Anyway, I'll give up another point. Obviously, I'm not gonna get this from you. You're not getting any cooperation. You're an uncooperative witness. You've been lying to your teeth. Now, let us pour in the juice. I have here, lahat ito. O, oh, tanayin kita. Sumunod the order ninyo for surgical mask is 2.4 million quantities, correct? Yes po. Nagkano nga lang ganun? No? Uh, ang, ang winning ito price ang namin, 20, ang PO date, uh, ang PO so, date, ito, 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 ang PO date po, April 14. Oh, tama. That's public record already. Kaya huwag ka na magsinungaling. Okay. April 14, purchase order, for 2.4 million masks at 22.50. Sino lahat ang baring kayo dyan na magbigay kayo ng RFO? Meron pong uh, RFQ, uh, sorry. Meron pong RFQ na tanggap. O, pandala nyo sa akin yung email niya. Nandiyan ba si, si Ikaw ba rin ang tumagap niya, Chrisel? Ms. Mago? Mr. Chairman, it was Mr. Mohit Dargani who received the email for the succeeding contract. All right, Mr. Dargani. Mojit Dargani, are you there? From LA, Mr. Chairman. Did you receive the order for a request for quotation? Um, Mr. Chairman, just to clarify, all the emails coming from PSDBM were sent to one email address from our company, which is the admin email address that we have. And Mr. Chairman, every time that an email comes into this account, uh, Ms. Grizel Magno has access to it, and she just gets whatever's in the email content. She'll take a screenshot, she'll get the attachments, she'll send it to our WhatsApp group, and from there, we communicate as a team. Uh, Lincoln Ong, being the supply chain manager, will check for the supplies and see if we're able to comply with them. If we're able to find the supplies, we then check if we're compliant with the technical specifications and anything else that's written in the RFQ. Once we are um, compliant, and once we are, we have decided on a price that's comfortable uh, with us partners, then uh, upon the direction and instruction of um, our president and chairman, um, Mr. Wang Su Yen, I then sign the, I then represent the company as an authorized representative and submit the document. Uh, I, I give it back to Crisel to submit and scan and, and submit to 
the email written on the RFQ or RFO. So in this case, RFQ was received again by Chriselle. Ang sabi ni Chriselle, ikaw na raw nakipag-negotiate, tama? Um, I think what she meant, Mr. Chairman, was uh, I am the authorized representative for the contracts, but yes, to answer your question, um, she is still the one that receives and has the first point of access to the emails. All right, she's the point of contact. Chriselle, kanina mo binigay na no, ma-receive mo itong request for quotation. Anong date mo na-receive yan? Okay, Mr. Chairman. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Diba? Apa, Mr. Chairman. April 14. Yes, um, the RFO was emailed by PSDBM April 13, 2020. This is for the 2,400,000 pieces of surgical mask. So, ikaw naka-receive. Kanino bina to? Uh, I sent it po sa um, group chat namin with the management po. Sino nga? Si Mujit? Uh, we, we have in the group chat, Mr. Mujit. Mujit na si Mujit ang nag-handle niyan. Tama? Po, Mr. Mujit. Okay. Mr. Lincoln Ong, our uh, chairman and president, Mr. Wang, and our director, Mr. Tw uh, Ms. Twinkle Dargani. So they got a copy each? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. And then what was the disposition? Um, on April 14, that's the time we emailed back our response for the request for office. You got it on the same day and you emailed it right away? No, Mr. Chairman. We received the RFO on April 13 and we responded on April 14. Oh, the sige. Day. One day. April 13, April 14. Yes, po, Mr. Chairman. Ah, uh, tapos? And then, um, on April 15, based on my records here, we received the notice of award via email as well from the PSDBM. Huh? By email, a uh, notice of award. Gano kabilis? Um, we received the uh, notice of award April 15. Who signed that order? Notice of award. Uh, let me check, Mr. Chairman. The notice of award was signed by um, Den Yusek Lloyd Christopher Lau. Ano mas padala sa inyo? Wow, sikat. Do we have copies of this, uh, Director General? Uh, Kimbo, pinadala na ba sa atin itong mga kopya ito? There are some of those we have, but we will also subpoena. But the transcript emails are key. So again, I will ask Rizal, could you kindly send those emails 13, 14, 15? All the way to the delivery. Very yes, clear, huh? I will prepare for your honor. Let's do it now. You have it there in your computer. You are the only one receiving, so it's in your computer. Okay, but it's okay. It right now, but your honor. Yes. Now, Mr. Chairman, additional uh, request, Mr. Chairman, to add to the instruction of the chairman to the witness. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Additionally, please, if the chairman could instruct Ms. Mago to also send the committee copies of the delivery receipt, inspection and acceptance report, and their statement of account, uh, which she said earlier that uh, they have, even if they don't have the very first document, the delivery order. Uh, respectfully request that of the chairman, Mr. Chairman. So order to the Director General Rudy Kimbo to get all those documents now. Send it yes. over and ask formally. Para nakita natin, pursuant to the shading, we are asking that in addition to the request of uh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Chairman. the request of uh, uh, Senator Ronti Yes, Your Honor. On it. All Mr. right. Mr. Chairman, let me also clarify that the PSDBF has a copy of the um, inspection and acceptance report and that they are that they do not give a copy of these to the suppliers all right then add, add uh, the psdbm to submit to us the report inspection yes, report etc yes sir so uh, psdbm is hereby uh, required on, on a subpoena uh, uh because of the urgency of the matter we would like to have that right away ayan na tayo okay Mr. Gargani, you accepted 54 million. Now, I would like to ask you some questions and I'd like to invite all the other senators uh, to react to this. 54 million pesos. Yes, uh, Senator Laxon. Yeah, additional requirements because the Paranaque warehouse needs to be registered with BIR Paranaque. 
kasi dapat nagko-conduct din ng uh, uh, sales na yung invoices, ORs, DRs. So, pasupin na rin natin, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Laksan. Point is well taken. Director General is so ordered to include that. Uh, the BIR should be able to send us to uh, a permit. Uh, is it the BIR or customs who will... Uh, is this a bonded warehouse, Kuzel? Uh, Mr. Chairman, this is a contracted warehouse for our testing kits po. Yeah. Yes, then it needs to be registered with the BIR Paranaque. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, let me ask uh, you or Mr. Gargani. Mr. Gargani, the yes, order is for 2.4 million. Correct? Pardon, Mr. Chairman. Correct? Or is it Lincoln Chen again? Sorry, can you please repeat the question, Mr. Chairman? The order is for 54 million pesos worth of, uh, in exchange for 2.4 million quantities of, uh, uh, is this face mask? I don't know, uh, a surgical mask, yeah, right. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, I believe that was the contract price. You were the point man to handle that, correct? Um, uh, again, Mr. Chairman, just to clarify my role, I was- No, 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 I, 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 I'm just asking a simple question. Yeah. No, I was, you okay, I was no, Mr. Order. Chairman. No, Mr. Huh? Chairman. No, Mr. Chairman. If you know. Mr. Lincoln Ong. Okay, I go to Lincoln Ong again. Uh, uh, Ong. Yes, po, Mr. Chairman. 54 million yan. Apo. Right. Meron kayong 2.4 million quantity at the time. Remember, this is April 14, ha? Huh? In purchase order, kasabay yan ang sinasabi mo, April 16, at tayo, no, 15. Kasabay yan ng unang order ko, no. Meron kayong, uh, meron kayong uh, bodega dyan? Wala po kami on hand yan, Mr. Chairman. Excuse me? Wala kayong on hand? Wala po kami, wala po kami inventory. So, ang tigas ninyo, nakakakuha kayo ng order. Now, Mr. Lau, you give these orders without checking whether they have a bodega, whether they have the capability? Now, Mr. Lloyd Lau. Mr. Chairman, again, it has been asked several times. First, on the point of Senator Do not Reyes. Lecture. You're, you're very condescending, sir. Question, Mr. Chairman. One, on the point of Mr. Re Senator Recto, that um, bakit bumili tayo sa kanila, sa Parmali at 27, at 25, uh, or 22 pala, compared to sa EMS at 13, let me point out, this is April and March kasagsagan ng pandemya. Note that EMS already answered, they on this, with the help of DPI, DOH, DOI, and PSDBM, we assisted EMS. For seven weeks, we assisted him so they can establish a manufacturing company. And they started... So we're not asking that question. Hindi, sasabihin ko yan. Natanong ko siya yun, itong order na 54 million... Mr. Chair, uh, it's out of order. The question is very clear. 54 million ang tinatanong ko sa'yo. Did you bother to check kung they have the capability? Again, on Bayanihan 1, that the, the capability basis is the capacity to deliver. And the question that I asked them, will you be able to deliver? In fact, on March 24, when they went to the office. Answer the question. Did you check? Question. And how I was able to determine. March 24, they went to the office. Marami sila, si Mac Tycoon, Blue Cross. So yung iba, ang offer is 40 pesos. They can offer, deliver in 15 days. Down payment ng 30%, 15%. The only challenge I have is this. Show proof that you can deliver. What did they do? What did uh, company Farmali do? They, they delivered the item on March 25. I was, the office was so shocked that they have it there. So we said, oh, hindi namin bibilin yan. But at least you have proof that you were able to deliver. That's it. What are you chatting about? 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 Yes. They delivered the item. Million pesos itong order sa kanila. Bayaran ng gobyerno na inagaw mo practically sa mga taong nahihirapan. 
Ibig sabihin, so wala kang check dito sa kumpanya na ang na 650,000, 625,000 na ang capital at di walang bodega na sa kanila na sa kanila, hindi mo check-check in? Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, Senator Antiveros. Mr. Chairman, just to make of record, that former USEC law has just contradicted something he told the committee two hearings ago. Two hearings ago po, sinabi ni dating USEC law that they failed to exercise due diligence. Ngayon, on question of the chairman, sinagot nila na he did exercise due diligence. So, ano ba talaga, Mr. Chairman? For the record, po. I never answered, I failed to exercise due diligence. The question was... Mr. Chairman, is the former USEC contradicting this member of the Blue Ribbon? We can check the transcripts of the hearing two hearings ago. He said, when asked a question if they exercised, if he exercised due diligence, and he admitted that he failed or may have failed to exercise due diligence. 180 degrees dun sa categorical na sinagot nila kay chairman ngayon na nag-exercise daw ng due diligence. So I am simply asking, ano ba talaga ang totoo? Salamat, Mr. Chairman. I was the one who asked if he exercised due diligence. He said no. That's the transcript, Mr. Chairman. And what did you say? Uh, I'll give you the transcript in a, a few minutes, if you will pardon me, Your Majesty. No, Mr. Man, I'm just answering questions. Because this is very, very... You're answering as if you're looking down on us and you're... And you're answering. Uh, when uh, we uh, answer, uh, amin, para kang... Actually, nung una, humble na humble ka. Ngayon, nabubukad ka na. Lumalabas na yung nervous mo na nabubu nabubuking ka na. Nabuking na kayo eh. Eh, gusto mo, gaganyan rin kita. Kaya ko rin. Hindi ko gagawin yan. Ang sinatanong ko lang sa iyo, bigyan ka na lang ng pagkakataon, ang sabi mo, ng due diligence ka, o, oh, 54 million. Balik ako kay Lincoln Ang. Kay Lincoln Ong. Ito, nagkakaloko-loko na ito. Lincoln Ang. Ong. <laughs> yes po, Mr. Chair. Ay, nako. Saan yes, kayo kumuha ng pera para makabili na itong 54 million na ito? Mr. Chair, uh, I think in the previous hearing na banggit ko po na nakukuha ko pa ng mga inventory na kahit hindi ko pa sila babayaran. Pwede ko muna kunin ng inventory, bayaran pa sila pag binayaran na ako ng gobyerno. Sino sila? Yung mga supplier ko po. Kailan nyo dineliver ito? Itong 54 million na ito? At 2.4 million? Uh, Kailan nyo dineliver at saan? Wala po ako. Uh, ang delivery uh, place talaga is PSDBM pero as to what the exact date, uh, I, we need to check the record. Uh, wala po akong record dito. Mas Mr. Chairman? Yes. Mr. Chairman, hindi po ba nung previous hearing, sinabi ni Mr. Ong na guarantor nila si Mr. Michael Yang at sinabi din po ni Mr. Huang na para hindi sila ma-blacklist, hihiram sila ng pera kay Mr. Yang. That's correct. So sana ganun, in that line pa rin sumagot si Mr. Ong ng tanong ng chairman kasi nakakadagdag lang sa pagkalito pa iba-iba yung mga sagot nila. Hindi tayo nalilito. Dinilito tayo pero hindi tayo nalilito. Sasagutin ako ito ngayon. Yes, ha? Hindi mo alam kung saan mo dineliver yan? Na, dineliver po yan. Dineliver po. Sasabihin mo, babayaran ka ng mga supplier mo. Ganun ba? Ang totoo niyan, hindi nagawa ng, talagang hindi nagawa ng due diligence siya. Kasi kung tinanong niya, dapat may capability kayo mag-deliver. Kung talaga may capability kayo tuloy, hindi kayo kukuha ng ahente lang kayo eh. Front lang kayo, lumalabas eh. Sa akin, front yan. Yan, malakas kayo. Ha? Kaibigan niyo si Michael Young. Ha? Malakas ang loob mo dahil papayagan ka. O, oh, pinayagan ka. O, oh, 54 million. Tinatanong ko, simple lang. Saan mo kinuha yung perang yan? Saan nyo kinuha? O, oh, all the board of directors, please take note, ha? Mr. Mujit? Mohit? Or whatever. How do you pronounce your name? Mohit ba? Chairman. O, oh, where did you get the money to make the orders to deliver uh, all this stuff? Um, Mr. Chairman, as um, Mr. Duncan mentioned, he was able to negotiate with the supplier for uh, flexible payment terms. 
um, that's within him and his um, supplier. That was their negotiation book, Mr. Chairman. That sounds very loose to me. You look like a responsible person. But you're saying, inaya mo si Lincoln Ong na mag-negotiate na sa kanya supplier. In other words, inaami mo, you're admitting that you are just an agent, correct? Um, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'll answer my question first. You don't have supplies. You just, in other words, pagka nakakuha kayo ng order, babalik kayo. Ha? Doon sa mga supplier. Okay. So, in other words, you are an influence peddler. Nakakuha kayo ng influensya, ha? Kikita kayo, doon sa kinuha na nyo ng supply, at mayamang kayo habang naghihirap ang Pilipino. I don't think so, Mr. Chairman. That's not the yeah, case, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, you want to argue with me? I will tell you. And I will not be. I will tell you. Now, you, you answer my question. Where did you get the money, even if you negotiated? Sino yung supplier na nagbigay sa'yo ng pera? Um, marami pa yung tatanong. Pagbating ng tanong dyan, marami mahuhulog dyan. Go ahead. Sige. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Likon Ong, saan nyo kinuha yung pera yan? Mr. Chairman, so, wala po kaming... Wala po kaming ginamit ng pera dyan para sa 54 million na purchases na yan. Yung inventory... Ano kayo makakapagsupply kung wala kayong pera? Paano yung in-import? Wala naman kayong import permit. Bin binili pa ha? sa mga supply, mga importers. Pero hindi sa madaling sabi. Pera. Sagutin mo yung tanong ko. Sa madaling sabi, kayo ay go-between. Ahente. Mumorsyento at the very least. Tama? Kung may delivery talaga. At tanongin kita, may delivery ba talaga? Meron po. Baka wala naman. Meron po. Saan nyo dineliver? Sa PSDBM warehouse po. Kaya ko pa tinanong yan. PSDBM warehouse po, Mr. Chairman. PBM. Ang, nags ang tanggap niyan, tawagin natin ngayon, ha? Meron, ayoko malansi dito eh. Hindi pa yung mga pangalan ng tumanggap po, pati inspection. Andiyan ba si Noralyn Salvador? Saka si George Mendoza? Uh, Presenter Omar. Or George Mendoza? You, know, you have to face the music here. Uh, uh, Mr. Mendoza, are you ready to answer? Uh, apo. Ano po yung ano po, question, uh, Your Honor? Nakalagay dito... Kailan din deliver yung 2.4 million surgical mask? At saan din deliver? Opo, uh, basically sir, uh, uh, your honor po, uh, the delivery uh, has to be in the PSDBM. So malalaman ano, na lang po ano, namin. Ano, ano, alam mo kung saan, alam mo? Di ba? Alam mo, di ba? Alam mo kung saan din deliver, di ba? Pero ano po yun? Uh, per PO instruction po. Ang tanong ko uh, simple lang. Yes or no? Alam mo ko saan dineliver? Opo, per PO instruction po, ang delivery po ay sa PSDB warehouse. No, no. Your knowledge. I don't know about the instruction. Oh, Bibigay ko na sa'yo. Ang sagot. Gusto mo? Did you not inspect this? Did you not evaluate it? Meron kang pinipa? Your... Opo. Mm -hmm. O ba't di mo alam your... kung sagutin? Mm. So, alam mo kung saan, right? Based from the inspection report po. Anong based on the inspection report? Ikaw ang inspector, ikaw ang evaluator, kayo ni Norelin Salvador. I was the, ano po, uh, OIC chief at, at, at that time. What does that mean? OIC ka, ano what does that mean? Tinatanggi mo na, natanggap mo o hindi? Natanggap mo ba o hindi? Na-inspection mo ba o hindi? Sagutin mo. Actually, I haven't seen the stock at your honor kasi I was at the office and uh, I only rely on the You document. have not seen the stock. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? What? Yes or no? You have not seen the stock. Tapos na yan. Deliver na. Did you or did you not see the delivery of the stock? Opo. I, I, uh, personally, I was not... Uh... Yes or no? Opo. What? What is the answer? Uh, this gentleman is equivocating, is halting. He cannot answer a direct question. 
Mr. Chair, very quickly, Mr. Chair. Go, wait, let me ask. Because Do you know? Alam mo, di ba? He was not in the. He was in the office, Mr. Chair. He was not in the. Did he see the stock? Hindi ba yan ang responsibility pag deliver? You have to see the stock. Okay. Uh, not at all time po, Your Honor. Kasi marami pong delivery and there are so many. Uh, I don't care kung marami delivery. That is your order. What is your title? OIC Inspection Division, George. Don't die for somebody else here. Apo. Is, he still with the, is he still with the DBMPS, Mr. Chair? Are you still with the DBM? Tanong na isang sir pa yan. I already retired. You already retired. How so, long was he there, Mr. Chair? Truthfully, para hindi mapinsala okay. yung retirement mo. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman. Pwede ka dyan. Pwede ka maging witness. Never mind. I'm not even gonna ask you for that. Question is very simple, and I've repeatedly asked that question, and you've been equivocating. You cannot answer. What is the answer now? Opo. Uh, basically, po, Your Honor, uh, we, are huh? talking of two, uh, we are talking of the two POs initially issued to Parmali. Di po ba? Yes. yes. Opo. Uh, okay. The first one, the first PO, the 500,000, I yes. happen, to, happen to see it. You happen to see it? Yes, sir. Kasi this is the very first uh, instance po, that we have received uh, the face mask. Uh, during that time po, no, yung pandemic po. Oh, 500,000 lang yun eh. Sabihin ko nang lang dahil ang lalaki na lang parating eh. Apo. Apo. Yung the very first po yun, uh, there, are, there was this confusion kasi nga po, uh, no supplier, no PO at that time. So, no supplier, no PO? Yes, uh, we just, uh, or the warehouse uh, just uh, received the goods. When? 500,000. 500, at that time po, uh, that time when? Oh, when, sir? When? March 25. When did you receive it? Uh, I think it was uh, based from the Arapo records. It's like March 25. Po. March 25. So on the same day that the request was made, it was delivered. I asked mo, no request, no PO. Dubating. Tama yun, di ba? Yung na sinabi mo. Eh. Oh, di ba? Huwag Mr. Kang... Chuang, Mr. Chair? May he yes. <laughs> Hindi na ko. Ayun yes. ko na, nagigigil na kayo lahat. Ayun ko. Yes. Yes. May isa is, walang PO, walang... Uh... Is that standard? Actually, uh, Your Honor, hindi po standard, Your Honor. Okay, thank you, thank you. In other words, it was not usual. It's unusual to have... You, you, no, your honor. Your head. Yeah. Did you say no? Did. Oh, the first one lang po ang nakita ko po. Di five hundred thousand. Eto hindi mo na nakita. Di na po. Mas succeeding po hindi ko na po ano. Now, tatanda niyo kita para safe ka. Pumir magabaya na nakita mo na inspection mo. Ah, your honor. Ah, nagsasign po ako don sa inspection report na ginawa na inspector. Do do basically do lang po ako na. Uh, nakarelay. So, as to the actual uh, scenario... Uh, somebody else who inspected it, correct? George? Apo. Apo. Meron po tayo. Somebody who inspected it, correct? Yes, uh, Your Honor. Okay. It's a fair one. Marami ka mo eh. So, hinayaan mo na lang. So, you did not actually see it, correct? What about this lady, Nora, Nora Lynn Salvador? Opo, no, nagkaroon po ng confusion dyan on that, ano po, no? Kasi yung the very first 500 po, it was na bumipisit ka pagka nang sumasagot ka. At the instance na po, this is my first time po na maano po sa ganito kung ano po, no? There's always a first time, yo. Go ahead. Opo, nagkaroon po ng confusion. You will note sa mga documents that we've submitted or have since submitted sa inyo, the first 500 was not more as, no? It was a Another inspector uh, by the name of Mr. Ron, no? Ron Puentes, Ronald Puentes. Oh, sure, sure. Ronald Puentes. Anjan ba siya? Uh, Director General, anjan ba siya? 
Tapos sir, hindi, hindi pa po siya invited sir. Okay, then we should uh, invite him here. Uh, because may sinabi na dito na nakita niya. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yes, George, go ahead please. Apo, uh, Your Honor, yung second ano po, yun po si Miss Nora. Siya na po yung na mga nag-inspect ng mga succeeding uh, deliveries ng ano po. Ang, uh, si Nora rin na. Po? Si Nora rin na po ang nag-tumitingin. Yes, Your Honor, yung second na po. Hindi po talaga succeeding. nakita. Di ba sabi mo na? Okay na, you already answered that. All right. Now, again, uh, the other senators are welcome to continue the interpolation, but I, the cross-examination, but I would like to go forward with Lincoln Ang. Ong. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senator Gilohan, Senator Pangilinan, uh, Senator, uh, that order. Go ahead. And then, um, uh, Senator... I'm just curious, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman. There is a Michael P. Ong in the office of the executive secretary. Are you related, uh, Mr. Lincoln? Hindi po, Mr. Chairman. You do not know him? Hindi rin po. What about Jennifer Joy C. Ong, presidential assistant one, rank of USEC, office of the special assistant to the president? Hindi rin po. Hindi ko po, kama hindi ko po kamag-anak yun. Kilala mo ba ito? Narinig ko na yung pangalan niya. Kilala mo ba o hindi? Ay, hindi po, hindi po. Oh, sige. All right. Go ahead, Senator Dillon. Sa narinig mo na itong pangalan na ito? Opo. Saan mo narinig? Uh, sa trabaho po. Kasi po ako po yung translator. Saan? Ni... Saan? Sa trabaho. During my work with uh, Mr. Michael Young. In the work. How did you uh, get to know him in the course of your work? Sino po? Si Miss Jenny Ong? Oo. Uh -oh. Narinig ko lang through the conversation. Again? Conversation po. Conversation po. Conversation. Why did you have a conversation with her? No, I'm not having conversation with uh, uh, Miss Ong. Wala po. Narinig ko lang yung pangalan niya. Hindi ko Saan mo narinig? Kanino mo narinig? Sino nag-uusap? Nag I, I, I really heard the name, pero hindi, hindi ko ma-recall. Pero I know the name. Okay. Uh, on a more substantial aspect, uh, Mr. Chairman, if you may permit, you know, I am. Uh, where is Mr. Lau? Mr. Lau, is, are you around? Uh, and please, mahinahon lang po kayo sumagotan. You, ang dating mo, mayabang ka masyado eh. You're so arrogant. You're talking to senators. So, give us the appropriate respect. Huwag po kayong masyadong arrogante. O, oh, sige, ha? Having said that, having yeah. said that, okay? Having said that, yes, Mr. April 23, 2020, did you also issue an award to a formerly pharmaceutical corporation for 3 million pieces of KN95 mask for 300 million? Wala kasi dito sa report ng POA. I will repeat. Huh? April 23, 2020. Notice of award and contract agreement. Uh, 3 million pieces of k uh -huh. 95 mask, unit price 100 pesos, total price 300 million. I am holding a document with your signature. This is not in the COVA report. What happened to this? Turn on your video, Mr. Lau, and answer the question, please. This is a formerly pharmaceutical corporation. Uh, uh, Mr. Mohit Dargani, authorized representative. Contract number PS-CP. Das MDC das 20 uh, das 03 das 10 they April 23 2020 3 million pieces of KN95 mask uh, 100 pesos per, 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 per 100 pesos unit price total price 300 million pesos and uh, the and you have signed this one this notice of award 
Can you explain this, please? This is not in the COA report. Um, Mr. Chair, I cannot hear clearly, but um, if the documents would show that I signed it, then indeed uh, I would have signed it. Very fine. Yes, Mr. Chair. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, coming in. I have no idea about that, Mr. Chair. Okay, you have no idea, idea but I'm it. telling you, I am holding uh, the document. Uh, if it's on record with okay. PSDBM, then it might have been a word issue. All right. Okay. Also, uh, an, a, a purchase order, purchase order number P020-002-9 CSE, uh, uh, June 10, 2020, a purchase order addressed to Formally Pharmaceutical Corporation, uh, um, 312 pieces of test kit, unit price 787,968, uh, total amount 245 million. 846 and 16 pesos, duly signed by you. What happened to this? This is not again in the COA report. Did you, you have no answer, sir? With this may answer. Uh, please repeat, Mr. Chairman. I just, uh, I was not able to hear the, yeah, I lost my connection. I really apologize. Really yeah, I, will re I will repeat it, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. A purchase order of the, of the procurement service, Department of Budget and Management addressed to Pharmadic Corporation dated June 10, 2020. Huh? For a uh, PO number 020-00298 CSE, uh, dated June 10, 2020, for 312,000 test kits or kits, unit price 787,968 uh, pesos, total amount. 245 million 846,016 pesos. The reason I'm asking this is that this is not included in the report of COA. May we know what is this all about? Sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, based on the record, if we did issue a notice of award on the KN95. Uh, those, are, those are the N95 masks uh, for the common supplies that we are selling to uh, DOH, uh, all other government agencies that is uh, in parallel with the surgical masks that we are procuring as common supplies that are being sold to different government agencies, Mr. Chair. Oh, you, you, you sold this? Yes, yes, we buy and sell. Oh, all right. Where did you get your budget to buy this? We have a revolving fund. I think on 2019, uh, 1 1.5 billion was added to uh, the You had a revolving fund. Yes, and that revolving, that revolving fund, that revolving fund comes from the budget somewhere of some government. Uh, no, no. It's our budget. The PSDB uh, has its own money, Mr. Chairman. All right. Third, uh, with the permission of the Senator Gordon, just one more. There is also a purchase order. Dated June 9, 2020. Purchase order P020-002-9 CSE. Uh, dated June 9, 2020. Addressed to Pharmacy Pharmaceutical Corporation. Um, test kits again, uh, 41,400 test kits. Unit price sixty nine thousand five hundred amount two billion not million huh? two billion eight hundred seventy seven million three hundred thousand pesos. San po ng gali ano po ng yari dito? You are on mute. 
is yes, more loud you are on mute if we buy uh, common supplies items which these covid items have been declared as common supplies we buy it um, using ps funds and after we buy it we charge four percent and sell it in a uh, to the uh, i think the entities that will be using it and the biggest entity that's buying um, COVID items are DOH, second to the SWD and other local government units. Now, KN95 and um, N95 surgical masks are all part of the common supplies. We use our funds to buy the same. Now, however, if we do not have stocks, um, we order them. Uh, if, if, if an agency like DOH or DSWD or any government institution uh, will procure from us, like Bibili kami ng N95, bibili kami ng surgical mask, bibili kami ng PPE, or coverall, I mean, or PPE sets, or COVID tests, um, and we don't have the stocks. What we do is we buy, we or we bid, we order, and once it's delivered, we we charge it to the deposit that they uh, made to our office, and we deduct it on their deposit and charge our usual fee um, for our revolving fund, and then we deliver the items to them. So that's how it works. So you are saying that, no, no, just on this specific uh, uh, PO, because again, this was not included in the, the part in the COA report, 2,877,300,000 uh, for the price of 41,400 test kits. Uh, First, was this delivered? Number two, where did you get your budget? Number three, how was disposed of? Okay, uh, I, I'm, I cannot recall the specific transaction, but the process is this, basically this. It's standard format. We buy, uh, we bid, or we procure through negotiated procurement, depends on what law is applicable, whether by an IHAN 1, whether by an IHAN 2, or uh, RA9184, which is a procurement law. So based on the process that we use, based on the law that is active when we perform our procurement, we follow it, the documentary requirements, um, and afterwards they deliver it. After they deliver it, uh, we inspect. After we inspect, the, the inspection usually is this. Okay. If it's a common supplies, it's PSTBM inspects. When it's um, items like uh, ordered by a specific agency, there's a joint inspection. Sure. Uh, Okay, I don't want to waste so much time. Uh, Mr. Okay. Chairman, can we just uh, issue a uh, subpoena duces tecum for the uh, PSDBM to produce all the documents related to the PS, the P purchase orders that I mentioned, which were not mentioned in the COA. These are very substantial amounts, uh, Mr. Chairman. So may we request for a subpoena duces tecum uh, and uh, for the PSDBM to the Director General Akimbo is uh, ordered to uh, execute a subpoena ducha second to upon PSDBM for the uh, aforesaid uh, statement that uh, I think that's June 9, 20, uh, if I'm not mistaken, as well as June 10, 20, 2020. Uh, would that be correct, Senator Dillon? Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, first, on April 20, April 23, 2020, uh, contract number PSCP MDC uh, 20-03-10. This is a notice of award uh, addressed to Mohit Dargani. Okay. The second one is a purchase order number 20 -00298 dated June 10, 2020, addressed to uh, Pharmaly, uh, Pharmaceutical Corporation uh, for uh, 312 test kits at a unit price of 787,968 for a total amount of 245,846,016. Uh, and then uh, a third uh, third purchase order, again dated June 9, 2020, a purchase order number 20-002-00287, uh, uh, CSE 
for, for 41,400 test kits at a unit price of 69,500 in the amount of 2 billion 877,000 uh, 800, I'm sorry, 2 billion 877 million 300,000 pesos. And then if, uh, since I have the floor, Mr. Chairman, if I can also have uh, the uh, subpoena ducis tecum for a, uh, for a, uh, and this is a um, sign now, uh, this is a, uh, sorry. I'm sorry, this is a, a, a purchase of 17,000 test kits for a unit price of 45,550, uh, uh, 17,000 test kits, and the contract is worth 774,350,000. Uh, all contracts related to that, this one, the last one is approved by attorney Wyan. So can, can we ask that the subpoena be issued on these documents and we will ask questions after the documents are submitted to us. Thank you. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the Director General is so uh, so ordered. On it, Your Honor. You got it already, uh, Mr. Kimbo? Yes, Your Honor, on it. Uh, let the subpoena that you just said uh, that can be issued uh, because th these are very important documents. And uh, <clears throat> I, I hope, I'm, I know I'm going to tax the patience of my fellow senators, but I just want to finish. When I said uh, I needed help to finish with the witness, uh, particularly George Mendoza, who has been saying uh, that uh, he did not actually see it, there is a pattern that we see here. Uh, if the committee would just allow me, uh, uh, pardon me, Brad, uh, Senator from Pangilina. I just want to be very, very quick, uh, and then uh, uh, we can all go about so that we're all on the same page, if I may. I was going to say this very quickly. Uh, Mr. Lincoln Ong, going back to you, uh, after the after the 54 million uh, and the 13.86 million, on April 20, you, uh, you supplied 10 million quantities uh and uh costing 220 million pesos will you please answer the question i'm going to be very succinct here where did you get the money to pay for the 220 million pesos mr chairman hindi po namin kailangan bayaran agad yung stocks ano may nag may nag yung mga importers nag import hindi namin kailangan bayaran ng kayo ang kayo ang kayo ang binigyan ng permiso ng farm ng uh PSDBM. Ang tinatanong ko, saan mo kinuha yung pera? Ba, paano ka nakapag-deliver ng 220 million pesos worth? Kung sabi mo, wala kami, ang ginawa nyo, nag-ahente na naman kami, binigay namin yan sa 220 million. Kanina nyo binigay, kung hindi kayo, kung binigay nyo lang sa ahente, bilang ahente, binigay nyo sa ibang tao. Kanina nyo binigay, kay Tiger na naman? Uh, hindi na po, hindi na po. Ang, ang pangalan ng supplier na tawag ko sa kanya, Mr. Wang. Huh? Mr. Wang po ang tawag ko sa supplier na yan. Sino Mr. Wang? Yung presidente niya? Ay, hindi po, hindi po. Tatay ng presidente niya? Hindi po, hindi po. O sino Wang ito? Dito rin po, ah, mga, mga Chinese din ano po. Ano pa ka naman ang poor name? Hindi po kay Chinese, hindi mo matandaan ang pangalan. Dapat matandaan mo. Si Wang Jie. Pilipino ba yan o pure Chinese yan? Pure Chinese po. Ah, pure Chinese? Yes po. Na nandiyan negosyo sa Pilipinas? Yes po. O, oh, anong pangalan? Wang Jie. Anong supplier? Anong, anong negosyo nila? You're ordered to uh, answer the question and so that we can subpoena them. Wang Jie po, uh, nag-import-import lang kung saan ang mga, kung anong mga... So, tinatanong yan. Tinatanong ko lang, simple lang. Saan mo kinuha yan? Huwag mo nang patagalin. Wang Jie, kay Mr. Wang Jie po. Ha? Kay Mr. Wang Jie. Anong spelling ng Jie? J-I-E. J-I... E. Si. Joker India Echo. Hotel India Echo. Joke, uh, Joker India Echo. Oh, sige. Oh, sige. Joker India Echo. Mr. Chairman, okay. question. Yes. Just very quick, Mr. Chairman. Salamat po. Uh, 
I, I just, you know, tried Googling Huang Jie. What pops up is Huang Jie, Taiwanese politician. Ito ba yun, Mr. Chairman? Mr. Chairman, Wang, local. Wang, Wang Jie po, W-A-N. Nasa Binondo ba yan? Binondo? W-A-N. Salamat, Mr. Chairman. Nasa Binondo ba yan? Yes po, yes po. Ano pa na ng kumpanya niya? Uh, hindi ko po, hindi ko po alam yung pangalan ng kumpanya. Uh, you better tell us. I only know the name, Mr. Chairman. You should be very familiar with all the suppliers. You should know. Minsan kasi hindi rin sila nag... Alam yung kumpanya-kumpanya? Mga Chinese eh. Beyond the style. Do you have an address? Actually, wala po. I'm being very, very patient with you. But we will... Tawag lang po. We will, we will ask immigration to check. Please ask immigration to check whether a Wang Ji arrived here na nire-refer ni Lincoln Ong na nag-supply sa kanya ng 220 million. So yes, yes. Again, again, Mr. Lau, hindi mo ginawa yung due diligence mo. Ha? Di mo tinatanong kung kaya nila. Di mo tinatanong kung sariling pera nila yan. In other words, binibigay mo lang yan. Tama? Mr. Lau? Mr. Lau, are you there? Yes, I am here. I am here, Mr. Chairman. So that is very simple. One, the law does not require such documentation, but despite <laughs> that, we still complied. Second, they have already delivered before, so that is proof that they can deliver. Third, we did not ask for, they did, we did not give any advance payment, so there is no loss on our part. Um, what is important is deliver it first, if they deliver, then we pay it. If they fail to deliver, we blacklist them. So Let me ask Raymond Abrea. Raymond Abrea, tama ba yan? Kosher ba yung ginagawa nila yan? Ito yung uh, expert witness at yung MB Ibagitan isang araw. Tama ba yan, Raymond Abrea? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Ano po yun? Sabi, basta nag-deliver ako, pwede na ibigay sa kanila without checking. Would you consider that due diligence in the world of business? Um, hindi po, Mr. Chairman, kasi po kahit T-shirt po yung order na humingi ng sample sa kanag ocular Dapat in ocular Sa business practice po, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so, not in good business practice. Tama yan? And what about yung mga sinabi sa mga bodega? Tama ba yung mga sinasabi ng procedure? Uh, na, Mr. 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 Chairman, Mr. tama po si Senator Lacson na dapat registrado din po sa BIR. Uh, kasama po yun sa requirements. At... Uh, Doon po sa, ganun din po sa mga inventaryo. Actually, nasa books of accounts po nila dapat lahat ng uh, inventory at suppliers nila, Mr. Chairman. Nasa business accounts sila ng uh, PSDBN. Books of accounts account po ni Parmani, Mr. Chairman. Parmani, alright, okay. Uh, let the, uh, let the uh, subpoena do just second be issued for all these businesses that have been quoted by Mr. Lincoln Ong na kinukuha na nila ng 220 million, kinukuha na nila ng 13.86 million, ng 54 million, limpak-limpak na sa labi. Dapat mag-account sila dyan. Okay, let me go on para makatanong ng iba. O ito ngayon, itong uh, sinanong na ni, Pres ni Senator Dillon ito, ang quantity nito, 8,000 quantity, uh, Senator Panginoon, I'm bearing me, I just finished this, sandali na lang ito. Uh, 8,000, 600 million, Oh, ganyan rin ang answer mo, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Lincoln Ong, oh, ikaw rin ang nag-negotiate ito? Ay, hindi po, hindi po. Oh, sino ang gumawa na sa kumpanya ninyo? Uh, uh, sir, uh, Mr. Chairman, pakiulit po yung tanong. 600 million naman itong halaga nito. Okay po. Quantity 8,000. 8, ha? Opo. At uh, ang award, ah... Uh, ay para sa BGI Real-Time Fluorescent RT-PCR 50 test kits. Yes po. Ikaw ang kumausap. Ay, Mr. Chairman, ito Masukai po, nag-access nag na po kami ng mga, ng mga funding, mga funding, nangutang na po kami. Sa akin ang utang? Bago na naman yan. Sige. Mr. Chair, ang dami ko na po... Mr. Chair, ang dami ko na po natanggap na death threat. Kailangan ko po talaga. Eh, ba't ka ba de death threat? Anong ginawa mo kasalanan? Ito, tinatanong ko na si Simple. Sino itong mga taong na inutangan ninyo? Ang laki nito, ha? 600 million. Napakaswerte mo. May nagpapautang sa inyong kumpanya na 600 million. Ang kapital nyo, 625,000 lang. At napakaswerte nyo, pinapayagan kayo ng gobyerno. 625,000 lang. 
makakakuha kayo na wala kayong pera. Tapos mag- magpapahiram sa inyo. Sino yun? Ah, Mr. Chairman, ang dami na ang dami na po nadadami dito sa uh, sa nangyari dito sa amin. Natatakot na po ako. Dito eh, talagang ganoon eh. Hanggang hindi ka nagsasabi ng totoo, marami ka talaga idadamay. Lahat ang sasabihin mo, dadamay 'yan. Oh, sige, sumagot ka. Mr. Chairman, 'di ba? Mr. Mr. Chairman, sino ang inatangan niyo? Sino ang inatangan niyo? Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh Senator Luxon, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Senator Very quickly. First, yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. First, may I remind Mr. Lingon Ong not to invoke Chinese style? Pero nakausap dito, hindi pwede Chinese style. Lahat dapat documented. Second, I'd like to find out from him, saan ang gagaling yung death threats, Mr. Chairman? Sige. I will humor you. Sige. Mr. Chairman? I will humor you. Anong death threats yan? Sino na dito tayo sa Dalawa lang ang panggagalingan niyan. Sige. Mer- meron po ako natatanggap ng mga text messages. Anong nakalagay? Ah, uh, parang yung unang messages po is parang bibigyan po kayo na uh, bibigyan na ako ng isang linggo. Sige, sandali lang po, basahin ko po. You and your family will be killed. If you will not admit your connection with the chief executive, ito isa po yan. Mr. Lincoln Ong, we will give you a week of time. We'll make sure you have a Merry Christmas six feet under the ground. The agencies are locating you and your family, enjoying the billions fruit billion fruits of your scam while you still can. Tapos po, pinatay ko na po yung phone ko kasi natatakot na po talaga ako sa nangyayari. Well, Mr. Chairman? Uh, let, Chairman? Let, let me just, uh, uh, General De La Rosa, give me a minute lang, sumagot lang siya. Saan nyo kinuha yung 600 million? Sino yung natahan? Mr. Chair- Mr. Chairman, ito, yes. uh, Ito pong BGI na to, itong BGI na supplier na to, uh, ang nagpakilala po rin ng supplier to si Mr. Mr. Yang, Mr. Michael Yang po. Michael Yang. Yeah. Yes okay. Si Michael Yang nagpakilala sa inyo para po utangin kayo. Yes po. All right? Kailan nangyari yan? We cannot, we're not just going to get your word for it. We just want you to give us some details. Nagpakilala sa inyo. Na mga bibigyan kayo ng 600 million. Sumabog na yung paksi mo, di ba? Sige. Mr. Kailan pinabi sa'yo ni Michael Yang, hindi ka umutang? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, medyo naputol po. Kailan sinabi sa'yo ni Michael Yang, hindi ka umutang? A- ako po yung lumapit kay Mr. Michael Yang. Oo. Oh. Oh, sabi mo ano, kailangan ko na 600 million para masupply natin to Kwarta na ito, kung di natin masusupply, mawawala pa, tama? Uh, sinabi ko lang po kay Michael lang na, na kailangan ko na ma-access tong ganitong, ganitong brand, ganitong kumpanya. Tapos hmm. baka pwede na ako tulungan. At the same time, uh, baka pwede nang tulungan ako sa paghanap ng funding. Hmm. Kasi kulang po talaga yung cash namin. Mm-hmm. Yan po. So, because of Michael yan, nakialam na naman siya sa family, tinulungan na naman kayo, sabi niya, hindi siya tumutulong sa inyo, di ba? Hindi niya kayo kilala. Ako, ako po yung lumapit sa kanya, humingi ng tulong. It doesn't matter, you're with family, okay? Ano mo, maaari yung buong... Sige, uh, we'll talk about the death threat later on. Uh, in the meantime, uh, very quickly, uh, Senator Bato, please, uh, regarding the death threat only, please. Yes, sir. Uh, tungkol na ba ito, Mr. Chairman, sa death threat? I, I will just advise our uh, resource person, si Mr. Ong, na huwag kang patakot dyan sa death threat na yan. Patayin mo yung cellphone mo, o kung gusto mo, itapo mo yung cellphone mo, at mag-concentrate ka dito sa hearing na ito. Sagutin mo lahat ng mga tanong para maganda yung takbo ng uh, hearing natin. Huwag kang magpa-distract dyan sa mga death threat na yan. Huwag, uh, kung nag-death threat sa'yo, mga taga-China, 
Pabuntay mo dito sa Pilipinas kung gusto nila na patayin ka. Huwag ka matakot dyan. Pabuntay mo yung cellphone mo. Ayun lang, Mr. Chairman. I just, I'm just advising our resource person. Thank you very much. Oh, tama yun. Uh, it's, not, it's not your moment of truth. Kung sa tutulong ka sa gobyerno natin at saka sa mga kababayan natin, I think that the Senate can... Uh, you are already protected right now. May nakabantay sa iyo ngayon ng mga usaha. Hindi namin aalisin yan. Lalo na kung ito, nasabi mo lahat ng sinasabi mo. Ito, ikatlong beses na naunlad na ugat si Michael Yang sa iyo. At sinabi rin ni Mr. Wang na presidente niyo na kasama si Michael Yang nagpautang sa inyo. At ngayon, sinabi mo na naman to, sinalba nila kayo sa 600 million. Tapos nakita yung litrato mo, inamin mo na naando ka kasama mo si Michael Yang. Hindi naman kaya si Michael Yang talaga ang nagsusupply sa inyo ng pera? Talagang pumapurat lang kayo? Hindi, hindi naman po kami ang front ni Michael Yang. Okay, sige na. Tutuloy ko na para matapos ako kaagad. No? Dahil nahihiya ako sa mga senador. Eto, 344 million uh, ang unit, 344,000 A-star fortitude kit. Another 688 million pesos. Saan mo kinuha yung pera para ma-deliver mo yan? Na-deliver nyo lahat yan, di ba? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Yes po. Kanina na-deliver nyo, 600 million. Tinanggap naman ng PS po. Yes. Uh, ng uh, PS uh, DBM. Oh, saan mo kinuha yung 688 million? Mr. Chairman, wala pong kilalaman dito si Mr. Michael Yang. Uh, A-star for you, Judy, sa Singaporean product. Ano nagsabi? Ito ang nagsabi na tinulungan ka niya. Ngayon, itong 688 million na ito, may kinalaman siya? Wala. Wala po, Mr. Chairman. Basta mo kinuha ngayon yung 688 million para makadeliver ka nitong A-star 42.0 RT-PCR test, 2,000 quantity. Nakakalagang 688 million. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Singapore product po yan. Uh, si Mr. Huang ang po nag-handle po niyan. At uh, I think Mr. Huang po. Mr. Wang, were you the one who arranged the supply of this A-Star Fortitude? It's a Singapore product. What is that? Is that... Uh, <clears throat> is it true? You are the one, Mr. Wang? Yes, Mr. Chairman. A-Star Fortitude test kit is, uh, is one of the, the, the items on the uh, request for quotation and it's a Singapore produced by the government produced test kits. Okay. All right. I'll take your word for it. Now, it means up to this time, we have already, and I will remind everybody, that at this, at, at this time, ang presyo na nakuha, na, na, the money that has been generated by uh, Parmali is already 1 billion, 575 million. Okay, malapit na tayo matapos. Okay. Oh, ito, April 23, 2020, yung kanina, April 23, ha? Sunod-sunod yan, ha? April 20, yung surgical mask, 220 million. April 22, two days later, 600 million. April 23, 20, yung kanina, yung 688 million. Sunod-sunod, ano yan? Umpisa mo sa April 14, 2020, yung 54 million. April 16, yung 13.86 million. April 2020, 220 20 million. Nalakay nag-aarap na malalaking pera. Tapos April 22, 20, Uh, 600 million yung BGI tapos ito ngayon April 20 688 million total running total is 1 billion 575 million now ito naman ngayon how can you produce almost a billion in one day ito ang halaga is 300 million ha? at uh, uh, 4K and 95 oh, saan mo kinuha yung pera na 300 million on credit din po yan Mr. Chair Credit din po. Hindi, hindi, uh, hindi, credit, 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 credit dyan. Wala, wala, wala. Si Wang Ji po rin po. Ito si K95, si Wang Ji pa rin po. Wang Ji. Yan po, opo. Sa mga din, hindi ka under threat. Then nabayaran mo sila, ba't sila magagalit sa'yo? Ano po, Mr. Chairman? <laughs> Never mind. Hindi ka under sorry threat. Po, Nababayaran po, mo lang po. sila Wang Ji, di ba? Pag nakuha mo na yung pera, bibigay mo kay Wang Ji. Tama? Yes po, tama po. Sige, May 4. 20. Uh, umabot na ngayon ng 1 billion 800. Puro lang ito. 10,000 surgical gown. Right? That is 10 days after April 23. Nag-order. 11 days. 1 week and 4 days ang surgical gown. Ang halaga 2,880,000. Saan mo kinuha yan? Malit lang yan. Doon din po sa mga, mga Chinese. Sino na mga Chinese? 
ito hindi ito hindi ko na maalala talaga kasi marami din sila tapos mayroon silang sino supply Ano mo, mayroon siya na sino supply sa sa PSDBM ren? Hindi po, hindi po. Kung ano-ano lang, nag-i-import talaga sila. Oh, sige. May 8, 2020, ang halaga 2 million. Ito malaki-laki ito. Umabot ito ng 3.82 billion pesos ang halaga one single transaction for 2 million PPEs. 1,910 ang unit cost. Umabot ng 3.82 billion. I would be fascinated to know where you got the 3.82 billion. Mr. Chairman? Mm-hmm. So, humingi din po ako ng tulong. Itong project na to, itong malaki. Humingi po ako ng tulong kay Mr. Michael Young. Michael Young na naman. Opo. Oh, binigyan Opo. ka ng pera. Saan mo kin- kinuha ni Michael Young yan? Hindi ko po alam kung saan na kinuha. So, Michael Young is involved practically in most of the big ticket items, correct? Yes po, Mr. Chairman. Tayo, eh. Doon naman tayo abot. Magsabi na kayo ng totoo para matu- makatulog pa. The committee will look for favor uh, with favor with yours na sabi mo. Alright? Opo. At, at Opo. this point, ladies and gentlemen of the committee, ang umabot na ang transaksyon itong si Lincoln Yang, si, itong si Lincoln Ong at saka si Wang uh, ng 5 billion 697 uh, 5 billion 600 5 billion 697 million. Alright? Nakakagulat, hindi po ba? Tapos, itong yes, huli, sir. itong June 9, 20, 2020, 32 days later, more than 41,400 at 69,500 RT-PCR, nakakahalaga ng 2,877,000,000. Saan mo kinuha yung 2 billion na yan? Wala naman kayong pera ka mo eh. Nanghingi po rin ulit ako ng tulong kay Mr. Michael Young. Michael Young. O, oh, paano dumating yung pera? O, oh, kanina pinatumadama lang kita. O, oh, nakakakuha ka ng tulong. Paano dumating ang pera dito? O, oh, para mahirap uh, pa. Sumagot ka na naman tino. Ang talingin ko ulit si, Ayong, si uh, uh, Mr. Abrea. Si Mr. Abrea. Kailangan ipaliwanag, hindi ba Mr. Abrea, kung saan nila kinukuha yung pera yan? Dahil mayroong mga repercussions yan. Pwedeng sabihin, ha? Maraming paaring sabihin na talagang... Uh, May maaring may money laundering. Is that possible, sir? Mr. Abrea? One? Mr. Abrea? Paano ka mute kayo, sir? Mr. Abrea? Hindi naman maaring lumabas lang yung pera at hindi papaliwanag kung saan galing. Dapat hahanapin yan. Tama po ba yan? Maybe he is out. Sorry okay. po, Mr. Chairman. I'll get, uh, yes. Mr. Abrea, ang lalaki ng amount, sumabot na tayo dito as of this time, sumabot na tayo ng 8 billion, 8.5 billion. At sinasabi kay Michael Yang, sinasabi dito kay Wang Ji, hindi naman pwedeng sabihin lang na galing sa kanila na hindi mapapaliwanag kung saan ang galing ang pera yan. Tama po ba yan? Tama po, Mr. Chairman. So, ang speculation, baka naman, one, pwede ba ito, na ghost delivery, malang dumating, o pangalawa, may money laundering, or both. What do you think, sir? Uh, hindi po ako makakasagot, Mr. Chairman, pero pwede naman pong i-check sa bank statement at saka po uh, sa registration ng mga suppliers kung legal po lahat ng naging transaction. That is correct. So, that's sure. why I've been trying to pursue Lincoln Ong and really, there is a travesty here that bilyong-bilyong piso napunta sa Farmali na isinishare nila sa mga supplier nila at sinasabi ng Balbas palagi si Michael Young. Oh. Yan, si Michael Young palagi ang nagsasalba sa inyo. Diba? Makano ba talaga lahat ang pinautang sa inyo ni Michael Young? Mr. Wang, how much did Michael Young lend you? Uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I think you are referring to the the, the agreement. Can you speak louder, please? <coughs> I just have my last question here. Mr. Chairman, I think you are referring to the agreement that we spoke about, the, that you were subpoenaed from us, from us from the last hearing. 
and I think Lincoln. I'm not privy to that agreement. agreement. There's no agreement. What agreement is that? Uh, Miss Link, do you want to talk about this? Will you participate? I, as I've said, I was not participating in the agreement. You're not. Not so because... now answer the question. My question is, you would like to reply to us because you're saying Michael Young, you're saying your your people are saying this and that. Wang Ji, where did this money really come from? It was a multiple approach from all the projects. You know, we really just, the focus for us was just to deliver the goods on time, really. There was really very, a lot of difficulty in that, you know. Well, no. I sympathize with you. There's a lot of difficulty because you're getting a lot of money and you're laughing all the way to the back at the expense of the Filipino people. People are hungry here. People are getting sick. People lack hospitals. The health, health workers are not able to uh, make ends meet because the SRA is not being paid. People are dying. They're being uh, cremated and there's not even money to pay for cremation. So do not try to tell me to sympathize with you. I will not sympathize with people like you. But, um, if I may. Yes. Uh, please answer the question. If I may, Mr. Chairman. What, it's hard, isn't it, sir? Isn't it what, hard? We, what we are delivering is actually things to protect the people. Test kits, masks. Really now? They are. Everything. Filipino suppliers gave that, but they were not even given the privilege of getting paid like you did. EMS was given the privilege of having been able to supply 25% of the 100 million, and after that, at that price at 1370, which is considerably lower than what you got. And then after that, Lao told them, oh, you, you better take it or leave it, two, two pesos will buy it at two pesos and 35 centavos. Is that fair? Mr. Chairman, I cannot comment on the no, tax right. the government. Mr. But Chairman. all I can say is our intention was to get these things, which are very scarce, and oftentimes uh, the, the countries that produce it don't even want to share it. And what we do right. is we exerted the maximum effort to get it to what the Philippines. You know here is the conclusion is you were given tremendous superlative favors more than anybody else. Nabigyan kayo ng tulong, nabigyan kayo ng pabuya, Nang Mr. Lau and company, they give you all the breaks. Imagine they don't even check you, and all all you are is really a middleman. Uh, if we are to believe that, but I think there is really more to that. I think you're able to supply because somebody who knew the Chinese in China was able to get this, was able to anticipate that when this broke out, China will have to supply, and he can make a killing. He can buy goods in China at a very cheap rate and then sell it to our country through you, uh, give you a few 50 million each, and then he takes all the money. Would that be correct? Mr. Chairman, I believe the market is driven by supply and demand. So no, this I is supply and demand. In the case yeah. of this situation, the whole thing is not even demand driven. It is supply driven. Yes. It if, if, that there if, was a demand, but Mr. in reality, Chairman, it was a supply driven because you did not even supply, you got it from other people. Isn't that true, Mr. Chairman? Did you supply anything, Mr. Yang, Mr. Wang? Did you supply anything? Did you manufacture anything? Answer the question yes or no, Mr. Chairman. Did you supply from, anything? How many pharmaceutical is not a manufacturer? Excuse yes, me, you're correct in that. You're not in manufacturing. Is that your answer? Yes, Chairman Gordon, yes, please. The answer. Senator, we are not a manufacturer. Point here. I, just, I just have to finish this point. Bear with me. So your answer is you're not manufacturing. Yes. Yes? Yes. And you were able to get the contracts, right? Yes. And you were able to get the contracts because of the relationship of Mr. Michael Young to this country's no. highest official. Would that no, be that it? That's not correct. No, that's not I'm correct. Not anything. I, I just have to conclude. That's not true, Mr. Chairman. So what is true what... then? 
every one of your people from Chrissy has been avoiding questions. Lincoln Ong is weaving a lot of uh, inventions. All the senators have asked you questions. You have no warehouse. You cannot even say, and you're just borrowing it. Okay, I have no more questions. Uh, uh, yes, go ahead, Senator Pangilinan, then Senator Marcos. Kanina kasi nag-reserve si Senator Pangilinan. Go ahead. Yes. Actually, Mr. Chair, I'm first to ask questions for today's hearing. Uh, but with uh, Mr. Huang, and then I'm going to another point. Uh, okay, so shall we allow Senator Marcos first? Yes, on the, on the point that uh, of, if it's involved, if it... Uh, Thank you very much, Senator Pangilinan, and thank you very much, my chairman. Yes, uh, para mapatunayan na talagang laway lang ang puhunan, yeah. mabuti siguro itignan natin at hingin yung iba pang papeles. At uh, it appears that the, from March to April, yung mga POs of 2020 for masks were locally sourced from other importers who uh, necessarily undervalued their importations. Whatever it is, may we request the subpoena duches tecum for the paper trails of yung Mr. Tiger at yung iba't iba pang pinag uh, source nila. Uh, yung uh, import declaration, invoice, packing list, container numbers, POs by formally to local suppliers. Para mabuo natin yung kwento kasi mukha talaga laway ang puhunan nito nakakapagtaka. BOC might have been cheated of duties and taxes. BIR was cheated as well of taxes by the so-called local suppliers that uh, provided the supply to Farmali. Kung pwede po, Mr. Chairman, i-subpina uh, duches tecum na rin yung mga papeles ni Mr. Tiger and the other sources of all these supplies. Uh, and with respect to Mr. Tiger and Wang Ji, I've already issued an order. And now you're adding to it by asking for a subpina duches tecum and let the SEC give us all the documentation Get the BAR to find out about the warehouses and find out what is the utmost uh, source of all these people para malaman natin where the money came from because it is important to know where the money came from if money in fact came in. And in fact, that's why we've been asking where it was delivered, how it was delivered because nakakapagtaka na isang kumpanya, tinalo lahat ang Pilipino at pinagbigyan ng gusto at ngayon dalin-dalin tayo mga Pilipino. Sorry. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Let's include the POC because clearly these imported goods were imported by someone, not necessarily formally, but others before them. Thank you. I actually have questions about that because if they used RC-130, I'm not going to ask that anymore. I'll ask that later on. Well, go ahead, Senator Pangilinan. Thank you, Senator Marcos. That was very, very, very good. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We, we'd like to go back to the inspection. Mr. Uh, Jorge Mendoza, is his Yes, uh, ano po, uh, 31 years na po ako. 31 years? In service ako. Uh, what do you hope? 1989. Yes, were you hopeful that one okay. so thirty one years uh, yes. at uh, you were were you uh, hoping? very ano po yata yung qualification just in case po uh, as far as uh, I know po as far as my knowledge po yeah. we were told na very ano po no very strict yung qualification so uh, most likely hindi po lahat ma-absorb kung just in so, case so, I mean, so when did you uh, ano po uh, January 31 po yun, this year 2021 ito lang yes your honor why did you resign? Bakit ka nag-resign? Uh, my contract was no longer renewed. After 31 years, hindi ka na-renew ng contract. Sino ang uh, mag-renew ng contract mo? Uh, 
pag-i-sign po ng uh, secretary po ng BPM. Yes, but in this case, uh, Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Ano? Hindi kaya? You feel uh, bad? Hindi ko pa talaga, ano, wala pa akong 60 years old, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, na million na mga masks, di ba? Hindi ka na nakapag-inspect noon? Tama ba yun? Uh, uh, head po ng inspection. Not all inspection po ay uh, sumasama po ako. And in the very first, in the 500,000, uh, I was, ano, uh, I happened to see that. Opo. And yung mga succeeding po, uh, may be sa the PS warehouse or sa mga DOH warehouse, I no longer go. Uh, I just relied sa documents po, Your Honor. Considering po na yung documents does not only contain yung inspection report, uh, supported po yun ng uh, delivery receipts, signed po ng mga concern, and of course, yung ano po, no, yung uh, po sa DOH jointly inspected po ng aming counterparts with the DOH po. So, in other words, hindi... na lahat ng mga puma pumasok ng family, etc. ay na-inspect ng maayos. Uh, after po, we don't know po. No? Uh, we just, uh, you don't have personal knowledge na na-inspect ng maayos. Hindi, apo, meron po na nakalagay po before long na comply. Yes, yes, yes. You, you're relying on documents, but you don't rely knowledge that they were in fact inspected because you saw them with your own eyes. Opo, not at all. Ano, hindi po lahat, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, were you ever asked to sign any document even before inspection? Um, there was this, ano po, no? there was this uh, instant po, instance po during pandemic time. There was uh, no target supply of PBEs. So we have to uh, uh, sort to uh, no no sort to China. Opo. So again, um, agano po no. Tensya na po no. Tensya na po medyo. Na, medyo na. Take your time. Sige. Opo. Uh, uh, wala pang ano po no. Wala pang delivery, but we were uh, advised or instructed to ano po to prepare the uh, uh, inspection document. Uh, considering nga po na. Uh, it will be an attachment for the China uh, as well as to, to China suppliers na sila po ay babayaran once the uh, shipment or yung uh, PPEs will arrive sa Pilipinas. In other words, you were instructed by whom? Uh, to sign? Uh, Na-instruct kayo na pirmahan ninyo yung instruction kahit hindi nyo nakikita yung produkto kasi hindi madedeliver. Uh, ganun po yung own. So, who instructed you? Uh, management po. Your Honor, Your Honor it was uh, ano po, no? the one who uh, uh, advised me to prepare no? or to sign the inspection report is yung aming sa finance, considering they will be the one to pay. So, who, who, who in finance instructed you? Opo. Uh, it was a meeting then uh, with the former, ano po, no? the former uh, accounting chief uh, Raul Catalan. Okay, sino pa? Sino pa na? Was Mr. Lau there? Leong there, the procurement division. Uh... Yes, Your Honor. But you've established that in fact there were inspectors. Mali yun, di ba? Kasi dapat pag in-inspect, alam natin tama yung quality, di ba? And, uh, you can see naman po no, from the explanation no, at, uh, at that time, yung scarce po, very scarce po yung supply. So, That's, ilang, ilang, ilang inspection reports, would you remember?
collection reports. With so, the, uh, so sayo yun, no? Sayo yun. Uh, early po, uh, Okay, so so in other words, inirmahan mo. Yes, Your Honor. So, in other words, attachments po ng uh, oh. maaaring binayaran na yung tao o yung taga-China But, Kaya, in other words, maaari nang bayad si the delivery happened after binayaran. Yes, Your Honor. So talagang walang wala kasi walang taliwas ang proseso as the inspection group. So you admit na in these two instances it's not the normal procedure. This is not the normal procedure, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Is Mr. Tankentik here? Is he around? Uh, also from the DBMPS. Do you know him, Mr. Tankentik? Uh, he was then the acting ano po, uh, assistant chief of inspection. Okay. I was the OIC for Your Honor. Okay, is he around? Mervin Mang. Yes. Uh, Mr. Tankentik. You are also signatory in this case, formally, no? Nang mga formally nga. And uh, what's this, the 688? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, I will ask the same question, not in this particular. Bago po gumawa ng report po. No, no, no. You, you... So walang instance na kayo ay naggumawa ng inspection report na hindi nakita yung, hindi na inspect yung items? Or formally, Your Honor? No, no, not formally. I said in other, in other. Dalawa yung kay Mr. Sir George Bo. Ah, so, so who instructed you to sign without having to inspect? Your Honor, that time po, uh, Per, uh, ano po ng management po yun? Uh, you're saying the same thing. Yes, Your Who Honor. instructed you inspection reports? Who instructed you? Uh, Your Honor, between uh, Mr. Uh, Sir George, uh, the, that meeting with the accounting, and we were instructed to issue the ICAR. Yes, who? 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 who, who, who this, was, this was discussed only with between me and Mr. George. I wasn't present during the meeting, sir. I wasn't talking about any meeting. Uh... Well, sir, po ni sir George po kanina po. Ah, okay. Uh, who was it again, Mr. Mr. Uh, you mentioned it. Uh, not si Sir Raul Catalan po. Uh, so if we can have him in So hindi naman pwedeng is it 
Pwede, kaya ba niyang i-instruct yun na sarili niya na hindi niya kiniklear sa aba, sa ano sa management pag Tama ba 'yun? Hindi niyo lang sinasabi kung sino uh, pero sinasabi niyo yung top management. Pero hindi niyo masabi sino sa top management. Ang sinasabi lang si Raul Catalan na wala na rito. Tama ba 'yun? Yes, sir. You know, ako sa totoo lang, medyo hindi rin ng inspection report uh, kahit wala pa yung delivery kasi nasa China pa. The indulgence of Sanki. So, uh, isang mga uh, Senator Antivero, uh, all due respect, uh, the yes. request of Senator Pangilinan is hereby ordered uh, uh, you shall uh, subpoena Raul Casalang uh, and also the other information that you wanted because uh, uh, already we have a witness who testified that he did not see it and he was told to do what he has to do. Is that correct, uh, Senator Pangilina? That is correct. He did not see the items. The items were not delivered, but he was instructed. I, I salute you, sir. We will, we will see to it that uh, we get this done. Uh, yes, uh, there was a question by Senator Tavares. Go ahead, uh, Senator Risa. Uh, with the indulgence of San Kiko. Yes, yes, please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Those questions to Mr. Uh, to Inspector Tangkintik, Mr. Chairman. Um, Inspector Tangkintik, uh, anong mga face mask at face shield deliveries ang sinine off nyo, sinine off on nyo via inspection reports na ia-attach dun sa disbursement vouchers na gagamitin ng PSDBM sa paghanda ng mga cheque? Meron po ba at alin po ba iyon? Uh, for yung ano ma'am? Your face Honor? Face masks at face shields po. Wala po akong inspection yeah. report for face shield po. Alright po. So para mabilis lang uh, po ako. Uh, Inspector Tangkintik, saan po kayo employed ngayon? Sa PSDBM Inspection PSDBM Division po. Pa rin po. Sir, totoo po ba, Inspector, totoo po ba na may punto na hiningi po sa inyo na pumirma sa mga inspection at saka acceptance reports para sa mga goods na hindi pa naman na-deliver noon. Totoo uh, po ba yun? Uh, meron po ma'am yung dalawa lang po ma'am na ano po, which was yung yeah. foreign po na supplier po. Yung foreign supplier o yung uh, China supplier. Apo. Uh, And then, hindi ba kayo nagbitiw sa trabaho? Hindi ba kayo nag-resign? Uh, hindi po. Hindi ko yun nag-resign. Okay. Um, then, ako din, Sir Inspector Tangkintik, dinadagdag ko lang yung aking uh, boses doon kay Sen Kiko na itinatanong talaga sa inyo for the record din na sino yung humiling sa inyo na pumirma ng lumalabas na fake inspection and acceptance reports. Hindi po ba nung panahon yun dapat yung mga DOH people eh, present at hindi po ba dapat na magsa-sign off din sila dyan sa mga inspection and acceptance reports? Opo, Your Honor. Ang nangyari po is yung internal document po sa ano po, yung pinirmahan po namin, pero nakalagay po doon na meron po kami na inspection will be conducted once items are delivered in the Philippines po. So, mm -hmm. once dumating po yung mga item po, genuine inspection pa rin po at in-account pa rin po yung mga item po. All right. I'll leave it at that for now, Mr. Chairman, with uh, thanks to Sen Kiko. And uh, lastly, just for the record, na yung PSDBM Accounting Department, dapat mag-validate po yun ng mga dokumento na attached dun sa disbursement vouchers. So if I, at, at the, if I may make a motion, Mr. Chairman, with the indulgence of Sen Kiko, that we, the committee through the chairman subpoena the accountant. And lastly, Mr. Chairman, uh, COA, 
and PSDBM are supposed to audit each and every transaction of the PSDBM five days after these are completed. So my um, second and last motion at this point in time, Mr. Chairman, is if the chair could create a group of experts that will work with COA to check if indeed all the documents for these formally transactions as well as those of other suppliers are in order. Kasama na po yung 2021 transactions. And if, Mr. Chairman, we could ask that the committee instruct that team through the chairman to interview resource persons who signed off at various steps of the transactions before and after negotiations, uh, Mr. Chair. And with that, Mr. Chair, marami salamat sa Kiko and marami salamat, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I just you. want to be sure I do justice to what your request is. Are you requesting something, uh, Senator Rita? Yes, Mr. Chairman. I'm requesting to subpoena the accountant uh, of PSDBM and then yeah. also to... Uh, What's his the, name? To create a group of experts to work uh, with the whole oh, these oh, transactions, oh, Mr. Chairman. Oh, oh, Mr. Chair. Salam. I said that. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We already Chairman. ordered that, uh, the request of Senator Pangilinan. Yes, and thank who, you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Thank you, San Kiko. Anything else, uh, Senator Lisa? Uh, uh, just lastly, Mr. Chairman, uh, to, for the committee or the chairman to create a group of experts that will work with COA to check if indeed all the documents for formally transactions uh, are in order, Mr. Chairman. Well, uh, I think uh, it's very, very clear. Uh, we can do that. Uh, but, you know, my own thoughts were let... Uh, COA do their job well. I mean, there are so many things that came out here, and uh, uh, COA can do a special audit uh, supported by, I mean, I don't know if I, I might be insulting them if I say we shall get a private group, but if that is the pleasure of the committee, we can do that. Senator Lachson. I submit, Mr. Chairman, and in any case, Mr. Chairman, this representation has a resolution uh, already uh, in the care of the Blue Ribbon Committee precisely for uh, a special audit by COA of all our COVID-19 uh, expenditures under both Bayanihan 1 and 2 for starters, so Mr. Chairman. Salamat saying... po, Mr. Chairman. Salamat, uh, we'll Senator. We'll forward that request, of course, to the Senate President because that is a constitutional body. Uh, yes, Senator Lapson, sir, go ahead. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Maybe it uh, will interest the committee to find out, out of the $42 billion DOH budget that was transferred to PSDBM, how many contracts have been awarded to the different suppliers, starting with family and other suppliers. And probably we can also find out magkanong inabot no mga kontrata do sa mga suppliers. Because so far, based on the uh, additional uh, info provided by Senator Drillon and your good self, nasa mga 12 billion na yung uh, napukuhang uh, kontrata ng family. Now, if Mr. Uh, Wang Chu Yen or Mr. Lincoln Ong would know, how much have you uh, contracted uh, with the uh, PSDBM out of the 42 billion? Nakamagkano po kayo? And how many contracts? <clears throat> Mr. Ong or Mr. Huang? How much total? Uh, based on the record, Mr. Chairman, uh, we have uh, 11 billion po. 11 billion? Uh, 11 billion po, pero I'm not sure kung ano po yung DOH or sa PSDBM. That is practically a third of the 42 billion that was given to them, Senator Lachson. Do you agree? How many contracts uh, are involved in the 11 billion peso uh, payment by PSDBM? Um, we have usually uh, both mask, test kits, and PPEs. No, how many contracts lang? Number of contracts? Can you submit that to the committee? Yes po, yes po, Mr. Chairman. 11 billion, pero kinumpit namin yung nadagdag ni Senator Drillon sa Senator Gordon, nasa 12 billion na. <clears throat> so, just make sure that you base your figures on official records, ah, Lincoln. Opo, Mr. Chairman. How about Mr. Wang? Would you have any idea as to the total amount that PSDBM 
had uh, uh, dispersed to Parmali. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I clarify, what, what do you mean by dispersed to Parmali? Speak a little louder, please. I, I couldn't hear it. It was a, that was something. Total payment uh, that you have received from PSDBM. Uh, I will need to check our, huh? uh, I will need to check our records on that, but it should be close to. I can say for certain. Anyway. Uh, kindly include in your submission the number of contracts and the details plus the total amount in uh, in the uh, local currency in pesos. Yes, Mr. Chairman, we'll comply. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'm, I'm still, I still have the floor. Sorry. Or is my time up? Uh, <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay. You've got an 12 to 13 billion pesos already for a company that lost money at the time you entered the contract before you got all these contracts you really reap a lot of uh, a lot of contracts in the multi-billion pesos and uh, I, I would strongly suggest and I I hope that you will listen to the Senate that you cooperate already because I think at this time it's kind of futile for you to think that you can get away with it that's just my advice. Yes, Senator Lavapangilina. Yes, uh, I still have a few more questions, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, very quickly with Mr. Nang testing. Uh, can uh, actually accept. Uh, do I take it to mean na uh, pagka one day delivery, tapos na bayaran? Uh, meron pang oras na itest ito kung kinakailangan itest o i-inspect uh, DBMPS mab mabilis ang inspection can Mr. inspection report I mean the specs Provided po uh, na agency through their APR, which is found narin po dyan sa iba, not, uh, technical evaluation report. Now you will note, uh, may mga ano po dyan, no? may mga, uh, what you call this, uh, test requirement that has to be conducted uh, through the, ano po, no? GATC or Government Accredited Testing Centers. Yes. Okay. Uh, ICQ on a pandemic. Uh, there is no, uh, there are no available. Uh, no, we have uh, uh, no required from this, uh, no, especially now on a post at UST, uh, IDDI, uh, PTRI, uh, and other, uh, no, na nagtetest po, uh, hindi po sila available, and most of them are, parang, uh, kuwerta sila, uh, what you call this, lockdown. We've also inquired from, uh, no, po, uh, from Intertech, mga third party po, no, mga private testing centers, Kaya lang po, uh, they can, ano po, no? they can uh, provide po the testing. Kaya lang po, not locally. It has to be, you know, uh, brought abroad. And at that time po, wala naman po commercial flights, which, uh, para ma, ano po, mayihatid po yung mga sample materials to be tested. However, ayun na nga po, uh, even if meron man na uh, commercial flights, it will, it will take time. Siguro, ma, ang pinakamabilis po is something like three to four weeks for the sample to be tested. And we very well know naman po na how urgent po yung requirement. So on our part, sa inspection po, we did na lang po the best that we can uh, do uh, to conduct po yung uh, inspection. So visual, uh, especially sa leakage, nag-device uh, po kami ng uh, own way po uh, to test po no yung uh, materials uh, na hindi po siya ano po mag uh, maglilik or uh, tatagos yung uh, liquid at that time po so yun po nagyan po so basically what we did is more on visual testing uh, so, senator yes in other words yung uh, yung ilang requirements sa 
uh, papadalan abroad, hindi na nagawa. Hindi Ngayon, ginagawa na ba? Ay, op. Uh, requirement, uh, may requirement ng testing kasi hindi na po ganun kaano yung uh, urgency. Although wala ka na doon. So, hindi mo na masasabi. Part your honor. Ako po kung ginagawa na po nito. So, okay. Uh, because ang uh, information sa akin ay yung manufacturers nire-require na padalan pa sa ibang bansa. Pero itong mga imported ay hindi na daw nire-require. Tama ba yun? Uh, your honor, wala po ganun. Uh, may it be local or foreign. Lately po, no? Uh, after Lately. Po. Pero nung una, nung una, yung mga local daw nire-require. lahat po ng suppliers lately recently po no, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, testing dahil nga sabi said unavailability po ng mga testing center okay so ngayon ginagawa na mabuti Opo. naman oh, and then uh, uh, ano pa lang How do you call it? Ilan kayo ang uh, hindi ni ng mga empleyado? Your Honor, kasi as far as inspection is in concern, those involved, dalawa po kami hindi na rin. So, sa dami. Anong balita? Ba't daw hindi kayo ni-renew after 31 years? Uh, Nakata kayo? Uh, maaring ano po, maaring isolated, ano po yan. Po. Isolated? Sabi mo marami. Marami ang tinanggal. Opo. Tinanggal. So we yes, but precisely. But you confirm. Uh, the can, can we check with you, Sek? Uh, I'm here. Ilan ang tinanggal? O oh, Mr. Uwayan, you are now Uwayan, uh, your honor. How many, how many of the were removed? Uh, Mr. Uh, for the inspection division, it was only two. And for the procurement group, Uh, one. No, how many sa buong DBMPS ang hindi ni rin yung? The uh, designation, Mr. Chairman, I cannot answer that. I think there were for yes, last year. You were in the DBMPS even before you became OIC, di ba? So, uh, alam Yes. Uh, there were some personnel who were... No, I want the number. How many? I, I do not know the exact number, Mr. Chairman. Can you, can you check your records? Because uh, the OIC... I, I am saying, Mr. Chairman, that uh, I will have to check with our HR first for the exact yes. number of personnel and... Yes, I okay. the, Then you want the said personnel po. I will submit it to the Senate. Yes. Well, you know, for ako, I am I am surprised. Somebody like Mr. Mendoza who uh, excuse me, I'm not yet done. Okay. Uh, and no, uh, we're not renewed because you know we're we're in I want to know if this is Keep it under wraps. Remove people who might know something. I don't know. No. Uh, I, I, I know how many. No. Uh, I,
anyway, let's just have the number. Uh, uh, how many of all the contractuals were removed uh, in the last uh, year and a half? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, we will submit it to the Senate. Part. Okay, and one more quick question, sir. FDA, because I'm I'm getting different. It was uh, placed on record. It's in the transcripts that the family did not have. When did the LTO for was it issued? Uh, it, we have the pharmaceutical corporation as a medical device importer. It was on March 24, 2020, Mr. Chairman. Uh, why is it on your website that it says January 2021? drugs, no, as an yes. importer drugs, yes. and then they applied for another LTO for as an importer of medical devices. I know, but the medical devices issued January 2021. Yes, it's not contested that they had the, the LTO to import drugs in 2020. That's why the question is, did they have an LTO to import medical devices in 2020? Your own uh, website doesn't say it. So what is it? Did they have uh, the LTO to import medical devices in 2020? Or did they have a medical uh, LTO to import drugs in 2020? 13, 2020, they had an LTO to import drugs. And then on March 24, they had an LTO to import devices. So they have two separate LTOs, Mr. Chair. Well, you have to clarify that. I don't know. And that, uh, uh, in your website saying that they, they got reissue one, that reissue one says were other were other companies or uh, devices. Pero wala doon ng ano, wala doon ng Pharmaly. Kasi namin yun yung latest renewal niya for 2021. So no, yes, but your 2020 website, your reissuances of the reissuance of medical devices, uh, there are several companies, but Parmali wasn't there. Your LTO, uh, which we sent to Senate uh, yun po yung sa records namin, the original was March 2020, and then they renewed in 2021. That is not what the uh, documents say. We will send you the documents. We want you to clarify. their 2020 reissuances because they were all once it was an initial uh, LTO in 2020 it was not a reissued LTO okay but it's also okay so so previous yeah so when you look at the uh, when you look at the website 
it only reflects the latest uh, reissue ones. So yung po mga na, na natabunan. Uh, but we do have the records in the our yes. center for uh, medical devices and we will send it to you. Yes, because uh, again, that needs to be clarified. So I can call the next uh, round. It was man earlier uh, mentioned by uh, in the House of Representatives, uh, Chairman Aguinaldo said that he might be able to uh, he, during the House hearing on the COA budget, uh, they mentioned COA transactions and that uh, he may need a month to do this uh, is that right just to confirm that because uh, we'd like to know what's the status and uh, the request from uh, congressman rufus rodriguez was asking us to take a <clears throat> look at Parmalee. I had informed him that uh, when the audit was done, what they looked for is whether the documentation for the uh, purchase and the um, and the deliveries, you know, the disbursement and the deliveries uh, are compliant with what is required under the law. Um, however, they don't go that deep into looking at qualifications of the bidders and the like um unless there is a trigger that uh, leads the auditor to suspect oh baka there's something here so they might look further now in this case because of uh, some of the findings that have come up during the hearings we've uh, you know um congressman rodriguez asked if we would take another look at it and i told him yes we would um our auditor should take a look at it um he was pressing me for a period so I said maybe one month is reasonable, but I can't really guarantee that Matatapos yun in okay. one month. As um, can be seen, there are a lot. To, there's a lot of information coming up from from uh, these hearings, no? and uh, that will also be some of the things they might uh, have to look at. Okay, so uh, we would appreciate it if that uh, report, when it's uh, completed, uh, that the Senate Committee uh, and the Senate parties. Uh, I will just have my questions for the next round, uh, Mr. Uh, as already stated previously, and this is not, uh, I allow uh, our fellows, including representation as chair, to pursue certain points so that we can complete the story, complete the narrative. And uh, right now, we'd like to call Senator Pakel, if he's around. Senator Pakel? Senator Pacquiao. Last call, Senator Pacquiao, are you there? Well, with the permission of everyone, I'll call Senator Marcos. In. Thank you very much, and I'm happy, uh, Mr. Chairman, to cede the floor to uh, Senator Pacquiao as soon as he gets in. I have a few questions regarding the financial uh, documentation provided by Farmily and many of our national uh, agencies, um, excluding the uh, contracts discovered additionally by both Senators Drillon and uh, Laxon. What we have on record uh, in the COA reports is that uh, Farmily was awarded contracts amounting to 9.06 billion from April to June 2020. However, the ITR provided shows that only 7.485 billion in sales was declared. There seems to be an under declaration of uh, 2 billion. Of course, there are some sales as mentioned earlier to other companies, Watson's, PH Pharmacare, G and Power, for about 29 million. So a portion was declared as sales to private sector. But my question to Farmally is, why wasn't the full amount of 9 billion 
the full amount of all the contracts awarded, why did you not declare the entire amount? And anyone from Farmally can uh, answer this because this is uh, merely in your ITR. Uh, hi, um, Mr. Chairman. Um, allow me to speak on behalf of Farmally and answer this question in particular. Um, as the treasurer, I believe that um, this was the report of our accountant, which I wish to disclose that um, from the start, although I may be the treasurer of the company, um, we have hired the services of a professional accounting firm. Uh, Who was your and, contract that under declared to the tune of two billion? Um, then? Um, um, Madam, um, Mr. Chairman, I would like to emphasize that I don't think there was any under declaration. Um, but it's at very that time, clear. It's at very that clear. Time, the records of both COA and DBS, DBMPS, say nine point zero six billion. But your ITR is far less. Yes, How could Madam, that happen? Um, Madam Senator, Mr. Chair. Um, the explanation of our accountant at that time was um, our contract um, from government was amounting maybe at that time as 9.06, as you've mentioned, but our, deliver our deliveries to the government for the fiscal year of 2020 only amounted to the 7.45 billion that was declared. And Mr. the remaining- Mr. Gargani, we're getting into deeper trouble here. You under declared and then under delivered. This is no, getting worse. worse. Um, no, Madam uh, Senator. Um, based on the contract that we had um, with PSDBM, there are some delivery dates that are scheduled for the following fiscal year. So, um, January or February of 2021. So, this is over a year ago. This is over a year ago. The last contract that I mentioned occurred in June of 2020. We are not talking about contracts this year or later last year. These are contracts that should have been delivered um, by the third quarter latest of uh, last year. So how could it be that they were not yet delivered? Um, um, Madam, uh, Madam Senator, um, we received um, a letter, um, I believe, saying that we should also postpone our deliveries. So, no deliveries. I thought we we're in the middle of a pandemic, and uh, this is the reason why we had emergency negotiated bidding. Um, I cannot answer that question, Madam Chair. Maybe we could relate to you to them. postpone deliveries, Mr. Gargani. Who ordered you to postpone the deliveries when we were all desperate for face masks and uh, testing kits? I believe, Madam Chair, I'm um, sorry, Madam Senator, um, at that time that you were delivering, you were not delivering the, um, face masks or PPEs. Um, the one that was pushed back was the BGI test kits. We did not want test kits last year in June. Um, I remind you, Mr. Gargani, this was a very, very troublesome period for all of us. And certainly we were desperate for test kits at that point in time. I understand, Madam Senator, if it was on our company's um, say, we would want it to fi finish and fulfill the deliveries um, right away. Ordered you to deliver. Who ordered you to postpone? Um, I believe we received a letter. Um, I just have to check the records. As mentioned, I'm not in the Philippines right now, but okay. I will ask my team to check on the records as to who um, gave that advice for the delivery to be postponed, and we will submit it to the Honorable Committee for your review. The letter, but as far just, as you remember, Mr. Dargani, the letter came from whom? Um, Madam Chair, it was really from PSDBM. Uh, I'm not sure who signed. Who from signed, DBM? Uh, yes, ma'am, from PSDBM. I'm just not sure as to who really what signed. What was the reason they wanted the deliveries postponed, given that everything else was so rushed? Uh, I really don't know what was the, the reason, Madam Chair. Um, my apologies that I cannot answer that question right now. Okay, so this is the issue, Mr. Chairman. We are unable to tally the amounts. Uh, declared in the ITR versus the total amount of awarded contracts 
It's a whopping two billion. This is no small uh, amount and really needs to be explained, although Mr. Dargani is saying that they got an order of uh, postponement of deliveries and hence were unable to postpone deliveries. Um, okay, let's move to another confusion. Ma Madam, Ma yes. Madam, Senator, if I may also add, um, I would just like to also disclose that um, we are also being audited right now by the BIR and we are fully cooperating with them also on this matter. I just wanted to add that as well. Thank you. Yes, I think uh, uh, this question will necessarily arise and the BIR um, will have to uh, discover how exactly this came about. Otherwise, the Filipino people would have been cheated of a large amount of money. I think uh, the other question arises from the document submitted to my chairman from the Bureau of Customs. Um, based on the records, the total dutiable value, including the invoice value, freight insurance of farmers, importations of PPE, test kit, etc., from May to September last year, amounted to 37.4 million. Napakaliit naman yata ng 37.4 million. Yun lang ang dineklara from May 2020 until this year. However, it's very clear that the PSDBM contracts to Farmali amounted to 10 billion April to June of uh, this year as well. So it would appear that Farmali earned most of its income from government contracts in 2020. Declared cost of sales amounted to 7.92 billion, even if it's understated. Can you explain this humongous discrepancy between the dutiable value at uh, 37.4 million per record of customs versus the cost of the sales declared in your RTR versus the records of awarded contracts in the PSDDM. Iba iba yung numero eh, kaya nahihilo kami eh. Anybody from Carmeli, can you explain why the dutiable amount was only 37.4 million? Shadow um, naman yata kayong siniswerte. Um, Madam uh, Senator, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, I think no one from our team right now can answer, but we will um, get to the bottom of this with our customs broker as they are the ones in charge of this. And we will again reply and response to the committee once we've heard from them. Mr. Chairman, with the indulgence of Sen Aimi. Uh, Senator Andreas. Thank yes, you. Uh, Senator Risa, and perhaps Mr. Chairman, if uh, yes. there is a representative from the BOC, they can also explain. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Sen Aimi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a quick follow up to or in addition to what Sen Aimi is asking. I think Mr. Dargani can uh, can afford to be more coming for more forthcoming, Mr. Chairman, uh, because uh, he's the one whose name appears on some of the customs documents. That's correct. So if we ask who among uh, as Sen Aimi is pointing out, if we ask who among the formerly uh, executives was in charge of making sure their shipments got to customs. Uh, at least some of the time, it was Mr. Dargani, as the documents show. So perhaps he can um, be more responsive to the question of Sen Aimi, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Sen Aimi. Yes, Mr. Dargani, or uh, perhaps somebody from customs. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, from the Bureau of Customs, uh, Madam Senator. Yes, Senator Jagger. Yes, please. Madam, Mr. Chairman, I'm Assistant Commissioner Magnilia. Uh, okay. I was just attending a meeting with the Anti Money Laundering Council. At any rate, Mr. Chairman, uh, our records uh, show that uh, formally only started their importation uh, on May uh, 27, 2020. Um, and they had a total of uh, 
71 entries for 2020. 71 yeah. what? Uh, import entries, Madam uh, Mr. Chairman. I see. 71 entries for 2020. Uh, some of which they paid uh, duties and taxes uh, because they were not able to secure uh, an application form for a tax exempt certificate from the Department of Finance um, claiming exemption under the Bayanihan law. Uh, for 2021, um, is this, is this amount correct that the dutiable value? Was only 37.4 million for all these billions upon billions of uh, PPEs and other medical supplies? Nang galing po sa inyo yung 37.4 million, yung hiningi ng aking chairman at ng buong komite. Uh, Madam Chair, if. I'll, I'll check with that particular figure and up to one time that particular uh, payment was actually uh, declared, declared value was actually made. But as far as our records up to July, August 2021, the total duties and taxes paid by Farmani amounts to 145,425,762.65. If that was the total uh, duties and taxes paid from May to August 2000, May 2020 to August 2021, the duty value. Um, Mr. Chair might have been a little bit uh, bigger than 37 million. At, at any rate, um, Madam Senator, let me verify that uh, particular figure and uh, get back to uh, the committee. Yes, thank you very much. I have no doubt, Mr. Chairman, that uh, a lot of the confusion derives from the fact that they uh, obtained supplies from local importers who had ahead of time already stocked up in their warehouses, such as Brother Tiger and so on. So it's important that we really establish the paper trail here. And uh, as uh, the customs has already assured us, they will provide more details. May I ask the PSDBM regarding the latest contract awarded to Farmali on the 29th of June, 2021, of uh, 26,970 RT-PCR BGI real-time uh, at the unit cost of 37,450 pesos. The uh, amount of the contract was 1.01 billion. That is the uh, contract that I referred to previously as the latest contract of Parmali. Um, I would simply like to know um, have you been able to deliver all these test kits under your latest contract? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, the latest uh, procurement for the BJ test kit is scheduled for delivery, Papa. How many were delivered since June? Wala pa? Uh, last time I checked, Mr. Chairman, uh, there was a request from Farmani that the uh delivery of the test kits okay. would be extended so we are to assume that from june 29 till today september 13 there has been zero delivery on contract the uh, reason i ask is also because when i match this to the documents from customs after the contract was awarded formally only imported 19,500 test kits Where's the difference here of 7,400 test kits? Where was Farmali intending to derive this uh, balance? Ang laki ng kulang eh. So I'm wondering, saan na naman manggagaling? May iba pang brother tiger ulit? Uh, Mr. Chairman, the BGI test kit is uh, brand specific po yan. So uh, Farmali is one of the Authorized distributors. Yes, here I think. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, perhaps somebody from Farmali would be better able to answer. We don't need uh, the PSDBM or the national government attorneying or lawyering for private corporations. Uh, um, Madam Chair, uh, Madam um, Mr. Chairman, Madam Senator, uh, I believe our um, latest contract with PSDBM that you have mentioned has been fully delivered as of last September 7. But PSDBM just said that there's been zero delivery. 
and you cannot deliver because you don't have supply. You did not import according to customs. Um, based on our record, we did import and we have the um, papers to provide to the committee. Yes, um, maybe we need to go back to the OIC of PSTDM, Attorney Uwayan. You said that there's been zero delivery. And now uh, formally is saying they are 100% delivered. Where lies the truth, gentlemen? Mr. Chairman, uh, there are two VGI test kits uh, awarded in, for this year. I can only recall so that- There was uh, only, unless you split contract, uh, Attorney Uwaya, there's nearly one contract bidded out. It's 101 billion. That's no, all. No, Mr. Chairman, uh, there are okay. two. There are okay. two contracts. Uh, All right. This was based on the APR submitted by DOH, indicating that the test kit be specified as PGI, as they badly needed it. So okay. for the latest... What are the contracts and what are their dates for what values? Uh, the first contract for BGI was on June 2, 2021. Yes, how much? 17,000 test kits at a unit cost of 45,550. Okay. The second contract is on June 30, 2021, with a quantity of 26,970 at a unit price of 37,450. Okay, so in fact, there's, you're referring to an earlier contract even, June 2. And I'm only referring to the later one awarded on the 29th, presumably recorded on the 30th. We have the same figure of 26,970. So which one was fully delivered and which had zero delivery? The first contract, at a unit cost of 45,550, there is a partial delivery of 9,000 plus. Yes, okay, the second one. Uh, it was not yet completed the first one and the second one, there's still no delivery yet, Mr. Chairman. So Mr. Gargani, please. Uh, you heard Attorney Uwayan, perhaps you can explain to us the confusion regarding deliveries because there has already been mention of ghost deliveries. Um, um, Madam Chair, as mentioned, I can, um, we, the company can submit to the committee's proof of our deliveries um, to the PSDBM. We shall comply with it um, ASAP. After the okay. discrepancy, I really have no answer to that. I'm really sorry. Okay, Mr. Chairman, uh, that being the case, we shall await the further uh, um, the, the, the further submission of uh, Farmali. Perhaps uh, just one quick question to round up uh, Yusek Lau, please, or former Yusek Lau, if you're around. Again, uh, a level of confusion regarding documentation. Mr. Yes, Yusek Lau. I see you, thank you. You mentioned during, uh, I think, two hearings ago that the increase in your net worth was due to the sale of uh, certain memorial lots and certain income from the business of yourself and your wife. This yes, business, sir. um, did you set up a corporation for this business selling memorial lots? No, the memorial lots is personal, Mr. Chairman. Um, okay, that's... if that was personal and uh, there was no corporation uh, uh, involved, your income tax return with the BIR show that you did not declare any income, zero income from 2017 to 2019. Can you please explain why you mentioned you had earned income from the sale of memorial lots, yet no income was reported in the tax return? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um... Uh, I'm a little bit befuddled by this because even as an employee of the government, if you have uh, various or mixed income sources, 
as you well know, you still have to file your own tax return and the compute income on an aggregated basis. Yeah, Bakit just... zero yung income, pero nagka-increase ng uh, net worth? Uh, Mr. Chairman. Ano ba talaga yung totoo dyan? Um, it, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. One, the memorial lots that uh, we have been we have sold um, is being sold by my wife one at a time. Kasi tag ano lang yan, um, when we had it, I think the assessed value during that time is 40000 Selling it was around 80000 to 100000 per lot. Uh, my wife did not declare it anymore, uh, so it's not included in our ITR. Um, my ITR that declares no income is based on my practice. I have divested myself with the practice sa law office ko, so no income yon. Yung mga personal assets kasi, my wife is the one disposing it. And wala po kasi ano yan, only certificate of ownership so, ng mga lots. Then, but the we other... are one where, uh, you say, Cloud, that we all have to submit our sal and and uh, yes. you are supposed to aggregate all sources of income and declare them. In your case, there's an increase and yet there's no income. So, oh. to what do I... Uh, uh blame this upon um because we, it's uh, really inconsistent mr chairman um, yes please i think aside from the memorial lots um uh, we also sold two of my um, lots i think in 2011 a property um sa Kabantian, it's a house and lot which i acquired i think um 10 years ago at 300,000. um uh, i sold it at 3.5 million then I also sold a um, golf course property that I acquired at 2014, which when the golf course actually started to operate, I sold it at 2.5 million. So that is basically the source of the increase, plus my um, annual salary. That's the basis of my computation. In fact, you memorial that hindi ko na incorporate yun as part of the increase in assets because my wife is the one selling it one at a time and it's very for us very minimal kasi yung yes I, mean, I understand the capital I, gains tax of course yes, but, yes we were just very very confused because certainly the proceeds of a sale are some kind of an income or some kind of revenue and that yes. and yet zero was reported in your tax return perhaps you can provide us better uh, better uh, records than what are uh, available at present uh, Mr. Chairman, we don't declare it's a ITR because it's not part of my um, profession or neither in my uh, work as a real estate business. It's more okay. of a capital. My capital gains tax po yan, bayad po sa BLR. So, um, hindi po namin din declare yan as part of the ITR because it's not part of our regular business. Um, the yes, regular us. business are the two other businesses in my, in my salento. Yes, Mr. Chairman, perhaps we can request from former USEC Cloud uh, more candor and a more complete report, given that the BIR has requested an executive session and other strictures. Um, just as a matter of curiosity, the uh, Immigration Department issued the certification that you traveled to Taiwan November 4, 2019, stayed there for four days, and this was two months before you were appointed uh, under secretary of PSDBM. Just out of sheer curiosity, what was the nature and purpose of the trip to Taiwan? So perfectly timed to the incorporation of family as well as the importation of uh, so many different items. Uh, I'll check Mr. Chairman, but I think I did not travel to Taiwan. I will just check Mr. Chairman. It's an immigration uh, document that I have in hand. By Lloyd Christopher Lau or Christopher Lau? I see, I see. You, th you think there should have been a mistaken identity? No, because uh, I am being referred to as Christopher Lau, but I am Lloyd Christopher Lau. Kasi, kaya dumatag Taiwan? Kailan? Ah, yes. I, we went to Taiwan for four okay. days. Yes, that is accurate, Mr. That's me. Yes, that's me. I apologize. I yes, I think it was you because the passport was also indicated in yeah. the uh, certification that by the BID. Yes, yes, that's me, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we went there for a vacation for this. Okay. 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 Ok
Um, you were at the time with the HLURB? Uh, yes, this is November of 2019. Uh, it's November 2019. I'm already with, with DBM, Mr. Chair. You're already with PS DBM? No, oh, with DBM only, not PS. You were a USEC, but not yet the OIC with PS. Yes, Mr. Chair. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct, Mr. Chair. Were there other government officials and employees with you? No, it's my wife and my friends who went with me, Mr. Chair. I none of your none of your friends were actually uh uh government employees like none yourself at the time mr chairman none of my friends are government employees i think my my sister went with me she's an american national no? yeah my sister went with me. my half sister went with me i have that's the reason we, we went to taiwan is i think was to meet her was was to meet her because she is flying to the Philippines to meet our mother because my mother is used to be uh, is an American citizen, a Filipino American citizen. But neither did you. Neither did you meet any of the personalities that uh, have been uh, present at this hearing or uh, previously. None, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we can provide you the hotel where we stay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. I think Senator Pacquiao is here, and by right, it's his turn. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Thank you very much, Senator Amy. Good before question, that, uh, Mr. Chairman. Senator Pacquiao is recognized. Before, before Senator Pacquiao, Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind. Yes, I will, Lord, sir. I will uh, convene the session at 3.30. Thank you, sir. Thank you yeah, very much. After, uh, 45 minutes. Uh, Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Go ahead. Very gracious of you. Thank you, uh, Senator Pacquiao. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In this time of pandemic, uh, we need to maximize our resources for the welfare of our people, if not for the benefit of the poor. I came across a new word, pandemic, blunder in the time of pandemic. Mr. Chairman, pandemic, which is stealing money intended to save lives in the biggest, is the biggest crime against humanity. Kung nangyayari ito sa ating bansa, masaklap ito para sa ating mga kababayan at hindi natin ito dapat hinayaan. Saludo ako sa Commission on Audit dahil sa ginag ginagampanan nila ang kanilang tungkulin kahit pa may mga pananakot. They are performing their mandate and they are doing the right thing. Narapat lamang na isiniswalat nila ang kanilang mga audit finding dahil karapatan ng bawat Pilipino na malaman ang katotohanan. Corruption is systemic. It is, has been our problem since time immemorial. But does not mean we should just accept it and not do anything about it. We will accept the persistence of corruption, Mr. Chairman, because we can do something about it. May magagawa tayo. Ang investigation ng Blue Ribbon Committee ay isa sa mga mahalagang paraan para masigurado ang checks and balances sa ating pamalaan. Hindi tayo magbubulag-bulagan at mananahimik na lamang dahil sa takot. Hindi tayo natin hayaan ang mga kawatan dyan sa gobyerno ng Mr. Sherman na patuloy magnakaw sa kaban ng bayan. At ang pangarap natin, Mr. Chairman, na makita sa kulungan ang mga kawatan dyan sa gobyerno. Mabigyan ng mustisya ang ating mga kababayan. Marami tayong mga kababayan na gugutom ngayon, nahihirapan sa buhay, lalo na itong pandemic na ito. Bago ako magtanong uh, sa ating uh, mga resource person, Mr. Chairman, nais ko lang pasalamatan itong pagkandak ng hearing na ito. At hindi lang ito sa DOH, kundi sa iba't ibang ahinsa pa ng ating gobyerno. Maraming salamat, Mr. Chairman. And to uh, Secretary Doke, gusto ko lang magtanong kay Secretary Doke. Uh, uh, the Honorable Senator Pacquiao, good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Secretary. Sa investigasyon ngayon, uh, 
Mr. Secretary, wala nang in in inumpisahan itong investigation na ito sa about corruption. Sa dami ng mga tanong na na narinig ninyo, nire-raise up dito sa, sa investigation na ito. Maraming mga sagot, tanong, narinig ninyo. Sa tingin niyo po ba, ano po sa tingin niyo may corruption o wala? Doon po sa hanay o sa panig ng uh, Department of Health ay uh, katulad ng uh, sinabi ng uh, chairman ng uh, Commission on Audit, yung kanilang audit findings, wala naman pong uh, nakalagay doon that money was lost to corruption. So yun lang po. Salamat po. Salamat uh, Mr. Secretary. No? Gusto ko lang dinawin kasi hindi naman kita pinagluntahan. Maaring hindi mo alam yung nangyari sa, sa yung ahensya kasi napakalaking uh, ahensya na yan na pinamumunuan mo at hindi mo uh, maaaring hindi mo alam lahat ng mga galaw ng mga mga nasasakupan mo. Pero kaya ko lang sinasabi yan dahil talagang maraming nagaganap na kababalaghan sa ating gobyerno at hindi natin pababayaan yan. At nais ko nga, ang sekretary, alam ko, ayaw mo rin ang korupsyon, eh, magtulungan tayo para sumpuin at parusahan. Ang nais lang naman natin is maparusahan yung mga kawatan sa, sa gobyerno, Mr. Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Secretary. Gusto natin maparusahan yung mga nagsasamantala dyan, lalong-lalo na itong uh, panahon ng pandemya. Maraming Maraming nagugutom, maraming nahihirapan na pamilya na umaasa sa ating gobyerno. Yan po, kailangan po natin ipakita na tayo ay deserving na sa posisyon natin. Kahit sino man, sekretary ka o mother secretary o magmasinador ka o magkongresman ka, basta ang taong bayan sa panahon ngayon umaasa sa atin. Nagugutom at nahihirapan sila. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And my next question is to uh, Christopher Lloyd Lau. Si Christopher Lloyd Lau. Mr. Lau, you're being asked a question. Can you please respond? I, I apologize, Mr. Chair. I went to the restroom. I really apologize. All Thank right. You. Senator Bacal? Uh, ano bang tawag ka sa'yo? Christopher or Lloyd? Lloyd. Or? Lloyd now. Attorney lang? Yes. Attorney na lang? Yes, Mr. Chair. Attorney, katulad nung sinti na kay uh, Secretary Doke, Ilang araw na tayo nag-investiga dito, narinig natin yung uh, lahat ng mga statement ng, uh, statements ng uh, uh, paliwanag ng mga resource persons, ka kabilang ka. Lahat ng mga tanong, nakita natin yung minsan nasasagot ng maayos, minsan hindi. Tanong ko lang sa'yo, may corruption ba sa ating gobyerno o wala? Wala po, Mr. Chairman. We do our best to do what is good for the country. Ang next question ko is, uh, bakit nahihirapan sagutin o paiba-iba yung mga sagot ng mga katanungan namin? Um, one, um, if we are asked questions and you're given leeway to answer, we can answer appropriately. Now, as to inconsistencies of answers between different agencies and different persons, mahirap po yun kasi hindi naman namin alam ang sagot nila kasi magkaiba na ako kami ng mga stand. Um, PSDBM is in charge of procuring only. So our focus only is our finance. Si FDA, iba din po ang instruction sa kanila based on their mandate. Si DOH, iba din po. Yung suppliers din po, iba-iba din po. Marami po silang na sabi na ngayon. Iba-iba po ang condition nila and status. They have their own reasons how they will able to um, deliver, how they were able to source their funds, but all of those are different perspective based on their own 
um, office. So, hindi po namin kaya sagutin kung if people think na may inconsistency, wala po kami magawa. But in our office, we are open naman. In fact, we have submitted our documents to the uh, Blue Ribbon Committee. There was a time when the Blue Ribbon Committee asked for documents na hindi kami nakarelease kasi pending yung bidding. Uh, but afterwards, pag, pag, pag complete na bidding, we are already legally bound. We, we, we comply because we are open. Uh, ano lang po, sometimes when you ask, bakit medyo kinakabahan kami, kahit saan po kakabahan ka kasi um, we, we are just people and we get emotional sometimes, di ba? And we want to help, but when there is insinuations din about our in, uh, our purpose, masakit din po kasi lahat ay nasasaktan because we, be, we understand the Senate is very cautious on how the funds are spent. But we, we on PSDBF are also cautious on that. We also made measures like hindi kami nagbayad in advance, yung sa mga local suppliers later on. We, we, we did our thank, part. Thank you, uh, thank you, Attorney. Uh, thank you, sir. You, you have to understand na uh, uh, we investigate in age of legislation lahat ng paraan, lahat ng tanong pwede namin itanong sa inyo as a resource person para mabuo namin yung uh, uh, investigation namin. So, kalimbawa, may isang transaction kung wala namang kababalaghan, wala namang corruption, mas madaling ipaliwanag. Halimbawa, pera mo, binili mo doon, binili mo ng product, Mag ilan yung binili mo, ilan yung magkano yung pera mo, saan mo kinuha yung pera mo, sinong bumili. Madali naman masasagot yun eh. Pero yung papagobago yung mga statement, eh, siyempre, bakit? Iba-iba yung statement, papagobago sa nahihirapan. So doon lang kami uh, nagtataka dahil kung talagang legal yan, at, I mean, kung ma maayos ang pagtransak ng uh, ng uh, pag-purchase, pag-procure ng mga uh, PPEs na yan, lahat ng mga ginagamit sa pandemya na ito, eh, madaling sagutin. Di ba? Uh, ganun, ganun yung ano namin. Ang inahanap natin dito, yung katotohanan para maipaliwanag natin sa taong bayan yung nag kung may may talagang corruption parusahan yung walang kung uh, wala namang corruption ni ipaliwanag ng gusto tama ta tama tama torne tama tama po tama. Yan, yan ang ginagawa natin dito yes. na na kasi maraming nagrereklamo maraming maraming uh, nagbibigay ng mga ebidensya na may overpricing like that so it kaya ginagawa natin itong investigation na to yan dahil yan yung trabaho namin we understand, Mr. Chairman. So, now ay lahat ng mga resource person, hindi kayo, hindi sumama ang lobby nyo dahil mahal, namin, mahal natin yung bayan natin, mahal natin yung mga tao na pinuprotektahan natin yung kapakanan ng, uh, ng bansa natin, kapakanan ng isang bayan ng Pilipino. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's why we are also Maraming doing to participate, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all, Mr. Chairman. Um, Tatanong na ulit ako pagka sunod na round. Susunod. Ayun dahil nasa. Senator Poe is next, but if Senator Poe is not there, I'll, I'll call Senator Antiveros. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and following the example of Sen Aimi earlier, if Sen Grace uh, should come back before I'm done, I'd uh, be glad to um, see the floor to her also, Mr. Chairman. So, Mr. Chairman, unang mga tanong ko po sana para kay Mr. Michael Young. Is he already present in the hearing, Mr. Chairman? I'm afraid that, but uh, let me confirm what, uh, the, uh, what his lawyer has to say. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, yes, Mr. Mr. Michael Young, Your Honor, has been instructed, uh, directed by his doctor to remain on bed rest for five days due to hypertensive urgency. Uh, his physician is named Jenny A. Addoon, a doctor here in Davao City, Your Honor. I can send you uh, his medical certificate right now, duly signed by the doctor. 
Well, so, with apologies to Senator Lisa here. So, Mr. Chairman, uh, Attorney Fortune, does this mean, Mr. Chairman, that we will be able to directly question Mr. Yang after five days? Medyo nasa gitna po siya ng cast of characters nito, Mr. Chairman, and inaasahan, I'm sure, nating lahat that he can help us uh, connect the dots because he seems to be a very important dot right in the middle of, middle of uh, this issue, Mr. Chairman. Um, if I may be allowed to respond, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Madam Senator, good afternoon po. Um, the doctor merely said that he should go to his bed rest. But if the Honorable Commission, uh, Blue Ribbon Committee would set a hearing within the five-day period, then I will uh, instruct the young, if he is well enough, to, of course, to appear because he has been very cooperative during this entire time. He would be willing to answer the questions of the Honorable Commission. Mr. Chair. Uh, just to say that we subpoenaed him twice and he didn't show up until we issued the warrant of arrest. But nonetheless, if he's sick, well, he's sick, all right? But uh, he cannot be sick forever. Uh, and what I yeah. want to caution the, uh, the Mr. Young, to his lawyer, is that his name has been mentioned here several times. And uh, it will remain on the record. If he doesn't show up, then we are free to make our decisions. Yes, Mr. Chen. Okay, thank Mr. you. Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, oh. Yes. Is uh, it Mr. my turn already, or is it yes, Mr. Chairman? I will cede the floor now to Sen Grace because uh, she's back already. If I may, Mr. Chairman, Sen Grace, just uh, one last question at this point before I I um, see the floor. May hold departure order na po ba, Mr. Chairman, para kay Mr. Michael Yang? No, uh, the hold departure order is issued by the court, and uh, we will have to discuss that uh, at the proper time, and. Um, uh, in consultation with the other um, senators. Um, I have no qualms about issuing that, yeah, or requesting the court to do that, uh, because this is a very, very uh, iconic hearing, if you will. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yeah, just, just on that point, uh, Mr. Chairman, may we then suggest that we request the Bureau of Immigration through the Department of Justice to issue a watch order uh, this is uh, resorted to uh, so that if a uh, uh, witness would try to leave, uh, we will be, this is the Blue River Committee, will be notified immediately. So that's what they call the watch list uh, in the Department of Justice. I'm aware of that, uh, and uh, we were prepared to do that uh, the last time it was uh, not appearing and uh, making sure that uh, we get it done. But I was just asking, uh, Sen uh, um, Director General Rudy, uh, whether he has already issued that watch request for a watch uh, uh, order on Mr. Young. Uh, Rudy? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, Your Honor. Yes, yes, we have written to the uh, Bureau of Immigration through the DOJ, yes, requesting that a watch list or whatever list uh, is available within the powers of the BI to exercise so far as Mr. Young is concerned. Yes, Your Honor. I remember we discussed that and what happened to that discussion? Did we send a letter eventually? Yes, sir. A letter has been sent, Your Honor. Yes, sir. I think I... Mr. Chairman, so and thank you. Are happening. I don't remember if I signed it, but anyway. Yes, uh, Senator Pangilinan, uh, before Senator Grace, uh, go ahead. Yes. With the permission of uh, the Chair and Senator Grace, just very quickly, uh, the fact that... and that he is now... of our sergeant. There are assurances that he's going to show up. And uh, I hope I Thank can you, consider, Mr. I consider his lawyer as an honorable man. We're all lawyers <laughs> here. And, uh, however, uh, the letter has been sent and uh, let's wait for the immigration uh, to do what uh, the Senate has bidden them to do. Your thank Honor. you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for the advice of Sen Frank. And I see the floor now to Sen Grace. Salamat po, Mr. Chairman. Your Honor, before before you proceed, Your Honor, may I uh, issue an apology 
we sent a letter about Mr. Lau, but not about Mr. Yang yet. My apologies for the wrong information uh, given to the committee. And yes, we will do that immediately, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Well done. Mr. Chairman, should I make a motion uh, of uh, what uh, Senator Frank, the minority leaders, advised? Or well, if it's no longer you, necessary? Uh, well, we're already doing it, but it would be nice if you formalize that motion. Then I, I, I do so, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, to move that uh, the committee, through the chairman, uh, as advised by the minority leader, request the Department of Justice to issue the uh, is it a watch list order? Did I hear that correctly, Mr. Chairman? Watch yes, Mr. Request. Chairman. Uh, he be a watch list uh, request, uh, rather, Mr. Chairman. I so move, Mr. Chairman, for Mr. Michael Young. Uh, no, the is seconding it. I can see that. And no objections. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. We're going to issue that uh, request for a watch uh, uh, order. Thank you. Salamat po. I see the floor now, Mr. Chairman. Salamat po. Senator Grace? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, actually, I would like to stress the following, that we are only dealing with the tip of the iceberg. This is 67 billion in um, deficiencies that the DOH has found by the COA, 42 billion of which was transferred to the procurement service, and 8.7 billion was given to Farmally. Now, we've been discussing, marami na tayong pinag-usapan dito. Nice kong balikan, Mr. Chairman, sino ba sa DBM, sa PSDBM, ang nagbigay ng ang nagdesisyon sa pagbigay ng kontrata sa Farmally. Uh, gusto ko lang liwanagin kasi may mong sinasabi dati si Ms. si Attorney Lau na hindi naman siya talaga. No? Pero sino ba yung mga bumubuo nitong komite na to na nag a nun? Should, um, should an award, right? Um, would you please answer? Confirming that you issued the award? Uh, to uh, Parvati? Who, who would it be, Mr. Chairman? Mr. Lau. So it was Mr. Lau. He's the head of the procurement, uh, the procurement service. Yes, I'm asking a question whether I, said uh, okay. I know that uh, he is the one who uh, made the award. Yes, the notice so of Mr. Award. Lau, was it you who made I, the decision, sir? I signed the notice of award, Mr. Chairman. Uh, could, could you speak a bit louder, sir? I signed the notice of award, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so if you signed it, who are the who are the members of the selection or screening committee? Or is it just you? No, no, there's a back committee. Uh, they do the market scanning. Uh, they do the renegotiation. Uh, so who, who are those again? Uh, I think there's a, it's an award committee. It's an awards committee. I think the the, the PSDBM can, can answer that, the records. So yes, I, I mean, there there should be individuals behind it, right? And they're the ones that recommend it to you. So who are those individuals? It, you know, the records, I think the records is with PSDBM. I don't have the records. I don't want to give names that I am not sure if it's accurate, Madam Chairman. I have, so I, who, who, has, who has a copy of the records? A PSDBM, po. PSDBM. So... Wayan, Wayan. So for, for an amount this big, uh, Attorney Lau, when it was presented to you, it was just for your release, just for your signature. Am I correct? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, but it is on series of transactions. It's not one one account, Mr. Chairman. Uh, okay. Will the Chair make an observation? Will you allow the Chair to make an observation? It's already said that he issued the notice of award. So it's his responsibility. It's on him. And therefore, he should be asked to explain that. So he cannot hide behind the Basin Awards Committee because he could have denied it because he's the head of the agency. Okay. Um, so my question is this. Obviously, you, you are uh, ultimately responsible for it. Bumabalik na naman tayo. Okay. Halimbawa, meron na lang mga price list na mga acceptable amount at uh, kayo ay tumalima doon at compliant. But the fact remains is, what, may mga ibang nag-bid ba? O ito lang, Kasi yung sinasabi natin na 625,000 pesos lang ang kanilang capitalization, pero nanalo pa rin sila, di ba? Samantalang yung EMS Components Assembly, uh, local na kumpanya, hindi naman natin binigyan ng pagkakataon na matugunan yung pangangailangan natin sa face mask. So, siguro babalikan kita Mr. Lau, bakit 
wala na bang iba na nakisali para makuha ang bid na ito for uh, that amount na 8.7 billion? Bakit? Bakit yung pinili ninyo, yung formally, na napakaliit ng kapitalisasyon? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll answer it point by point lang po, if I may be allowed. We start with the surgical face mask. Ang surgical face mask po, nung sa umpisa talaga, we bidded it, the first parties who participated in sending their RFQ request for quotation, kasi wala po talagang formal bidding during the time, dapat direct negotiation, but we still open it to the public. So uh, under Bayanihan 1, uh, we can do it expeditiously. So we sent notices na lang. Um, the first, I think one of the companies that offered to us was Blue Cross, I think 40 pesos. I'm not sure kung nabaliktad balita ng figure, 40 pesos per piece. Then we have Mac Tycoon at 28 pesos per piece. And I'm not sure if Unimasters uh, conglomerate also offered it at 28 pesos. It was, um, I think, Parmali who offered it at 27 pesos. Meron din si Phil Pharma at 27 pesos. Kasi hinahabol namin yung quantity demanded by the current situation. So kailangan namin habulin, I think, umaabot yung almost 5 to 10 million pieces. But yung pumupunta sa amin, like may pupunta, the first one, the first one talaga, uh, offered it at 16, 16 pesos. Pero limited lang, I think 50,000 pieces ng dala niya. So that's the only one we bought. Kasi kung anong meron sila, eh, that's what we bought kasi kulang na kulang eh. So later on, may, may dumating uh, si Phil Pharma, I think 27, 22. Lower pa din siya sa iba. Yung isa, iba kasi 40 pesos, 28. So... We bought it, everything that they had. I think 500,000. I'm not sure. 500,000 pieces. Then, Parmali came. Parmali offered it at, um, I think, 27 something then. So, we bought what we can. Then, later on, um, as we were able to grow our stock, uh, ano yan, mabilisan kasi yung benta niyan, ma'am. Uh, you can check our records sa PSDBM. Marami pong agencies ang bumili niyan. Ubus po lahat yung mga 27 pesos and 22 pesos. Pero nung na-close natin yung deal at 22 pesos kay Farmali, I think April, April 17 or 16, basta on that time, it's on hand, nakatago tayo, so nagdi-dispose tayo. Doon po dumating si, si EMS. EMS actually started talking to us as early as May kasi si DTI was encouraging people. So si EMS was already there in, in our presence. Sabi niya, sir, ready na kami. Paparating na yung equipment namin. The papers are uh, on the way and we have already facilitated our testing kasi may testing din sila. I, um, uh, I think Perry Ferrer was showing to me an, uh, a piece of cloth. Sabi niya sa akin, you need to understand Now we cannot go kasi sinasabi ko sa kanya, you have to give it to me at a very good price so I can close it and stop my problem with, with, with surgical mask. Sabi niya, you have to understand this piece of cloth I'm showing you this is very expensive. It's the melt blown, melt blown cloth that is inserted in the middle of a surgical mask. That is the only thing that that stops the virus and the bacteria from passing through because hindi siya tinahi, parang pinanon siya ng init, tapos nagmelt siya, Maka, makakadaan ng hangin, pero ang, ang, ang molecules ng virus and the bacteria cannot pass through. So sabi niya, this is very expensive. I have to import this. But you have to give me at a good price. Sabi ko, oh, what price are you willing to sell na hindi kayo malugi, na hindi tayo may ipit? Sabi niya, oh, ang going rate ngayon is mga 23 during that time, 24. Sabi niya, I'll give it at half the price at, at around 13.50. Kasali na yung taxes. Sabi ko, sige, how fast can you deliver? Sabi niya, give me two months to three months. I will deliver. Sabi ko, oh, how much is your capacity? Sabi niya, depende, anong capacity mo? Sabi ko, based on data, April and May, we usually consume around 5 million. 5 million. Sabi ko, minimum yun. 5 million from DOH and other agencies. Sabi niya, oh, sige, uh, give me a one-year contract, tapos I will provide. Uh, magkano kaya mo? Sabi niya, around 5 to 10 million a month. Sabi ko, sige, sige. Basta June, you have to deliver. Kasi pag hindi ka nag-deliver, patay ako. Then, mawala pa yung supply. So, he committed. So, when they committed, oh, sige, uh, the, the, the contract management team entered into a contract with him, process everything. Then, after that, we waited for his supply. Nagkaroon lang tayo ng problem kasi naubusan tayo around May, late May. So, nagka-problema tayo. May, may, 
may naghanap tayo ng buyer, a ah, supplier. So, naghanap kami ng supplier. EMS was not yet able to deliver. There's a new company who came to our office. I'm not sure what company. They offered it to us at um, less than 20 pesos, pero 600,000 pieces by I'm not sure. They delivered to us, which allowed us to, to extend our life. So, nakakasupply pa rin kami. Then, then on Jan June first week, EMS was able to deliver 1 million. Pero nagpadala sila ng letter to allow them to extend their delivery because hindi kaya ng production. Kasi nag-aano pa sila, nag-uumpisa pa sila during the time eh. So, sa amin, okay lang. Kasi kaya pa naman. So, 1 million ang deliver nila on the first first week of June. Then later on, in June 28, buwelo na sila. Padala sila ng, I think, 8. Average niya is 8.5 million. Then July 28, at the end of the month, nagpapadala sila ng 8.5 million pieces. Then I think August, nagpadala sila ng 8.5 million pieces pa rin. Then I think, I'm not sure kung September, nagpadala sila ulit. Pagka-October, nagkaroon kami ng concern because DOH already issued a price freeze, decreasing the price from 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 28 pesos na, na price ceiling to I think 9 pesos. So with that, na na nagtol um, Mr. Lau, hold, hold on. I, I, Excuse me, um, we don't have much time. Uh, well, I've been started. Um, I, I, Mr. Lau. Senator Grace, you are having difficulties with this microphone. Uh, with your permission, I'd like to be fair. Ask uh, Perry uh, for now, uh, Perer, who was uh, the party he's referring to. If that was an accurate representation of what happened, the way I understand it, they were willing to deliver, but they got held. Uh, with your permission, uh, would you like to ask Mr. Ferrer if that is true? Mr. Ferrer? Sure. Yes, to shed light, shed light on the, the Mr. Ferrer. Hi, um, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and your honors. Uh, thank you. Uh, from what I heard, uh, the majority. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, uh, sorry for okay. Chairman. Uh, wala internet. Yes, uh, 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 Mr. Ferrer is now being asked. Go ahead, Mr. Ferrer. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Uh, from what I was hearing, uh, the beginning of our face mask journey, we started producing in May and we started our delivery in June, uh, definitely. And with the support of all the other government agencies. In June, we were able to deliver 5.2 million as we were ramping up. Then in July, uh, our delivery in July was 2.1 million. In August, uh, 3.2 million and uh, another delivery in August of 8.5 and in September 2.1 million and in October 2 million. So uh, those are the delivery schedules that were given to us. By okay, the um, Mr. Ferrer, were you paid for all of those deliveries? I just want to make sure. Were you, were you paid for those? Yes, uh, uh, Your Honor, we were paid for the deliveries. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ferrer, uh, and also Attorney Lau. Uh, uh, Senator Ho, Mr. Ferrer, you were able to de de uh, deliver 25%, uh, but you were willing to deliver. Is that correct? The balance? Mr. Chairman, uh, yes, our production capacity was already at around 10 to 12 million, and there were some delays. Uh, that were requested from EMS on the deliveries. The delay was caused not by you, but by uh, PS uh, DBM. Is that what you're saying? Uh, that we were requested not to ship starting July, and as mentioned, we were only allowed to ship the quantities that I mentioned earlier. But you were ready to ship it, right? Is that what you're trying to say? That's correct, Mr. Chairman. So in other words, not through your own fault, but you were stopped and you ended up uh, being delayed and delayed until finally they told you uh, you can only deliver at 235. 
instead of the original 1350. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct, uh, Mr. Chairman. I also want to expound. We received the uh, cold notice in October around that time frame. And what did that signify? Uh, to hold all our shipments uh, starting that time. And that's how you lost money, correct? Uh, we lost money when we started delivering this year, 2021, at 2.35 pesos. And to complete the story, you were asked to make those masks by Secretary Lopez, by other people, uh, so that we could finally have a Filipino supplier that is efficient, correct? That's correct. And you did not get to requested to repurpose our factory to provide and manufacture uh, medical grade face masks. That's correct. And then you had to retool, right? That's what you mean by repurpose. Yes, right? we had to uh, reconfigure our a certain area of our factory and bring in new equipment and refacilitate that area to comply and conform to the medical grade uh, certification. And finally, it is not through one of uh, your efforts to deliver, but because you were held uh, by PS, uh, PS uh, DBM. There were uh, EMS, our supply chain uh, group did request PS, DBM, uh, we could deliver monthly as per schedule, but uh, there were uh, warehouse, uh, I guess warehouse issues, uh, space issues, inventory uh, issues. As a point of information to our good friend, Senator Grace, is it better uh, to stop delivery for a Filipino corporation who's ready to deliver? Uh, or to give it to uh, an agent, not a manufacturer like this Filipino company, but an agent. Which is then better, uh, in your opinion, Senator Grace? I would not ask you another more question. It just speaks for itself, I think. I, I can just I, I can just give you maybe a subjective answer. Of course, I will always think that we should favor our local manufacturers. Um, sometimes we even say that even in agriculture, of course, uh, importing rice is a lot cheaper. Uh, we, we try to open up the market, but we, we give certain um, incentives and support for our own local agricultural um, our own farmers. So I would think it's about the same here if the prices are a little, if the disparity is not too big. But well, moving disparity, forward. The disparity, I'm sorry, is 1350 against 2750. And they're going to be by a local sure. supplier. Uh, no, or, you just, it was say 22, but, not less than 22, but they were supplying 1350 and they were ready to do that. And they were not being favored because they were asked. If they could manufacture and they did, and it was not accepted, just to set the record straight. Correct. So, 1350 for our own manufacturers, am I correct, uh, sir? Right? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, that is correct. That they we started buying from them at 1350, and once we started buying from them, we ceased, we ceased on procuring from other suppliers already. And that is uh, a fact of record, Mr. Chairman. Well, so, pati po ang KS, ganun po ang ginawa. When, when we already had a local supplier, we ceased procuring from other um, suppliers um, otherwise. That, that is a fact. Alam po ng uh, EMS yan. Once, once we started the contract with them, tinigil po namin lahat yung iba kasi nga may local supplier na. Yun po ang situation. Thank well, you, um, Mr. Chairman, I know that uh, we, are, I, we are going to start session in a few more minutes. Um, perhaps I will just uh, delay my other questions for later on when Mr. Yang finally um, attends our hearing because some of my questions are for him actually. I'd like to know since he's supposed to be a special business consultant uh, for this administration, what other uh, projects did he broker? Meron pa bang mga ibang farmali na maaaring napasukan? So I, I will just uh, end my questioning for now and I hope that um, I can continue when this hearing of Mr. and Mr. Yang finally appears before the hearing. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, just very briefly. Mr. Chairman. Uh, the right now, go ahead. I'm sorry, I was on mute. Thank you very much. Uh, just very briefly, uh, just for my understanding how the PSDBM operates. So, uh, my questions will be propounded to 
uh, former USEC law. No? Uh, Mr. President or Mr. Chairman, so, uh, well, first of all, pinag-uusapan natin dito yung 42 billion thereabouts money that was transferred by DOH to PSDBM. Okay? Uh, how much of that has been purchased already of the 42 billion? I cannot answer at present because I think when I left, the account was still running uh, and continually procuring from PSDBM. So what do you recall? I think we... I think we were able to procure almost um, 30, 30 plus billion as of. Okay. Okay. When those goods are delivered to PSDBM, were, was it delivered all to PSDBM in your warehouses? No, po, because um, there is an issue on um, logistics and warehousing. In fact, we even have a problem with our logistics, not only in PSDBM warehouse, but also with the warehouse dun sa sa OCD. So some some changes we have to implement, like I think one of the changes who were able to comply is EMS and all other suppliers is that they will keep the goods within their within their warehouses okay. as we inspection. So you, you have insufficient warehouses to begin with. Okay. We don't have uh, sufficient so, warehouses for that's yeah. our yeah, so you do not have sufficient warehouses okay yes. would you have the number of personnel to check all these deliveries uh, we rotate them and they are able to do their job naman. yes oh, although they were testimony earlier na pinapirma sila na kahit hindi pa na deliver para mabayaran yung supplier yes that is, accurate. that is on the first procurement that we had with the foreign supplier nung kasagsagan po ng ng ano tawag yung COVID, the only suppliers who were contacting us were foreign suppliers from China. And this is what they want. If that This is what Secretary Charlie Galvez was saying. FOB China. So they are willing to supply, but they're only responsible to China because China is in lockdown. Philippines is in lockdown. There was no commercial vessel. There was no... Yes, but nevertheless, lockdown. nevertheless, the point is... Yeah, I understand that. That was testified on already. So let me finish because we have a session. Let me finish because we have a session, no? But there was testimony earlier that they had to sign documents that they did not see the goods. We okay? have, yes. So I can imagine kung kulang ang warehouses ninyo, possibly kulang ang tao din ninyo. Now, my final question will be this. You say cloud, no? Okay. Uh, these deliveries now, have all of them end up with the DOH? Nakuha ba ng DOH yung mga pinibili nila? Yes. But some All of them. are with the warehouse of PSDBM. There are some with the warehouse of PSDBM. Some are in um, DOH. Depende po. Pag binili ng DOH sa amin, uh, under the LPR, it goes to them. But when it's still on our stock, like EMS stock kasi is on our stock, uh, it's part of our main so, supply. Let me ask the DOH. Have you received all of what you asked PSDBM to purchase? DOH? I don't know. We don't hear. Sorry? We yes. don't hear anything. It's okay. Please answer. Can you remove your mask? Yes. Yeah, can, can you hear me now, uh, Mr. Yes. Chairman? Yes, Secretary. Yes. Uh, we have 37 billion uh, worth of uh, supplies that has been uh, delivered, uh, Mr. Chairman. For the record, Mr. Chairman. Okay. All of that are in your warehouses? Na delivery yan? O nasa warehouse pa rin nila? Uh, many of these, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, have already been uh, distributed to the end users. Uh, and uh, I will just check, Mr. Chairman, and give the report uh, if there are still uh, pending deliveries which are in the possession of the PSDBM and presumably uh, in their warehouses. Uh, uh, with the permission of Senator Director, yes, please. I would like to order the Blue Ribbon uh, staff 
to go and proceed to Maritina or the DOH Sester Bodega, as well as in other bodegas of uh, PSDBN and others. Uh, I don't think they have any more, at least that's what they say, in the military compound. So we would like today, uh, Chair uh, would like to send the, the, our staff to, uh, to go there accompanied by USA to check the stores there and be given the information. Would that be agreeable to uh, you? Uh, yes, certainly, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we are ready uh, for uh, the inspection. Uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Your Honors. Uh, but I do have a copy and answer to Senator Recto. I don't know if this is, you know, there's so many things. I'd like to share this copy with you. This is by Mr. Uyan, uh, Uyan, uh, and it says 39 billion 453 million have already been obligated slash utilized. And that about 2 billion are, remain the balance and they've already utilization rate is 95.15%. Can you see it? No, uh, no it's not in the screen, uh, Mr. Uh, Chair. We're trying to uh, show it. Uh, uh, I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, unfortunately, my my staff uh, was not able to do it, but I will try to show it to you in a, in a little while. Yes, because there seems to be the reason why I ask this question is simple, uh, Mr. Chairman. No? Uh, based on the COA report, uh, with regard to the end users of these products, no? and I recall that in the previous hearing, uh, there was this double payment issue. Yeah. Okay, so it says in the COA report, because I don't have a copy with me right now, but it did say that there were complaints, <coughs> okay, when they wanted to get these goods, uh, some DOH personnel, uh, sabi mahal, but pinababayaran sa kanila. Okay, when it came from the budget of the DOH, that is a big issue, Mr. President. Okay, and then of course PSDBM has their own revolving fund. So, yeah. are they mixing up the inventories? That is, that is an issue as well, Mr. President. No? Of course, under uh, under uh, uh, number one by any and one, uh, the local governments were allowed to spend uh, part of their uh, era uh, for these uh, products, right? So yes. there could be a situation the market is totally flooded. And uh, because they ordered too many, uh, too many uh, from certain suppliers, and that's what worries me about this whole thing, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, yeah I would not be late to the issue. I, I do have many other questions, but I know that uh, we don't have the time today. But I will wait my turn, Mr. President, and I do have questions also for the other resource person. So thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. As a parting shot, in fairness to all, I am aware of the fact that we do have a document here. Uh, and uh, Secretary Duque will confirm it because he signed it, where he says that uh, he submits the orders uh, of uh, the Department of Health and give it, hands it over to PSDBM. And the quantity he ordered for personal protective equipment is 15, 15,358,611. And the unit cost was provided by the Department of Health at 2,000 pesos unit cost. That totals 30 .7, I don't know why this happened. Maybe at the next, uh, maybe you can explain it right away, uh, Secretary Duque, can you do that? I'm showing it to you, it's there. Uh, this is a agency procurement request to PSDBM. And it says precisely what I just stated. Quantity is requested is 15 million 358,611 sets, and the unit cost has been specified. Now, if you look at all the others that bid it, it's either 1,998, 1,990, well, isang isa ng 2,000, pero mukhang Yan ang agency estimate and DOH hanggang 2,000 kayo. Pwede. Pwede. But, again, I go back to the Filipino supplier, uh, EMS who supplied it at 13 pesos and 50 centavos. I hope Senator Rector uh, understands what I'm trying to say here because it's very, very important. So, uh, so that everybody will not be uh, blindsided. Uh, we present these documents uh, to the committee. 
Uh, you, have a, uh, you have a comment, Secretary Duque? Am I wrong? Yes, Mr. Chairman. I think the what is being referred to, uh, the one on the slide, is about the complete set uh, PPEs with nine components. Yes. And that's the indicative uh, uh, price for a set of about 2,000. Uh, you understand that's the ceiling. Whereas the one from EMS talks of the uh, masks. At that time, uh, when the uh, 13 uh, plus uh, pesos per piece uh, was uh, the price that uh, EMS had indicated, this was uh, not in April, but uh, in uh, June, uh, if my recollection serves me right. And they, were, they, were, they were presented in uh, April, but they were delivered in June. Uh, that is exactly uh, right, uh, Mr. Chairman. And so the timing of the availability uh, is a big factor, I believe, in the determination of uh, the correct uh, price vis-a-vis -vis the suggested retail price that the uh, DTI had set at 28 pesos then in uh, March 13 of 2020, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, I, I will have more to say about that later on. I don't think DTI suggested uh, that, but anyway, uh, I'm not trying to find fault. I just want to be clarified. Uh, on that note, I'd like to ask the pleasure of the committee uh, uh, for the next hearing. Uh, uh, would you like to do it on a Thursday or Friday? Uh, gentlemen, ladies? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever fits the chair's schedule. Thursday or Friday. <laughs> You're blaming me again. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I think that uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, subpoena Duce Secum, so I think Friday would be ideal. Friday. Uh, yes. Friday at uh, uh, 1 p.m. Or would you like to start at 10 o'clock? Or uh, Friday we have no session, so we can do it at 12 and we can go on. 10 o'clock. All right. 10 o'clock. Uh, Shall we say 10 30? <laughs> okay. 10 30. Okay. So, with the permission of everyone, uh, the next hearing of the committee will be at 10 30, Friday, uh, September uh, 17. 17. The session is now uh, uh, declared suspended by the chair with the permission of everyone. And uh, uh, we shall see you on, uh, we shall continue with the hearings on. Uh, Thursday and uh, Friday, and we hope that all the subpoenas that have been properly issued have been uh, uh, delivered. And also, uh, Mr. Yang, uh, with the cooperation of his lawyer, uh, Raymond Fortune, uh, will be delivered uh, to us. His presence will be appreciated. Thank you all very yes, much. Thank you, Mr. Subpoenas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes? Thank you, okay. Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.